a beef broth, my beef barley soup, I'll go over the instructions on how to make it. All right, so she's hooking me up to have Facebook and TikTok at the same time. And YouTube. And YouTube? Yeah. Oh, wow, this is a first. Okay, you interesting. Just, you just won't be able to go back into the kitchen with Right, the, well, when I go back in the kitchen now, nobody really needs to watch that. It's just putting a, a full cup of barley in the pot. You guys don't have to really watch that. So here's the comments for that. Okay, cool. So that'll give the comments for both TikTok, I mean, uh, Facebook and YouTube, if TikTok, anybody shows up. TikTok is here. Yeah. Or she's here. got on the screen, too. I have it on the screen so too. if she has it on the screen, then you could take that. You're just not really going to be able to see yourself. That's okay. I can see myself here. I, I got all kinds of devices. This is getting crazy. Yeah, oh, I like the white background better. It doesn't mess with my eyes. She's trying to set it up so I could see both at the same time. Why aren't you? There's a delay. Over there, you're you're alive. Here, there's a delay. Because stop. Gonna be like that. <laughs> this man. Okay. Hi, Larry. <laughs> Ooh, over 400 people. That's exciting. Yay. <laughs> That's because Good. I stepped into the picture. It is. It is. It is. See? Thank you. Welcome, everybody. There's a delay. This is my, so weird. Well, cameo. that's how it is. That's how it is. Okay. This is how you used to stream. Yeah. Hi from New Jersey. Carrie, we're in New Jersey too. Are you uh, quilting? No, Steph. I am cooking. We made beef barley soup just now. That's it's simmering, and we're going to be uh, wrapping a brand new book. Could you get the cat out of the picture? Why? Americana guapa. Oh, gracias, de amor. Aloha, Desiree. Hi, Mama. Hi, El Gato. Patty. El Gato. El Gato. El Gato. El Gato. Everyone say hi to you. So say hello. Hey. He's going to the far house. That's He's right. leaving. Hey. I did my cameo. See everybody on Friday night. Give me a kiss. Bye. Love you. Bye. Okay. He's going to the fire house. Okay. Let me see. Uh, and they're like, bye, babe. Oh, hi, Esther. So, guy. Okay. So, don't forget, I've got. Bookface and TikTok. I'm gonna say, and a, and a cat, and we got a cat. Hi, baby. He can stay here for now, but you can't stay here when I do the book, okay? He's he want he's jealous of the attention, and he wants he wants everyone's attention. Larry looks like one of your brothers, Diane. Are you serious? Maybe he is your brother. Hi, Debbie on brother, Facebook and Esther. Thank you for joining me. I'm sorry we I joined late with you guys because. Um, we weren't able to get the streaming website to work properly and stream on all three platforms. We're going to have to test it during the week. But um, And Debbie, Sprinkle, thank you. Um, he's cute, but he's a pain in the butt. He's literally sitting right in front. Of, can you guys see him? Some of you could probably see him. He's right in front of the computer right now. Hey, Tiff. Okay, so we started our soup. Let me tell you how we did our soup for those of you that are just joining. I was in the kitchen just now. And everybody watched. Oh, be careful. He's going to want to sit on that. That's what I was doing. No, because they'll break it. They can't break this. How did you have it last time? I did not. I have a box there. There's no box there. No, there's no box for him to lay there. <gasps> All right, guys, hold on. I have to set up the box for him to lay down. Now he wants to lay down on the damn box. Let me take him away. Give me one second. This is a completely disorganized live. Oh, well. All right. This is, the, this is what he sat on. Switch chairs. Hold on. i got to set up. His little post because he wants to he wants to craft with us today. So bring this over here. Hold on. Let's put it down. I gotta put the, the this here for the cat to sit on because. <sighs> All right, you want to sit? Come on. Here he comes. Oh my god, this cat is hysterical. Now he's next to me. Do you guys see him? He has FOMO. <laughs> Are you happy now? But don't push it too close. I'm making sure it's stable. Here, just turn the camera so they can. Can you see him at all? Look, no, look at this cat. Him. This is he's sitting right next to me. Okay, you can sit down. Go ahead, you're joining us. Sit down. But you're not coming over here. You're staying there. This is going to be interesting. How about the camera so that so so my Facebook friends could see? My cat decided he wants to join us. So he's right here, right there. You can see them. That's good. They can see him now. We'll see how long this lasts. Because if he starts climbing on the table, we're going to have a problem. I think he's okay. Yeah? All right. We'll see. We'll see how this works. Okay. Our soup. So very simple. Brown your beef. Set it aside. 
deglaze your pan with wine or broth or water. Pour that over the beef and set it aside. Drizzle olive oil. Put your veggies in, carrots, onions, and celery. Let it become translucent, a little soft. Make a little well in the middle. Put a little olive oil. Put your garlic in there and your tomato paste. Let that saute for like a minute. Incorporate it into all the veggies. Throw your beef back in there with all of the juices that are in there. And then you're going to add your beef broth, water, vegetable broth, whatever broth or water liquid you want to use. I did beef broth and water. Fill the pot. And now it's going to simmer for one hour. Okay. Let it simmer for an hour. We go back. We throw in our barley. Let that simmer for about 40 minutes. And our soup is going to be done. So I'm going to take a peek because I think it should be boiling. And I'm going to lower it to simmer so that it'll simmer for an hour. And I'll put the timer on for one hour. But that's basically... Yeah, I did six to eight, I did about um, eight cups of broth and I think four cups of water, I think is what I did. Uh, total, about eight cups of broth in each pot. It's a big pot that I made. Yeah. I'm on both, Tanny. I'm on, I have both, I'm both on TikTok and on Facebook. So I got you both, you both going. I have you both up going. Hopefully this will work well. What is he playing with? He's playing with something. All right, let me just go lower the, the, um, the, uh, the stove real quick. Hello. Okay, there we go. Okay. Oh, let me put the timer on. Okay. I got the timer on one hour. So when it goes off, I'll go put the barley in. Uh well for that big for that big pot, Marianne, I did eight cups of broth and four cups. It's a total of 12 cups. That's a big pot. I have two huge big pots of soup going. You can't see my face on TikTok camera. Really? Are you sure? I can see it. We're going to wrap a book today, Adam. Let me let me uh, move it up a little bit. Hold on. They say TikTok can't see my face. Is that a little bit better? You can see. Can you see now? Is that a little bit better? Oh, good, Deb. We I tried to have you guys watch too, but I couldn't do it. You can see you you see good now, right? Okay, good. Excellent. I, it may be your phone. Some people's phones um see more than others, which I find really strange. But now that fat boy is over here, I need to put my garbage behind me, and um I need to put my cutter someplace else put it there for now. Okay. So how's everyone? All right, let's get to work. Let's get to crafting, right? Um, I worked on the cat book yesterday and, um, I just did a lot of like tags and no cards and stuff like that. I set that aside because today we're going to wrap a brand new book. We're going to do our mermaid book. And, um, I wonder if, uh, I think Alex, right? It's Alex. I have a, a, a lot of people that ordered books all begin with A's. I had Ashley, Andrea, and Alex, and I'm, I get them all confused. So I have to constantly look at my sheet. Yes, Alex did the mermaid book. Is she here? Alex, are you here? I'm just curious.
You have to reload that page, not that page. Cancel that page. This is gonna ruin my numbers, everything. Sorry guys, we lost internet. Looks like we lost internet. I don't know why. I'm trying to reload on Facebook too. This is proving to be challenging. What, yeah, you want to do, want to do you want to, well, no, it's too late now. It's fine. Because we had like 400 people. No, we don't. It's fine. I'm back, guys. Sorry, we lo the internet went down. Um, Don't know why. Okay. All right. I was trying to find out if Andrea was here right. on TikTok. Me, I'm taking a shower. So. Oh, God, I hope I don't need you. Don't go too far. I'm taking a shower. Hi, Angie. Hi, Angie. Hey, Lala, welcome back. Okay. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Yeah, the internet went down. If, if it ever goes down, I'll always try to come back up again. So always look for it, okay? All right. So we are going to be wrapping a mermaid book. Uh, we have this beautiful fabric. It, it looks like scales, and it's like a teal color. See that? Really pretty. Um, and it's going to be like a vintage uh, Art Nouveau kind of mermaid book. Not like, not like hot pink and teal. There'll be teals and pink, but more demure, uh, more antique -y and vintage looking. Okay. It's really pretty, isn't it? I ordered it online, this one. Um, it took me a minute to find it, but I really like it. And then the next thing that we're going to do is I have these beautiful mermaids. I have a white one and a pink one. I, I like the pink one, but I want her to pick um, to put on the cover. Isn't that gorgeous? Aren't they gorgeous? They're very sparkly and shimmery. So I want her to pick one and then we're going to trim it and we're going to put it in the book. So it'll be fun. I know, Sandy, they're beautiful mermaids. It's going to it's gonna make the look the book look, I think, like really elegant. And yet I want to keep it a little bit simple too, nothing too crazy on the outside. I Like the way I'm, you know how I envision things in my head? I think it's going to look really cool. Um, and for those of you that missed on Friday, we finished our, our, our kitty basket. Oh, let me go. Let me see. Is this good? Can both of you see this way? Oh, good. Look how cute that basket came out and he's holding the little, is that adorable or what? And you know, he comes out and every one of these are a little, it's a little notebook. So I made little notebooks out of the yarn. I just think it came out so cute. I love it. Right? Super cute. And then in the other, um, for our other 3D effect, we made this really, really pretty um, cat tower. Look at that. It's got the little fishy hanging for him to play with. And then when you open it, you got a beautiful living room. I added a, a little cat in the window and it's a secret hidden pocket. The window is a secret hidden pocket. I just did that there to remind me to put something in there, but isn't that so cute? It came out so cute. Really happy with the way that came out. I know it's too cute, right? Dee? All right. So let me see what we got going on here. Make sure we, uh, we should be having enough. I'm going to make the book six by nine with a three inch spine. So I'm repurposing. This is one of those books, um, you know, that has the, the, the cutout, the cutout for the pictures on the inside. This is the cover and it's super, super thick, but um, I think it'll make a nice cover. So we're going to use this. And then we're just going to cut a spine. So I'm just going to, uh, basically go like that and mark it so that we know the height will be exactly the same. Let me get our cutter because you know I love my Carter cutter, my Carl cutter. 
and we're going to cut three inches it's a three inch spine you know what i'm going to do three and a half just to give us a little bit more room one cut god i love that about this cutter one cut it does not get any better than that you're not fighting it you just put a little pressure and it cuts the darn thing <clears throat> okay so i don't think facebook's got too much going on right now uh because i lost it oh there's 10 people okay well welcome guys we're wrapping a brand new book you can comment because i could see your comments as well even though i'm doing both platforms at once i actually think i'm doing um i think i'm doing youtube too let me check i think i'm doing both youtube and uh yeah i don't think anyone's watching me on youtube though but that'll be interesting to see okay make sure it's the right height mm, i'm gonna trim it just a smidgen literally a hair just a hair yes that's better okay and i can actually keep this up here in case we need it okay so now we need to figure out our fabric which shouldn't be too difficult. The cool thing is it's actually printed. It looks like they print the pattern that you order. And then you have this nice straight edge, which is awesome to cut stuff. Keeps me straight. Cause you know, you guys know that I'm not very good at cutting straight. So freehand that is. All right. So I want to go, I'm just figuring out what we need to do here this way. Okay, let's get our scissors. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna cut straight across. And then if um, Alex shows up, she could pick the mermaid. If not, I'll just wait until I do talk to her for her to pick the mermaid one day. Um, I'm going to do this side. Yes. Cover it while it's simmering. Cover it while it's simmering, Lise. You found a cutter on Mercury? I need that all for the toxic coworkers. Cut them out. <laughs> You're funny. Adam is always funny. We can't tolerate toxic coworkers. All right, so we want about an inch. On either side, that means I'm gonna cut this right about here. And that's about an inch going across. I need to flip it. It's easier to cut off the table than it is to cut on the table. Okay, that was pretty good. need that we'll save this little piece you found me on all all the platforms thanks for checking i'm gonna save this piece we can do something with it later maybe a mini book a little mini journal would be cute okay i think we're good all right so we have our fabric ready to go now we're gonna tape our pieces together so i'm gonna go grab our our tape And we're going to tape this. Now, the cover is a little bit thicker than the spine, but that's okay. Um, in the grand scheme of things, it really doesn't make that much of a difference.
because we're going to put the the signatures on there, so we'll be okay with that. All right. So you guys know I like this tape. Ain't no secret. All right. I just want to remind you guys that I am not going to be live on um, the one Wednesday, which is the the 20th, I believe. I have a, a last minute business trip that I had to schedule this week. I'm going to try and post about it uh, up revise the uh, the schedule okay the cool thing is you can use these lines as your guide leaving it a little bit wider because it's a thicker cover. Um, so the tape that I'm using that you see here, they either call it filament, nylon, glass tape. Um, I buy it from Amazon. I've had one roll for over a year, believe it or not. I just bought three more rolls because this one is... You know, it's coming to an end. Okay, that's good. Um, but it's great because you can't tear it this way. You can only tear it lengthwise. Um, and it's very, very strong. I do have book binding tape, but I started using this tape. And the fact that it has these little lines through it just makes it so much easier to make sure that everything is, you know, Nice and straight and even. Okay. It is on my Amazon storefront if you want to look for it. Okay, so now I'm just creasing that. Okay, we got our base. Three and a half inches, and it is, I think it's nine, right? I think I said nine. Yes, it's nine. So, great start. My Chunker Monker is still sitting here. Right, Chunker Monker? Yes, I always leave a little gap. I'm going to hold it up so you can see it. Do you see that light coming through? It's a little gap. Let me flip it this way. I don't know if you can see the light coming through. See that? You want it so that when it folds, it's not fighting it. It's not fighting it. Yes, Nikki, I'm back. We lost the internet for a minute. Yeah, it's about... I'm going to say it's probably about like an eighth of an inch, you know, not a quarter. That's a little bit. It's about an eighth of an inch of a gap, I think, is what I left. <coughs> All right. So I always start. Now, let me make sure. I just realized. Okay. I wanted to go up that way. I think I want the scales to go down because scales go down on a fish. So I'm going to. Right now, it doesn't matter because there's no right or wrong reason. But for me, technically, this is the front of the book because of my little OCD crap. Um, and that'll work out well. Okay. So we're going to, I use, um, before you guys even ask, I use Beacon 3-in-1. Uh, this is what I use. And I use it on fabric because it's very similar to fabric tack. So it works the same as fabric tack. I have not had any issues. The only thing I do is I do the perimeter mostly on this particular one i'll do the spine because it's but you'll see what i do i spread it so it doesn't seep all the way through i'm just going to put a little bit on the spine so it holds it in place but when i do the covers i usually don't put it on the spine and then i'm going to use my spreader get all the old the old glue this is this is a um silicone little spatula and it'll spread the glue which will prevent it from um, seeping through the fabric. 
I can't stand when you like, when you touch the fabric and then you feel it. I, it, I just, it grosses me out. So I am just spreading the glue. And when you spread the glue, it kind of, I feel like it makes it stickier faster. So be prepared to work quickly because it will do that. And you want it sticky because then it makes it easier to deal with. Let's just flip it over and make sure everything's straight. Okay, see, nice and straight. Oh, it's okay, Nikki. Thank you. I lost, I actually, when you said back, I thought you meant me because we, um, we lost internet. Now I'm just going to do the outer perimeter. Actually, let's work this way so you guys can see better. I'm going to put a nice hefty bead. Because that's all you really need. Make sure it goes all the way to the corners, all the way to the edge. Just like that. And then smooth it out. feels good. It's not seeping through. I can't stand that. This is going to be a real thick book. I hope that crocodile punches through this when I, if I needed to haven't decided how we're going to do the enclosure yet. That's what we're going to have to decide next. What kind of enclosure, a ribbon enclosure, which I think a ribbon enclosure might be nice because it, of the, uh, that eclectic kind of look, um, since it's going to be, be like an art nouveau kind of a thing. Perfect. A little play. Excellent. Yep. Okay, so now we're going to cut the corners a little bit because we don't need this much fabric. It'll become bulky. We want to debulk the corners a little bit. Yeah, I like. I've always done it like this, Diane. Um, I I never. I tried the Mod Podge once, um, and I didn't like the way it felt. For me, it was like I don't know if it's a texture thing. I just didn't like it. Um, and I started doing it this way, and it it really. I haven't had any problems, knock on wood. So I'm just putting glue, spreading it on the corner, making sure again that it um, gets tacky. And I'm just doing the four corners to get it started. And this is how you get a tight corner. Because somebody was telling me the other day, their corners are always messy. It's because you need to debulk. And for fabric, you tuck it in first and then you do that tight fit. So you tuck the corner in first, then you do the top and the side, and that'll give you a nice tight corner, like um, like the army beds, you know? Yeah. Oh, thank you, Michelle, for sprinkling me out. I love that, that term. So on Bookface, guys, they sprinkle you out, which means they're sharing your life, which is awesome. And then I'm going to put a little bit of a beat just on the, the top there. You saw that I put a bead of glue 
right on the fabric um, so that it'll, when you wrap it over, it'll, it'll wrap on the top of the book and it, like that little curve part and it'll adhere nicely there. Okay, spread that out. And now we're gonna pull and tuck tightly. Beautiful. Nice and straight there. So I'm using the Beacon 3-in-1. I'm going to leave this. Can you guys see that? This is the glue that I use. I've been using this for a year. I know a lot of people um, like and dislike it for various reasons. Um, I think one of the reasons is because it has a smell. The smell doesn't bother me. Um, I just find it. I've used a thinner glue. I've used crafter's glue. I've used, I've tried all the glues. I keep going back to this one. Uh, it works for fabric. It works for paper. It works for, and it doesn't crinkle the paper up and it doesn't, um, it doesn't do anything to anything. It works with jewelry, with the gemstones with, so because it's like an all in one, I prefer to use it and I buy it by 12 pack on uh, Facebook. I order a 12 pack at a time. That's the cheapest way, by the way, guys, I have a four pack and a 12 pack in my Amazon storefront. Um, it's the cheapest because each one bottle is like nine, ten dollars This is an eight ounce bottle at um, like Hobby Lobby or something like that. But on Facebook, I mean, on Facebook, on Amazon, um, you could get like four bottles for I think it's 32 bucks and it winds up being only eight bucks instead of ten dollars. And then if you buy 12, if you use a lot, you might as well get the 12 right? It doesn't make any sense. Why buy four now and in two months have to buy another four? I mean, that's the way I, if you can, if you can, uh, since I use it so much, I do buy it by the 12 pack and the 12 pack lasts me, lasts me a couple months. Yes, Nana, uh, book face, reverse the words because I'm on, I'm on that platform as well. I was told that if you say the right way, that um, TikTok could shut you down, which makes no sense, but that's what they said. So you don't say reverse those two words. All right. Oh, the house smells pretty good with that with that soup going. It's making me hungry, which is good because we're going to have a bowl of it in an hour. Great. Okay. Excellent. And there we go. The book is wrapped. Uh, we may be Farley today. It's simmering right now. So I got to be honest with you guys, because there's little gold speckles. Do you see the gold speckles? I'm thinking a gold, um, even a gold uh, ribbon would look really cool, would make it pop. This is kind of like what I was thinking, making her go from, from the tail on up like that. Hi, Val. But you know what? Maybe it's too many colors because with, with, if the mermaid's going to be white or pink, it might be, I might have to stick with teal, make the ribbon teal or black. So it doesn't draw your eye away from the mermaid. I think, I think either black or teal is the way to go now. Now that I would have liked it in gold, but I do think that um, black or teal is going to be better. Um, I, don't, I don't like too many colors going on in the front. I like it to be cohesive and make sense um, and not draw your eye away from your focal point, which for me is going to be the mermaid, whether she's pink or white. 
So obviously a pink or white ribbon won't do. It won't match. But teal and black definitely will keep it all um, a little bit more cohesive. Oh, thanks, Michelle. Yeah, it's going to be an awesome book. I'm just wrapping it today. We're going to wrap it. Um, I don't know if we're going to do the signatures. Maybe we'll work on the signatures a little bit. I don't know. You like the white one, Dorothy? By the look of the spine, she's going to be a big one. Girl, you know, I make half a books. <laughs> um, have I ever made a smoke? Well, I did make little mini journals with my grabby box. So I did make those. Which, guys, I have to do something with that grabby box this week as well. You like the white one. I like black. Yes, I agree. I agree. It's either going to be black or um, or teal. I'm going to see if I have the right shade of teal because I think there's a lot more teal than there is black. And um, I think it'll look pretty. But let me see if I have the right. Oh, um, maybe I have chiffon so it doesn't have to be satin. Huh. Let's see. If I have the right shade of chiffon... Maybe. I don't think I have a teal. I have green and I have like a sage green. Oh, wait, what's down here? Looks like green. Definitely not that one. But black might be an option. We did say black. Let me take the black out. And then let's look at the let's look at our uh, our satins. You know, we need options. We can't just pick something. But yes, chiffon would be a nice texture. I just don't, I only have it in black. So let me look at teal. See what we got going on in here. Uh, Esther, where did I get the mermaids from? It could have been Timu. This is a pretty texture. Ooh, that's pretty. Too light. too light okay i'm limited on teal hi eliza oh hey mom my mother-in-law is watching today everyone um i know you can't see my my tiktok friends but i i have 385 people watching me on tiktok ma so everyone say well you can't see them say hi to you but this is the first time my mother-in-law is watching me i think she's on the She's on book face. <laughs> Could you, everyone saying hi on, on TikTok to Yama. She's in Missouri. Um, so the black is interesting, but I, I think I, I might like this one because it's darker. Let's see. Yes, this is being recorded and will be up on, on uh, YouTube. Um, that, that's why there's no music in the background. Sorry, guys. Uh, no more music because um, it's copyrighted and my videos get blocked and banned. So we have to do this in silence. You just have to listen to my voice. Aw, thank you, Nikki. You're so sweet. Ma, I got the best followers. They're all so encouraging. And they keep me on my toes and they love Larry. I kind of like that color. What do you guys think? Of course, it'll be on the inside, not the outside, but I think this is a nice color, right? Isn't it? And it's, it's a beautiful, um, it's, what do they call this? There's a word for it. It's like the ribbed. So it's really sturdy. It's a nice, strong ribbon. I'm going to cut a little bit longer. So we have a little bit extra to play with. I like that. Yeah, that was the deal. It's a great color. Lucked out. T 
to New Zealand. Nikki, I would love to go to New Zealand. Maybe one day. Gross grain. Thank you, Bob. Yes, Miss Betty. Gross grain. That's exactly what it is. Oh, gross grain. That's exactly what it is. I know, I know the words. It's just that I, I forget now, guys. My memory is just not what it used to be. Um, and I just, I forget. I'm like, I know what it's called. I just can't remember. It's frustrating. Okay. Back up you go. Missouri first. Yes, mom, Missouri first. Okay. So we decided on the ribbon for the enclosure and I am going to do what I've done so far, which is cut um, put some eyelets and put the ribbon through the eyelets so that the ribbon is pulling on the actual cover and not pulling on whatever we're going to put here. Um, decorative wise, I wanted to make sure that it does do that. Cause I really like the way that that works and I feel it's more secure. Um, and she can pull and tug on it without worrying about tearing the book. So yes, chemo brain patricia it is a little bit of chemo brain for sure i mean don't forget guys i did have brain surgery too that's no that's no joke i did i really did have brain surgery in 2021 to remove um, a tumor from my pituitary gland so they've been up in there messing around i think they took some stuff out i don't know missouri oh claire are you in missouri oh your first state yeah, I definitely have to go visit my mother-in-law, Missouri, first. We haven't been out there, and she just moved to a new place, and we said, you know what? We're definitely going to go visit her, so we're going to we're gonna make that happen. Um, okay, so the next step is I want to decide the inside. I am thinking gold will look pretty. However, I'm going to go get my textures box, and we'll see if I have a texture box in teal because that will make it look very uniform, I think. Um, if I have it, if I don't have it in teal, what I'm thinking is we could do the spine in, um, in the, uh, sideways, uh, fabric and then just do t dark teal paper, um, for the two covers. I think that looked pretty because I think just introducing the gold, I don't know. I like the idea of keeping it a little darker and I will, I will use gold in the, in the signatures instead. Yeah, I think keeping it dark is the way to go. You're in Kansas, Tiff. Your dad, your dad lived in uh, Missouri and Monet. Okay. Did you find it, Esther? Just use the terms um, mermaid um, applique, I think is what I used. Yeah, I like to keep it dark. I know I don't think Alex is here right now, but I'm pretty sure she's going to want it based on the color scheme that we did. Remember, we already did her. This is her, which is why I think she might want the pink because she does like pink and teal. And I think having the pink mermaid on the cover will really blend in nicely. And then on the inside, we'll have teal, gold, uh, pink, um, and beige and some browns keeping it all those vintage colors, um, which I think will be really cool. Yeah, that'll look really cool. Relax, Tiger. This cat is so skittish. All I did was put the paper behind him and he jumped. Oh, thank you, Kim. I'm glad you're enjoying this. You guys are so cool on both. How you did that with the cat? Yes, it will look nice. Okay, so uh, let me grab my textured box, which I think I have over there. Let me go grab my textures box. And we'll see what our options are. We love to have options. Right, we all love to have options. Hello, Miss Miss Deb. Your mom is watching me on 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 Bookface, Deb. If you go to Bookface, you'll see me there, and then you can talk to your mom too. Deb is watching me on TikTok, Ma. Oh, what do we have here? Pray tell, is that teal? What? I like that idea of the teal. 
and then we darken it. We're going to age it with a little bit of our sepia. We can age it to darken it up a little bit. That's going to look fabulous. What do you guys think? You don't go on book face? Okay. Did you get the cat in his own? Yes. Do you see him? He's right next to me. I don't know if you guys could see him. Oh, yeah. You could you could see him on, on uh, book face. They could see him. What? I touched you. I could touch you. Did you see the attitude? He turned around. He went, mm. Do you hear him talking back to me? You be nice. This cat is a piece of work. Piece of work. Hey, Jackie, how are you, honey? Okay, I'm really liking this color, um, but I am going to darken it. It's a little bright, so I will just zhuzh it, which will darken it a little bit, and we'll make it, I think we'll make it look real nice. Actually, I might even zhuzh it with a little bit of black instead of the, the sepia to bring in the black from the cover, which I think will look really cool. And then we'll do like a dark gold uh, corners on here. Um, and we'll do like the dark gold, like a bronze color eyelids. I think this is going to, it's going to look freaking awesome. Yeah, I think it's going to look awesome. Um, the, the color scheme is very appealing, you know? So with that said, um, not to make it too, too much. I, I like the idea of doing the fabric on the middle and then doing this just for the sides. And the cool thing is it's textured. So it looks like it's like the ocean almost. So it's already giving you the ocean feel. Do you see the texture? That's really cool. It's going to look really nice. I'm excited. I get excited when things start to come together, you know? Love it. Okay. So let's see. First things first, our ribbon. So we're just going to do what I normally do, which is I just... Find the middle, which is four and a half. And then I just do like a little line going across just so I know where to put the glue. We don't want the glue to go everywhere, even though it does go everywhere. Ah, hola, Lena. Sí, está, estaba uh, empezando la sopita que estamos haciendo de carne para hoy. Let me just make sure. Don't forget, guys, I have to speak different languages for our, all our international viewers. Sometimes it's French, sometimes it's Spanish, sometimes it's Portuguese. So, Evelyn, for the inside, I actually used a book. See the inside? It's a book that I took apart. It's an old book that I used um, I, I use the inside for something else. And so I'm using the cover of an old book. I try to recycle as much as I can. Do you do anything? The edge from keep, yes. I always burn the edges a little bit. So we'll do that last because I don't know if I'm going to leave it straight or cut it on an angle. Oh, thanks Liz. You like the color? Yeah. At your son is number one, mom. I agree. I totally agree. You're new at this, Evelyn? Oh, okay, cool. So um, did you watch me put the three pieces together just now before I continue so you know what, what we did? Basically, it's three pieces. I took an old book, I cut the insides out, and then I made a brand new spine out of chipboard, which is very, very thick. It's like three, you know, the backs of a, of a paper pad? It's like three times the thickness of that. Um, it's thicker than like cereal boxes. It's nice and thick and it makes it really, really sturdy. As you can see, it's nice and hard. It almost feels like it's wood, but it's not. It's called chipboard and you could buy chipboard. I, I do buy chipboard from Amazon in bulk actually. So I use the chipboard for the three and a half inch spine and the two covers are from an old book and you just tape the two ends together, leave a little room so it folds and then we just wrap it with paper. Well, this is fabric, but we wrap it in paper as well. So thank you for all the gifts, guys. I'm not, I don't catch them all the time because I'm not really good at watching what's going on, but thank you so much. Uh, thanks, Nicole. Yes, the eyelid for the ribbon we will do after we finish doing the inside because it may have to, um, I don't want to do the eyelid now and then have to poke a hole through this paper. If where we're going to put it um, is where this paper is, it's going to go through the paper. 
So you, that way it secures everything. So we actually do the eyelet after we're done with this part. Hey, Tanya. So, yeah, so, uh, so you guys understand my phone is doing TikTok and my computer camera is doing book face. That's how we're doing it. Okay, let me just mark the middle so I, I don't forget where the middle is. Okay, that's the middle. Glue. We tried to stream. I'm just trying to, if it's, it must, oh, it's because this is off. I'm like, it looks like it's going down, but it, it's not. I think it's because this is not even, but that's okay. Let's do it. Yeah, that's nice and straight. Just going to put a little bead of glue. This is this is like no big deal because everything else is going to hold it in place. Relax. I touched the box. My goodness, this cat. You could tell the live is much better over here now. Yeah. Um, it wasn't working through that restream. I'm going to have to um, talk to the agency that I that I'm involved with to see if we can get that fixed. Um, I think I only need one of these, so I'm going to put. The, ooh, how funny is that? So you see, this is green, but look at the back. The back actually looks like it's teal. I still like the the darker one, but I thought that was kind of interesting because I was like, wait a minute, I don't remember seeing that color. All right, so now we're going to cut this out to do our spine. I'm basically going to give it just a little bit that we're going to fold. I've only done this once before with the fabric in the middle, and I kind of like the way that it came out. So we're going to attempt to recreate it. And so what we did was, we just folded the top over and I glued it and it worked perfectly and it gave us a nice finished look up on top. So that's what we're gonna do here. So let me get my little mat. It's really not cut very even, is it? Let's even this out a little bit. Clean as you go so you don't have a mess. Should you get the chipboard? No, Debbie, I've got plenty of chipboard. You don't have to get anything. All that stuff I have. You don't have to buy any of that. Boa tarde, Brasil. Ione, como está? Tudo bem? Bem-vindo. I'm so good at cleaning. Debbie, am I good at cleaning? So my sister-in-law, Debbie, and I, when we first got married many, many, many moons ago, on Saturdays, we used to call each other and put the phone on speakerphone, and then we would clean our houses while we talked and would be like, oh, where, where are you now? Oh, I'm cleaning the bedroom. I just finished dusting. Now I'm going to go into the bathroom. It was so funny. For hours, yes, we would clean like for four hours and just chit chat, the two of us. We're both very big clean freaks and um, cookers. She's a very good cook as well. So we actually, we're a lot alike, believe it or not. Great times, it was. It was great times. Okay, so now that I have that one, I'm going to just figure out where I want this one to be. I want as close to the top as possible, and we're going to do the same thing here. Okay, that works. 
Let's flip it so that you guys can see. I feel like it's not straight. Hold on, because the I'm going to undo it and redo it. Because I feel like the pattern wasn't straight. Yes, that's better. Now it's straight. I know the fold isn't straight, but the pattern is straight. Okay. right here. Okay. Just spread it so it doesn't seep all the way through. Just make sure it's right. it's good okay excellent do you prep the fabric at all before using no i did not do anything to the fabric what do you do when the fabric is old and thin the glue seems to go through what suggestions um so i like to spread the glue and give it a minute to become tacky because the wetter it is the more it'll seep through so the the more it dries the less that it'll seep through, but you have to work quickly. I also suggest if you have a very thin fabric, like a satin, I sometimes use satin. I literally only do the outside corners. And then um, I usually put like ribbon or, or something to decorate. It will seep through. Now you can put something over it, like some kind of like a batting. If you want to do that first, they have that. What What's that thing, mom, what are they, uh, that you iron and it sticks to the fabric? Um, I forget what it's called. Yeah, it'll all glue will go through. Um, interfacing, thank you. Yeah, I knew the word. I just couldn't, it wasn't coming to me. So I think if you use some interfacing, it'll help stop absorbing it through if you do that. But I, I use this glue always. I've always used this glue, even for satin, Marion. But the satin, again, only do the outer perimeter, spread the glue, give it like 15 seconds for it to become tacky, and then put your satin on it. It might still bleed through a little bit, but generally you put stuff to cover it. You're never going to have like a blank cover like this of, um, of satin. Usually you put something to, to fix it, but yeah. Hi, Rosie. How are you? Okay. So we're ready to do this part here. And we're just going to glue this on here like we do anything else. I think I'm actually going to put the glue. Well, I'll put the glue on here, but I'll put it on the edge. So this one, I'm going to do the entire thing because this is where we're going to be putting our, our spine. So I'm not overly concerned. Okay. I am going to put a nice little dab right along the top. out. It's so quiet in my house right now. It's a little peaceful. At first it was bothering me um, doing this with no music, but I kind of enjoying the, the peacefulness of it, you know, except for the ringing in my ear, but can't do nothing about that. Okay. I'm not going to push it all the way down yet until I'm a hundred percent certain, which I pretty much am now. And I'm just going to do the same thing on the bottom here. Put a little bead going across, spread that out. And I'll get up to your questions in a minute. Okay. Oh, thank you, Susan. I'm glad you're learning from me. Okay, so I'll show you how it, um, where's my, did I put it back up there? Probably 
put in the wrong spot. Okay, so if you can see, it's right up to the top. See that? Right up to the edge, and I just folded it and I glued it, and it works fine this way. I'm good, Rosie. Oh, that's a good idea, Susie. How did I start doing this, Miss Bob Betty? Um, I started by just watching like you guys are watching me. I watched others, and I wanted something to do with my time instead of just sitting home after work, eating dinner, and watching TV for five hours, um, which is what I was doing. And I watched a few people do uh, spreads, and I ordered some stickers, and I started making a spread book. If you go back on my TikToks, there's a... Um, I posted my uh, my cancer book, and it's all just decorated. And then I started getting to the 3D decorations. And then from there, I graduated to actually making a book. So my mother-in-law's book was the very first book I ever made uh, from scratch. And it didn't come out too bad, but I've gotten a little bit better, you know. Um, oh, hi, Pete. Thank you for finding me. It is addicting to watch, not just me, Lisa. It's addicting to watch anybody because it's so pretty when they put things together and you're like, oh, I could do that. Oh, I could do that. Um, and then you're like, oh, I didn't think of that. Or like there's just there's so much to learn. Like all, every single creator does a little something a little bit differently. And it's exciting because nothing there's a lot of similar things, but different. You know, the waterfalls, everyone does waterfalls, but they do them differently. The pop-ups, um, that's the cool thing about this. You could take, you could watch somebody do something and it sparks an idea in you. That's how it is for me anyway. It's relaxing to watch me. Well, thank you. Well, sit back, relax and enjoy. I just need to figure out how to make money at this now. That's all. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut this, these on an angle so that, um, so that we don't have anything off. I'm just going to cut a little bit of an angle here. I should have done that first. That way it's all hidden and I don't have to worry about it. Just a little bit of an angle. Yeah, a tiny smidgen. Let me cut that little piece right there. Why does my mother-in-law live so far away? Me being nosy. <laughs> Becca, making kits would probably be fun. It's just a lot of time and I work full time. So right now I can't do kits, but maybe one day I'll do something. I am thinking about doing a Christmas, 12 days of Christmas kit. So maybe, maybe you'll see that coming. Um, so my mother-in-law went to Missouri because she married a man who uh, was a truck driver and his uh, home his home was in Missouri. So she went out there and she kind of set roots there and made friends and enjoys it. And, and she likes it there. So that's why she went. Yes. You can always ask me any question. Unfortunately, I'm like an open book. Did you used to watch anyone on YouTube? Not YouTube, um, Sweet Pea. I did watch everything. At the time, I didn't know that it was on YouTube. So I watched on, uh, mostly on, all the time on TikTok. I watched people like uh, Cindy from California, um, Jennifer, Hangry Mama, Four Girls. I watched a lot of Aisha Khan. I watched uh, the Vintage Lady, the Vintage Journal, rather. I watched, um, there's a lot of people that I had watched. Um, and... I learned a little bit from every single one of them. Addison, we are making a book. Uh, I just finished wrapping it. This is going to be a mermaid book. So we just wrapped it in fabric. And now we're finishing up the inside. Um, we're going to put this beautiful paper to finish up the inside. Let me get my, my cutter right here so you guys can watch me cut it. And soup. Yes, we are making soup. It is, let me see how many more minutes for the simmering. I did put it for an hour. Oh, it's almost done. It's almost done. 
So um, it's got like 25 seconds. So before I cut this, I'm going to take a, a quick minute. I'm going to go in the kitchen. All I'm going to do is stir the pot. And then I'm going to put um, about a cup to a cup and a half, probably about a cup of the barley in the pot. I'm going to stir it and then I'm going to let it simmer for about 40 minutes. I'll put the timer on for 40 minutes and then we'll go in and see how it looks. Okay. What paper do I use for signatures? Tammy, hold on to that question. I will show, I will talk about that when I come back. Be trying to fix your stupid sewing machine. That's why I don't have mine on. Um, both Lori, I sell them and they are stress reliever because I sell them. Although sometimes I stress myself out when I make them, but all these books that I'm making right now, they're all sold. Um, just so you know. Okay. So my friends on Facebook, my friends on TikTok, give me one minute to go in the kitchen, put the barley in the soup pot. Cause I have two pots going of soup and, um, and I'll come right back. Looking good. Smells good. <laughs> Put the barley in i stirred it it smells really really good i, I think it's going to come out really good i put oh i forgot to put the timer 40 minutes hold on did i put the timer on no okay timer's on excellent what is laurie trying to sell Uh, Tammy, I'll always help if you if you're stuck. Lori, this is a journal. It's a junk journal. Lori on Facebook. This is a junk journal that I'm making for somebody. It's a commission book. So, yes, everyone here helps answer questions on TikTok, which is awesome. Oh, thank you, Jen. Lori, try to sell them. How do you bind it? I missed the beginning. Okay, hold on. I'm from New Jersey. Okay, so you want to know how I how I did the book? Um, all right, let me cut this paper real quick first, and then I will a quick review on what we've done so far because the book is what I call naked right now. Um, oh, I also need to do the the length. Hold on. You want to do the length so I could cut one big strip. The length, and it's five and a half, and five and a half. Okay, so basically, we took three pieces of what we call chipboard, okay, which is very thick cardstock, 
It looks like this. This is chipboard. It's about the thickness of a quarter. Okay. Hear that? So I took three pieces. Well, th for this particular book, I only used the spine made out of chipboard. And the two panels is an old book that I cut up. I cut up books all the time because I use the insides for pictures. I use the insides um, if they're, you know, those old photo books that you buy that has like this on the inside for you to put your pictures in. I buy them for like $2. I cut this out and I use this to make like all kinds of what we call ephemera for the books. I'm going to be using this to make some dragonfly uh, specimen cards. And then I use the covers. You reuse the covers. So you're actually taking an old book that could have been thrown out or is being thrifted or, or in the garden and you're repurposing it. So then you take those three pieces, the two covers and the spine, and you tape them. Okay. So we, we tape the two pieces right here in the middle. It's taped. After you have the three pieces taped. You wrap it. This is in fabric. You can do it in paper, but paper is done a little bit differently. Paper, you wrap each piece individually and then you put it together because it's easier that way for it to work. But this is how we do a book. And it's a custom made book. Every, like if you, if you go back and you look, I've made different, different subject matters. Right now I'm doing a cat book. I'm in the middle of this cat book. I'm almost done with it. See, this is the inside. And I have the signatures, which is, um, the papers that are going to go on the inside. This is an example of the in, of what's going to go inside. And there's papers and journaling, lined paper. There's cute little decorations like this. There's secret little pockets. There's cute little 3D um, items and tags and note cards to write on. So it's an, it's a journal. I'll show you this. This is really cute. I did like a little basket. A lot of 3D items. Super, super cute. Um, and that's what we do. That's what I do. So this this spine is three and a half. So the book is six by nine. Hi, Diadine. Um, so this is a mermaid book. I did the cat book. After the mermaid book, I'm going to do two Westerns, an ocean, and an Elvis Presley one. So some interesting things coming up. I did. Did you see the cat in the window? You want to see him again? Sure. I thought it was super cute. I put a little cat. I felt the window was a little naked. So I put a little cat in the window. Hold on, guys. On Friday, we did this together. We made this, um, this little cat scratch post. And when you open him, there's the window. And the window is a, sec it's a secret pocket. See the window? I just put this in there to remind me to put something inside the window. But I put a little cat in the window. See that? It's the cat that Marion sent me. Marion, that's your little kitty cat that you sent me. I thought he was perfect. Right? ¿Por qué hablo español? Uh, porque soy portuguesa y cuando llegué a América no tenía nada portugués en la televisión y mi familia uh, estaba mirando uh, telenovelas. Entonces aprendí a, a hablar español y también portugués porque es mi primera lengua. Um, Angela, the books range, it uh, depends on, uh, they all start around 200 and they go up from there, depending on the size, how much stuff do you want me to put in it? Do you want me to decorate it or not? Some people just buy, have me do this part and, and make the pages for the inside, like the signatures, and then they decorate them. All I do is just put the book together. So that's a little bit less expensive, you know, to do that. So. Oh. <gasps> What color fabric? Is it patterned? Don't tease me, Marion. Send me a picture. You're so good to me. I know. I can't wait to do my Asian-themed um, book when I finish making all these books. Okay. So this is what we're going to do here. We're going to round off the edges because it'll give it a nice finished look. Yes, send me pictures, definitely. Okay, Aubrey, so, and somebody asked about the paper. So I use all kinds of paper for the signature, depending on the style of the book, right? So I use um, cardstock, I use regular paper, I use lined paper, 
Um, I use, sometimes I use like vellum. Sometimes I use tissue, uh, different textures. If like I had one lady who wanted a book with all kinds of textures. So I literally looked for all, every kind of textured paper I had within that book. There was a fabric page. There was mulberry paper, handcrafted paper. So I'm always on the hunt for paper. So I buy all kinds of paper in all sizes. And then I determine what's going to go in the book based on the size. So this book is going to be a lot of 12 by 12 cardstock that we're going to fold in half and cut it to size. And then that's going to make the main pages that we decorate. And then there'll be some other stuff in between. Oh, the add-ins for the signatures, I make them all. Yeah, I make all that, Aubrey. And I teach people how to make that. Some of my uh, line paper, I do print. Uh, most of it, I do buy, but I do print a lot of it. That's okay, Aubrey. Don't, guys, don't ever apologize to me for asking questions. Um, I have absolutely no, I wouldn't be on here showing you what I do and, and not want to answer a question, you know, because I know I had a lot of questions. And sometimes when I watched other creators um, do their thing, it would be like an image. They're doing something. All of a sudden, it would cut to the next. And then I feel like there was a step missing. That's why I don't do tutorial videos. I show you live. And now I'm posting my live so you can see exactly what happens. And then you also see when I screw up and I make a mistake. Because I make mistakes all the time. But the thing is, you could fix mistakes. It's paper and glue. There's nothing you can't fix. There's As long as you understand that I might have to redo it. Or I might have to change my, my original plan, but sometimes little accidents takes you into a direction that you never thought of, and it winds up being great. It happens all the time to me. Oh, great. So you're going to make your waterfall. See, the waterfall was one of the things that I struggled with, and that's why I took time to do those step-by-step -step pictures. That I will do. I will break down how to do something and make a template and put it up on my Etsy shop for you. Absolutely. Happy little accidents. That is that is cute. Really? I didn't know Dollar Tree had packs of four signatures, all blank white. Oh, I have to go check that out. Thank you, inmate 56190305377. That's awesome. A waterfall, Kimmy? I'll show you what a waterfall is. I have, well, I have two of them actually. Let me show you. This is our, this is a princess book that I'm in the middle of as well for a, a five-year-old girl who's battling cancer. Her name is honor. By the way, Marion, I got her shadow box. I didn't open it though, but I have it. It's here. Um, and so, uh, this is a book that I'm making that I'm donating to her. And a lot of my followers have donated stuff, but we did this beautiful princess waterfall. And this is a waterfall. It's basically a bunch of pictures that you make it go up and down like this. This is called the waterfall. Just like that. See how cute that is? And I have instructions on how to make this step-by-step -step with pictures in my, in my Etsy shop. And guys, my instructions are on point on how to make that. Do not let that intimidate you. I was so intimidated by that, I can't even tell you. And I said, damn it, everyone can make this. It's not difficult. Let me show you how. And I made it, and then people still had a lot of questions. So I took like an entire weekend, and I did one step by step with a picture of every single step of what to do. You can see people are saying my instructions are amazing. They 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 are very, um, they are pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Hi, Aso. Nice to see you. Oh, thank you, Madi. I will look. Was it uh, Dollar General or? Yes, Susan. The Grabby Box is available. It's um, it's in on Facebook. I have it in my uh, About. If you click on About, my link tree will pop up and the and go to my link tree, and I have the Grabby Box there. Oh, awesome! This little girl, I already gave her a mermaid, um, a, a fairy waterfall, and she absolutely loved it. So I did another one with princesses for her, and we have one for the kitty. Um, I'll show you the kitty one that we did. For the, for the cat book that we're doing right now, this is the kitty one. Just got to be a little aggressive with this one until it gets used to going up and down. But that's the kitty cat one. And then I put a butt, a cat butt on the back. I thought that was cute. <laughs> Dollar General. Okay. 
have to remember when I pass the Dollar General, I'll stop. Uh, message me though, so I don't forget because you're coming up as user 5619. Just say, let me know if you don't find at the Dollar Tree because that's cool. That's a great size. I didn't know they sold them. That would make my life so much easier. Yes, Michelle, I do go to the thrift stores and I buy books for like a dollar, a dollar fifty. So let me show you one of the books that I bought so you guys understand that if you're if you're smart about it, you don't have to spend a lot of money, okay? Because this could take you down the rabbit hole of spending a lot of money, which is one of the reasons I'm de-stashing. By the way, guys, I'm going to have another ton of labels, of stickers rather, because I went through all my stickers and the stuff that I've thrifted. And there were so many stickers that I bought a couple of weeks ago from that lady down south. Um, and it's stickers I'm not going to, there were stickers from like Friends, from Grey's Anatomy, from Twilight, um, from uh, Beetlejuice. I put them all in a big box and I have Bella making mixed packs of a hundred stickers and it's going to have everything from vintage to those shows to flowers to all kinds of stuff it's going to be so you can get a little bit of everything so you don't have to buy a pack of everything you can just buy a mixture from me yes that team you hold is crazy Grey's anatomy yes definitely tammy let me know message me um but let me go show you one of the books that i thrifted and what to look for when you thrift the books because it makes our lives a little easier and cheaper. While I'm here, I'm going to stir the pot. I'm just going to stir the soup. Give me one sec. Oh, that looks good. So I bought this book. This is a children's book. The price is still on it. You see, it says $1.99, but that color, the yellow was 50% off. I paid a dollar for this book and you want to get the baby books that are thick. You see how thick that is? Each page is a, is a book. Essentially it's the, the left and right side. I'm going to take this page. Let me show you. What, I, what I'm going to do, you take a blade, and you cut the page out of the book, okay? So one page is going to give me one book. So I'm going to cut it this way in half, and it's going to wind up being a book. Then all I need to do is, where did I go? Here it is. I'm like looking for, and then another page will give me like three spines. So I'll get multiple books. So let's see. This is just to make it nice and straight. I'm going to make this, um, let's just make it, well, it is eight inches. So I don't have to worry about that. Let's see how wide is this. This is, it's 10 and a half. So I'm going to go five and a quarter. Five and a quarter that way and five and a quarter that way and look i got a cute little book and all i need is the spine so i'll cut another page and that'll be my spine and i'm going to get how many books out of this one dollar book so one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 10, I would say, and then I'll probably get three spines out of here. So three, six, nine. Yeah. I'm going to get 10 books out of this $1 book. You see that? That's how, that's how you can do this hobby and not spend hundreds of dollars. Um, the baby books are the best. And I sometimes pick them up, even though I don't need them. I'm like, it's a dollar. I'm going to grab the book. But the baby books are awesome. I can use chipboard if you want to use just the cover, for example, and then chipboard. Sure. They're the same thickness. It's perfect. They're the same thickness. But if I have this book, I'm going to use it because it's going to be the exact same thickness that way. And sometimes if I want to do a, a nice, really thick book, because I'm going to make it super big, I'll glue two of these together like this first. 
I'll glue these together and it'll be nice and, but remember it's gonna be nice and thick, but I've done that because sometimes there's different thicknesses of these baby books. So you have to kind of gauge, like this is nice and thick, but I, you see how I, I could still like bend it a little bit, a little bit. You don't, you can't really do that with as much. See the difference? You see that? This one does bend, but not as much as this one. So um, I sometimes double up and it's still a good deal. If you get six books out of here, it's still a lot. But that's my tip on what to use. Everybody has baby books, right? If you have children or you know somebody that has children, there's baby books. And they, and sometimes they have cute, cute shapes or they have like, so you have to look at a baby book and be like, oh my God, it's in the shape of, I don't know, a teddy bear or whatever. And you can do something with that. Oh, kids' books are awesome. I've, I've been using kids' books for a long, long time. Oh, yeah. And even flashcards. I, I One time I bought flashcards that were thick, and I used the flashcards to make the books. It was awesome. Yeah. Okay. Let's get back to business, shall we? We were going to round off the edges. And then I'm going to round off all the edges. I think it'll make it look nice and finished. Yeah, that looked pretty. This so one's a little bit more. Okay, now I'm just going to take a little bit of the scrap and I'm going to test to see if my idea will look good or not before I actually do it on there. Always test. Just like when you do stuff with your clothes, oh, test it on a, always test first. So we're going to test. I got the black because I, I did say we're going to use the black, but I might like the brown better. I don't know, but let's see what happens. Okay, that's cool. And then I'm going to do sepia on this side. Okay, I think the black looks better. Let me show you. So um, the top is the, the black and the bottom is the sepia. And I think that the black looks better. See, it darkens it a little bit, and it's going to make it, like, mesh better with the book. It won't look as bright. Um, and if you, just so you can see the difference, it just darkens, it kind of dirties it up. It just kind of, like, dirties it up a little bit. See the, the difference between the strip? It just dirties it up a little bit. Makes it look vintage -y. Hi, Cece. Oh my gosh, how are you? Yeah, I like the black too. But I'm gonna go very gentle. I'm not gonna go crazy because we could always add a little bit more. And I just wanna try and get those, that folds, the little folds in the, in the paper. just for a little dimension. And then of course, you have to use the whole thing around because that also helps with the transition from the fabric to the paper. It just makes it really nice, a smoother look. I think the Dollar Trees, like the dollar stores, are really beefing up their game on the crafting supplies, which is really good because I kind of feel like the big box stores are starting to back up their game a little, you know? All right, so let me show you the difference between one and the other. Okay, do you see the difference? 
You see how it looks nicer with the with the black on this side? It just makes it look not as stark. Not as stark. Alex, you're here. How are you? Guys, this is Alex. She is the owner of this book. Um, look, Alex, it's already wrapped. It looks beautiful. We decided for you that the teal, keeping it in teal and keeping it very vintagey Art Nouveau kind of a look um, is the way to go. So um, that's how well, I'm going to finish up the inside. I'm glad you like it because it would be too bad if you didn't at this point. <laughs> okay. You have a decision to make. Hi, Christy. How are you? Welcome. So you need to decide the mermaid that I got for you. There's two options. Okay. So your first option is going to be the pink. She'll look like that. She's going to go from the spine to the front. She's beautiful. And then I have a white one. But it's your decision. Oh, sorry. I was I was at the wrong camera. Um, I personally like the pink one, but it's your decision. Alex likes the white one. Okay. White it is. It's beautiful. Okay, let me show it to you guys. It's, it's gorgeous. So you can see the detail. She's beautiful. You're not a pink girly? Then Alex, why did you have me throw pink in your... I did pink on your, on your board. I put pink. You don't want pink? I'll remove the pink. I didn't know you didn't like pink. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to take, I'm going to take this pink off and, or I'm going to cover it with something else. I thought you said you liked pink too. Okay. Just a small amount of pink. Okay. So then this is going to be okay. Cause it's going to be cut up into smaller pieces. All right. Then I don't feel so bad. I feel like I had to rework it. Okay. So the white one is it. You know what that means? I'm going to have an extra to make an extra book. Okay. So she likes the white. Yay. Thank God I asked her. Thank God you came on. That would have been an epic failure. Okay. So we're just aging this a little bit. Oh, somebody asked, this is a sponge and this is called the stress oxide, the stress oxide. And, um, you basically, you take the sponge, you dip it and you use this to color and age the ends of the paper. And they come in all different colors. Um, and it just helps you, uh, give a lot of definition and depth to your papers. We do, we call this judging, but it's really called, it's distressing the pages and um, it's just a nice finished look um, for the page. It really makes a difference when you do and you don't. Um, so always my, my motto is always judge it better have it and not need it than need it and not be able to do it. Once it's glued down, on, um, it's hard to do. So you definitely want to do this while you have access to the paper. Marie, I think it was from Timu. I'm pretty sure. Yes, Tracy. Um, uh, Facebook will will post the original. Yeah, it'll be on there. And then I'm also going to download it and put it on my YouTube channel. So you can see both. Okay. Okay. So now... Our next step is going to be to glue this piece down. Hold on. I'm thinking. Uh, I think I'm going to do the eyelets first because I cut it so it comes all the way to the end. You see how it goes to the end? 
So I'm going to do the eyelets now so that we could put the ribbon through the eyelet and not have to mess with this is what I'm thinking. Sorry. Let me think this through. Push it through. It's going to squish it. Yeah, I'm going to do that first. That way the eyelet will be hidden on the inside. Yeah, I like that idea. This is a journal. Yes. It does match the ribbon. So now we're going to pop a hole. This is a crop -a dial that punches holes, two different sizes. It's tight. Okay, what, what that did is that popped the hole through the book. And then we're going to put what's called an eyelet in there. But first, I've got to eyeball it to make sure that, uh, let me get a white. Just, I was just marking with the white pencil so that they're the same in the same spot. Okay, so a little trick about this machine. Uh, love it. It's a great tool, but I also hate it. Um, and the reason I hate it is because it really doesn't work the way it's supposed to, in my opinion. Uh, when it comes to working with like chipboard and books, it works fine with paper and especially fabric. It works great for fabric, but I find that it doesn't work as well. It says that, that I just punched a 3 16th hole while a 3 16th eyelet will not fit in that hole. I know that for a fact. So I take an awl and I just put it in the hole and I push the awl through, which makes the hole a little bit bigger. That's all I do. That's my my fix. And then we're going to take our eyelets. And I want, I want to use, I think I want to use the dark gold. Hold on. Cause I want to make sure that everything matches. So I do like the, the dark gold. Let me get I need to get like a little something. And let me get the corners of the book because I want them to match. I need the big fat corners. I think I need to use my, what I call my big fat corners. I think I need to use these because this book is pretty thick. Yeah. One, two, three, four. And is that the same color? Yes, it is. Okay. Oh, wait. I have to make sure this is um, thick enough to fit all the way through the other side. It is barely, but it'll do. So the problem with our eyelids sometimes is that they're not long enough for these thick books to go through to the other side. Oh, I have a bigger one. Hold on. Hold your horses. I got a bigger one. I got the leather one. I am making a book, Lacey. Oh, thank you, Carol. Yeah, that 
that'll work. These are a little bit bigger. These are a quarter inch. So I'm going to have to pop that hole even bigger for these to fit in there because they're definitely not going to fit. You know what? Let me get a little tin just so that, um, I don't lose anything, but I'm going to have to make the hole bigger. And I think the last time I did it with, um, what did I do it with? I thought I kept it here. Wasn't it? Oh, no, that wasn't it. It was something round. I think it was the back of, of, oh, it was the back of a brush. That's what it was. Cause it's a little bit bigger. I need it to go like right to there. You just use the tools you have. That's telling me how far this has to go in so that that will go through here. There it goes. You saw that, right? You just pop it through. Okay. This is going to set the eye. It's not going to set the eye very good, so I'm not even going to use that. I need to get a hammer. Which Larry took from here. Hold on. I got to go. In the, let me make sure I have the quarter inch. to see what I got here see if this is gonna work I know I've used them before it's the wrong piece I'm gonna try five millimeter it may work we'll try it We'll try the crocodile first. I just don't think the, the crocodile is going to work. Oh, needs to go a little bit more. Still needs more. There it goes. Okay. It's in. Uh, what was I moving this to? A1. A1. I have a love-hate with this. Remember that. Oh, it did pretty good. You may not have to get the hammer. No, I'm going to get the hammer. But let's do both sides first. This is like surgery. And if you guys think this is interesting, you got to come back and watch me do the Western book because the Western book is going to be made out of leather, real leather, which it is a kitty cat to my right, Paula. <laughs> um, he likes to join me now all of a sudden. This is a new thing. Um, so um, I'm going to, I ordered some leather, which is a, uh, uh, copper and turquoise for the for the uh, the Western book. Leather's not easy to work with, um, so it's definitely going to be an experience, guys. Um, but I made a book out of leather last year, and I had to bust out the power drill, my husband's power drill, to put the eyelets in it. It was hysterical, but we did it. So I'm anticipating a heck of a fiasco on my hands. 
to do this leather book. So it's going to be very interesting. So stay tuned for that. Um, that'll be after this one. When we're done with this one in, in the, like two, three weeks, I'll do the Western one. Uh, in the meantime, back at the ranch, I'm going to put these away and I'm going to grab the hammer that Larry took from me. It was his to begin with. I really shouldn't complain. But I need it just to smash down a little bit on those eyelids. And I'm also going to stir the pot. Hammer. I got the hammer, but I'm just going to stir the soup real quick because it's only got like two minutes left. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, okay. I forgot to tell you guys. I'm going to add one more thing. I'm going to add one more thing. I'm going to add a half a bag, a half a bag of frozen vegetables. Um, so I have more veggies in the soup. I, I got the medley, which is um, string beans, carrots, corn. Um, I have all that. So I'm going to just dump. Uh, Larry bought me a big bag. I'm going to put half in one pot, half in the other. It's frozen. So it literally only takes like three minutes for it to cook. And then we have a little bit of a crunch in the soup as well. So um, I'm going to go do that real quick. Oh, um, just message me and I'll send you my, my cell later and you can uh, just text it to me on my phone. Okay. Just message me. And then after the live tonight, I'll send you my phone number and you can send me the picture. Oh, you want to see him, Paul? I'll twist the, the camera so you can see him real quick. Hold on. Hold on. See him? There he is. About TikTok, you guys want to see him? He's still there. He's sleeping. Okay. Uh, let me go put the frozen vegetables in the soup. I'll give it five more minutes and then we're done. are in. I'm just stirring it, putting the lid on. I'm going to let it go for about five more minutes. Okay. All right. The last bit of veggies are in. Soup's almost going to be you don't see him? Hold on, Lori. There he is. There's a delay on, on uh, TikTok, so I have to, like, see him laying right there. He's on the box, on the chair. In a box, of course. I mean, I want to make sure that I got this lined up right now. Okay. Okay. Are we good? He is, he's 19 pounds. Oh yes. 
He is a Russian blue. Yes. Where else would he be? This is his new thing. But he usually doesn't want anything to do with me. But all right, all I'm gonna do. Oh, he's leaving now. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. He left. I'm just flattening it out a little bit. Sorry. Sorry, Charlie. Go to your right. Oh my God, yes. Uh, wait, to your right. A little bit more this way. How's that? Is that a little bit better? Cold. All right, so now I'm putting the ribbon through the eyelet. Beasley is an awesome name. His name is Bugsy because he was gray like Bugs Bunny. That's what he reminded me of. So I wanted to call him Bugsy. Bugsy, you could come back, buddy. I'm done. Bugsy, where'd you go? Okay. Here we go. Okay, see now the ribbon comes out this way and when you're closing it, it's a lot it's a lot more supported than pulling on what we normally would do would be come out of here and it would tear this paper. So now because I do the eyelids, it kind of makes it so much easier to tie it. Yeah, it's going to look really good. there. Okay. Now we're just going to glue some more. Hey, Jesse, how you feeling? Hope you're doing better. Here, of course, you want to be generous with the glue. And this one I'm not going to spread because I want a nice thick layer of glue. And when you push, it will spread. So, you know, remember that. I'm just going to do the, the sides. I'm not going to do the center because it's textured. So by spreading it, you need the globs of the glue. So the textured part will... Um, will adhere nicely, but I don't want the glue to squeeze out. So I'm just kind of pushing it in a little bit. You work on it over here. So I don't just on the edges, but in the center, I want the globs in this case, because it is, it is textured and folded and then it'll just make it adhere a lot better. Oh, that five minutes went by fast. Okay, I'll be right there. I'm going to go turn everything off. So it tasted for salt.
I'm just adding a little bit of salt to one of the soups. And I'll be right there. And then I'm going to take a bowl. I just had to add a little bit of salt. That's it. So we're good. I'm going to go grab a bowl when we're done with this. Bring it. I should probably put it in a bowl now and let it cool, right? Hey, Diana, how are you? This, yeah, this teal. I'm good, Diana. We've been making soup, so I've been running in and out of the kitchen because we weren't able to get the whole computer website thing working today. So, but the soup is done. This looks awesome, guys. Look at that. Looks great. Give it the mermaid tail look. Then we got to get the old dragon out. Oh, I ran out of, uh, ran out of juice. I got to have Larry fill that for me. But there it is. It's got fuzzies on it. Isn't it pretty? Hey, Becky. How are you, honey? So now we're going to put our mermaid on it. So I'm going to cut her. I'm going to start her at the, at the bottom there. I'm going to work our way up or start up and work our way down. She's going to look really pretty. So we need to flatten this out. It's going to look really cute. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Okay, so I'm going to have to cut this really as close to the edge without taking her apart as possible. 
Oh no, Becky, is she okay? Well, this is going to be posted on uh, on Facebook afterwards. I'm done saying book face. I, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Um, yes, she's a mermaid, a, a beaded mermaid. Here, so you can see her. Yes. Uh, I'm only going to start off flat with the cover, then no, it won't be a problem. Before I do the spine, I'm going to fold it a little bit so that I don't have a problem. But yes, you're right. You got to be careful when you work flat because you need that give. So I just want to work on this part while I'm flat and then we'll do the tail last. Yeah. On Friday, Jess, we did, um, oh, I don't know, behind the purple door. Let me see. Did I miss your comment? Gallbladder. Oh, no, Becky, I had mine taken out, too. It's painful, but the recovery is pretty good. Um, I don't see, oh, like chipboard. I saw like chipboard. Did you, what was your first question, though? All I saw was like chipboard. Are you asking me what I made the book out of? Um, Samantha, we could put the eyelets in first. Yep. Yeah, uh, because, um, we have room since we're doing, uh, we're not going to put eyelets on the whole thing. So I have plenty of room, but yeah, I guess we could do the eyelets on the spine first. That way we're not messing, touching her too much. I want to put her down and then let her dry. So that's a good idea. We'll do the, um, we'll do the spine first, the eyelets on the spine. And, um, since I do the, um, elastic, uh, spine, so that she can remove the signatures and replace them if she ever wants to or needs to. We're just going to do four um, eyelids. That's it. So thanks, Samantha, for the reminder. But yes, we could definitely, we would have been fine either way, but so much easier to work with it now than, you know, than later. So we're going to have to make a spine because I, I'm pretty sure I don't have a three and a half by nine. I, I don't think I do. So we're just going to make a new um Oh, about my glue, I use Beacon 3-in-1. Beacon 3-in-1 is what I use. It's the same name, Becky. It's uh, Connie's Coolest Crafts. Uh, okay, Jesse wants to know. On Friday, <clears throat> we did something for the cap book. Let me show you. <clears throat> this is what we did on Friday. We made a cat scratch post um, that opens up, and then this is a secret a secret window pocket, like that. But the cat scratch post came out really cute. So this this was Friday's Friday's project. Um, oh, and the I didn't even show you guys the little cat comes out. Little cat comes out of the bed. And we got a little fishy for them to play with. Does that look so cute? I don't have a mod, sweetheart. I'm sorry. I don't have mods right now. What's your question? Was it about, would you, I saw something you said about a uh, chipboard. Are you asking me if I use chipboard for the, for, for the book? Is that your question? Thank you, Samantha. Hi, Becca. How are you? So I got Becky and Becca. That's so funny. Yes, Grace. Um, uh, Jesse wanted to see what we did because she missed it on Friday. So I was just showing them. I think her question was about the chipboard. I, I scrolled up and I saw something about chipboard.
it's filtering you. Okay, so let me so let me. Are you asking me if I use chipboard to make the book? Just say yes or no. Or don't don't spell all the words. Leave like use like a dollar sign or something for one of the letters. Oh, my day's going great, Becca. We just made two big pots of soup. Nope. But okay, I'm trying to guess. This is not easy. How about give me just one word. Type one word and let me see. What is it about? Is it about the book? And just give me what it is about. We want to help you. This usually doesn't happen. I'm wondering why. Ah, okay. You're talking about the thing I use to chop paper. My cutter? My paper cutter? Are you talking about my paper cutter? Let's see what she says. Oh, thank you so, so much. Yes, we'll see you again. Okay, this paper cutter is a Carl RT200. It is old. This thing is over 20 years old. They don't make it anymore. Um, my larger one is an Exacto. Hold on, guys. I'll slide it down so you can see it. This one, it's called an Exacto, and it's a guillotine. This one cuts like this. I like both. They, they're both goods for different things. This one, this one cuts the chipboard much better, but this one cuts the paper really nice and smooth when you need to do a couple pages at a time, you know? But that's what that one is. That's the exact, I, I bet you it's because of the word cut. I bet you, I know that one was, um, it was a gift from Mary and she, it was a birthday gift. She spoils me so. I'm going to go put some soup in a bowl so it starts to um, uh, cool off a little bit because I know it's hot as hell. Um, and then we're going to cut this to do our, our frame. Okay. You're looking for the best thing to chop the chipboard. Okay. I don't like cutting chipboard on that guillotine. I scoured for this one. I went on eBay. I found one and I bought it and I actually found a second one and I just ordered a second one because this cuts chipboard beautifully. You just put a little pressure and it cuts and then you get other blades. I have a vintage, a decal, I have um, the uh, scoring, I have a perforating, all kinds of different blades for this one cutter. So yeah, you keep getting filtered on TikTok too, so you came to Facebook. Oh, Becky says she was getting filled. It must be because of the word cut. Aw, oh, Jesse, I'll send you some soup. <laughs> It must be because there's certain words that does trigger. Um, and that's what I think has been going on. It's those triggering words. Because it's, it's it's bots. It's automated. It's automated. It's not a person sitting there watching you. It's just if it happens to catch that word, it'll, um, it'll fit, filter what you're saying. Yeah. So all of us have gone on Marketplace. We've gone on uh, basically on eBay. Uh, maybe in your local area you could find it. Where, where are you? And make sure it is the A412 for cutting chipboard because there is a version of that that does not cut the chipboard well. But if you saw one swipe, the darn thing cuts chipboard beautifully. That company should give me a commission because of how many of those things I've sold. Indiana, you might get lucky then out there because on the East Coast, I know we've scoured the eBay. and uh, But look for it. It's called an RT200, not the 200N. It's the RT200 and it has the gray back. So it's the teal with the gray back. That's the one you want. And it says right up here, RT200. And this is A124 or 12, the A4. That's the one you want. It's called a Carl, Lynn. Carl. Take a picture. Take a screenshot of this, guys, so you have it. Take a screenshot. Oh, good for you, Elise. See, you might find it on Marketplace and people may ship it to you. I wouldn't pay more than like, like $16, $17 for shipping. It might be up to $20, depending on where it's going, just so you know. So based on that, I would say the cutter itself is probably worth like $20, $25. You don't want to spend $80. At that point, you might as well just buy one of the brand new ones that could probably do the same job. But I haven't found one that I liked. I've gone through four cutters and I, I don't, I don't even, I have the brand new one. The Carl, let me show it to you. It just does not work as well. 
this is the brand new one. You see, it looks similar, but it's not the same and it does not cut the same. It just doesn't. So I kept it because I got this oh, months and months ago, so I can't return it. Uh, let me go get the soup. Oh my God, it looks so good, guys. Okay, so hold on. Let's not have an accident. Okay, look at that. Look at the barley and just a bag of frozen vegetables. You see that? Does that look so good? It looks hot as hell, but it looks very tasty. So a little bit of frozen vegetables gives us all that goodness. Hi, Terry. It's not on Amazon, Lori. It's not the same one. Believe me, we've ordered it and we've tried it and it's not the same. Right. Um, I got somebody on, on, um, on Bookface saying it's on Amazon. Yeah, they, they, they changed something. Um, now, it, it's the original. This one also has, it also has on the back, let me show you. On the back, it has a little, a little secret compartment where you could store all your extra blades. Okay. So that's another key. And then it has this sticker on the back. So make sure it's the same because Lori, we've ordered it from Amazon and we've sent it back. It does look good. I'm going to see if the meat is tender. Hola, Chris, Chris. Yeah, it's different. I'm going to take one. Let me take a bite of the meat just to see if it's nice and tender. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's good. Oh, I put one bay leaf in it and I got the bay leaf. <laughs> That's funny. Wait, what happened? You said, uh, Jesse, I made beef barley soup today. It is good. It is good, Alex. But I'm going to let it sit for a little bit. I just want to take a bite because I'm a little hungry, but I'm going to let it sit and let it cool off for a little bit. I'll probably put it behind me. Mmm. Thank you for the hearts. Mmm. The frozen veggies. Give it like, not a crunch, just a teensy weensy bit of like a little crunch, which is good for the texture. Baby, the soup is just finished. It's good. Sorry, Grease Grease. The school bomb. Only the first Sunday of the month. Once a month, Becky, we do soupy Sunday and then we craft. It may not always be soup. Okay. No, I'm, I'm talking to my peeps. Okay. Hola de Chile, Natalia. Bienvenidos. ¿Cómo estás? Jem says hi, Larry. Who? Jem, Jem. Oh, okay. You ordered yours through Walmart. You found eBay. Yes. I hope it's the right one, Martha. Mmm, so good. Mm -hmm. I don't want to stop eating it now. I think I'm going to finish it, guys, because I'm kind of hungry. We'll take a little bit of a break. We'll do this, and then we'll finish the book. And then uh, Friday the 15th, we'll do a, a remote review of the Amish Outlaw concert. <laughs> Eat it. It's lunchtime. Is it lunchtime? Oh, my God. It's past lunchtime. Quarter four. 
I know, but time flies while we're having fun. And because we're doing soup, usually our soup is done in like within an hour. So my, my internal clock is way, way off. Tell him, Jesse said, what's up? Be careful. As long as you can return it. And those, I apologize, those of you just watching me eat. Grab something for yourself. Last, on Friday, was it Friday? No, last weekend, we, on Sunday, we took a little break and we ate because we went for like nine hours. Oh, are you in the UK, Al? Ellie? Ellie, are you in the UK? As long as it works great, that's all that matters. You're making biscuits for lunch? Mm, biscuits and soup would go great together. Oh, excellent, KJ. Um, so this would be stew if it was a little bit thicker. If I thickened the broth, then yes, it would be a stew. And our stew, we put potatoes in it, not barley. So that's why it's considered a soup because we keep the, the liquid a little bit more watery and we put barley in it instead of potatoes. But you switch the barley for potatoes and we thicken the broth a little bit and then it's a stew for us. But the process is the same. And the, and the veggies would be cut a little bit thicker, like a little bit bigger, chunkier, not so fine. You grew up on beef barley. This is a good meal. In my house, we always had a bowl of soup before we had our our main course. Everybody had to have a bowl of soup first, always. Uh, thank you for the roses. Mm -hmm. Barley is good. It's it's the little. It's like it's a cross between. Rice and pasta. It's like a cross between that. It's a little more like rice, like a little chewier. Um, I like barley, to be honest. Yeah, barley is good. I don't use it enough. Sorry, Grace. Drive over, Grace. You're not far from me. <laughs> What's baked sweat? It is, Lori. We make soup once, uh, once a month together. It is 3.49 p.m. right now. I did not about, know about that song. I did I did post the recipe on TikTok, always. I always post the recipe so everybody could get the ingredients for Sunday. Suete. It's suete. And what is it? Is it French? Qu'est-ce que suete... Is French. <laughs> Lori, that means you're behind me. Where are you? Midwest or California? Because you're three hours behind me. Got you. So many veggies in here. Vancouver, ah, British Columbia. I think it's weird in New Zealand. It's Monday morning. <laughs> Anything in the future we need to know about? Any stock market 
<laughs> I always do that. Hmm. Isn't it weird? I need a tissue. My nose is going to start to run from a hot soup. Almost done. I hope everybody at work likes this tomorrow. I'm like feeding a clan. What is that? How many likes? Oh, you made stew, Lori? Yeah, I made an extra pot for the people at work. Yeah, because they know when I say, oh, I'm making it soupy Sunday. They're like, oh, you're bringing some in? I'm like, okay, I'll bring some in. Tammy. The only difference with the paper with the paper and the fabric, I used um, for the meat. I used the chuck roast for the meat. Um, is you want it so you know how you cut the corners of the paper really close. You don't cut it close with the fabric. You want to leave about about a, between a, about a half an inch or so, so that you can tuck it in first. So you always tuck the fabric in first. Let me show you. I have a piece of fabric right here. Okay. So when you're doing fabric, okay, the difference is you're going to trim this corner a little bit, but you want to leave enough to tuck it over. So like for this corner here, I would cut, just to give you an example, let me use this corner down here because I still might be able to use that. Let's say this is the corner. You have a one inch going around. You're going to cut about that much and then you tuck the corner in first like that the the corner goes in first and then you do the top and then you do the side and that's how you get a tight corner that's the difference between the paper whereas with the paper you're cutting it so close you're cutting it like literally that close and all you do is you do the top and then you do the side like that but you want a little bit extra fabric in there so that it's tucked all the way and it doesn't pop out. So that's why you do it like this first. You glue that corner in first and then you do your top and then you do your side and then it's tucked in there nicely. Did you freeze your stew, Lori? I get it, Tammy. Okay, so now we're going to work on the eyelids on the spine and then we're going to put the mermaid on there and then maybe we'll do the maybe i wasn't i wasn't going to do the signature but maybe we will go rest jesse don't overdo it you ate it all must have been good Lori. I like the crunch of the string bean. Good 
getting down to the nitty gritty here. Thank you for letting me eat. <laughs> Lori, that's the best way. Like, this soup is going to be my lunch every day at work this week. Oh, gone, Mommy. That was really good. It was really good, Adam. It came out delicious. I added some frozen vegetables at the end for like five minutes. So hearty. So good. A little bit of water. Let's get back to crafting. Oh, good, Lisa. Well, we're doing the cover for The Mermaid. I'm not going to start working on the inside of the book, probably until next week sometime. I have to finish the cap book first, and then we'll work on the inside. Okay, so I'm going to cut this to three and a half so that it'll be the, uh, the width of the spine. Okay. And then mark it at nine. ourselves a little template something different. I'm just going to zhuzh the line. See if this helps. Because sometimes when there's a lot of lines, it's hard to see the crease. Oh yeah, that'll help. What? Crazy. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead. We just finished wrapping our book. For those of you that are just joining, we just finished wrapping this entire book. And now we're going to put eyelets so that we could put elastic on there to put the signatures. We're going to create the signatures, the paper to go on the inside of the book. So we're making this book from scratch right now. Make it a template of the spine so that we could cut the holes. And we want to strategically plan it so we don't have to do too much cutting of paper. I'm going to have to cut it just a little bit smaller. Let me trim it just a little bit. Just want to trim it a smidgen, which makes it hard to do on this. But let's see. Okay. That's good. All right. And I think this is nine. So we want the paper to be, let's say, it could be eight inches, but that's okay. We could go down. I'm just deciding how big the paper is going to be on the inside. And it's a little bit less than nine now that it's all wrapped. If I do eight, I could do a quarter of an inch. Let me see what happens. If we do a quarter of an inch and we do a quarter of an inch on this side, I could probably get, yeah, eight inch paper. So that's where the bottom of the circle needs to be. So what I do is I mark it so that the bottom and the top line is where you want the bottom and the top of the hole of the eyelet that you're cutting to be. So that in between these two, I have eight inches and I'll be able to fold eight and a half by 11 just cut a half inch off the top. Make it easy. I see that. 
All right. So with that said, we're going to use our punch and I'm going to use the, and you'll, I'll show it to you right there. And right there. So if you see the line is still there, see the line. Okay. Now we're good to go. This is our template and now we're good to cut. That's good. That's good. I'm just going to clip it and use this as our template. I make sure that the holes on the exact same spot. It's not exactly nine. Um, it's a little bit shorter than nine, so it's it's a little bit off. And then when you measure in between, it is eight inches. So it's actually like a quarter of an inch short short of nine. That's why it's the it's not coming out to eight and a half. Otherwise, that would be fantastic. No cutting. Um, we are going to put the eyelets so that we could then put the signatures. A signature is this is a group of pages that then will go inside the book. This is what we're gonna make next. It just feels like it's crooked for some reason to me. It's probably because the lines are off. I'm gonna mark it. make sure that they're even. See, I feel like it needs to be a little bit more over here. That one's good. Okay. So now we're going to use this to cut our little holes in. Uh, let's see. And then we'll put the elastic through. And then I'm going to have to go get the paper so we can start picking some paper for here. So the paper is going to be pretty simple, plain paper, because I have a lot of prints to use for this book, a lot of mermaid prints, um, but they're not big enough to fold. They're going to be used like I have to glue them to the pages. <clears throat> L. I will be downloading the video because I am uh, recording this um, and I will be uploading it to my YouTube channel. It'll also be available on my Facebook channel. Hi, Judy. Nice to see you as well on Facebook. Welcome. Um, uh, so it'll be available on both platforms. Um, not right away. 
the, the Facebook will probably be available right away, but the YouTube, I have to download it first. And then you can watch the whole thing and fast forward it and do all that stuff. Okay. So don't, don't feel like you missed out. No FOMO. You'll be good. Okay. So now we need to pick our eyelid. And for this one, we could go a little smaller. Um, Grace, I'm usually on until like at least like six, seven o'clock at least. Usually on Sundays, we go till eight, nine. It's crazy. We go crazy. It's like marathon. But I'm hoping not to do that much because I want to I want to work on the cap book a little bit tonight. So with that said, I'm going to use the smaller um, eyelets for this. Uh, instead of those big jam ones, we don't need to use that really big one. Actually, we don't even need to use this big. I could go a little size smaller because where's my, because it's just for, for the elastic. Let's see what color options do we have? No. Really needs to be like a gold. Hmm. I don't have that color. Oh, wait. Yes, I do. One. I just need to see which one matches better. It's that one. What is this? Why is my, why is my life paused? I didn't pause anything. What happened? You guys still see me? Oh, I know why. The phone, low battery. Hold on, guys. Sorry, guys. It was the whole battery thing. Again. Because I took the phone to the kitchen, I forgot to plug it in. Are we good? Did you guys miss much? Sorry, sorry about that. Uh, hold on, I gotta get I gotta get your comments up now. There you are. Wait, I can't get the comments. There you are. Oh no, did it did it shut you down? Hopefully it didn't shut you guys down. Did it stop now? Am I live again? If yeah, because my battery on on uh, TikTok, my my phone was going. Are we good? Okay, sorry guys. It, I didn't realize that the, the, the phone wasn't plugged in. My mistake. I gotta be more aware. One, two, three, four. Yes, they're the same color. All good now? Thank you, Teresa. Did you know, do you know you're paused on duty? What does that mean, Kim? Oh, maybe because my, my TikTok, I should be good now though, right guys? I should be good on, on uh, Facebook now. Okay, good. I'm good there. Uh, a one, which is, which is what we got going on. Oh, that's funny. You don't know where the duty came from. It said, do, do you know you're paused on duty? I said, I'm duty. Who's duty? That was funny, Kim. And thank you for going over there and letting me know. But I did get a message. It, um, it's when my battery goes low on my phone. 
it pauses. So I was like, ah. What I was like, ah. <laughs> oh, thank you, Helena, for letting me know. Okay. Uh, that one, it worked because I happened to use, I made a 3 16th hole, used an eighth inch eyelet, and it works perfectly that way. That's the, that's the trick. In case you guys didn't know, that crocodile, when you, when you cut the eight, 3 16th hole, the 1 eighth eyelet fits in there perfectly. But the 3 16th will not fit. You have to make the hole better, bigger. So just keep that in mind. Yeah, this is a beautiful color combo. All right, let me grab the uh, black elastic. And then uh, she's done, guys. Oh, well, then we have to do the mermaid. She's done, meaning that part's done. Okay. Out, in, out, in. And because it's a nine inch high book, I think I'm gonna double up. I'd rather it be nice and secure. So we're gonna use the double the elastic. Plastic? Yes, honey. Not many, not many people are even know what that means. I have no idea. Because it's super elastic bubble plastic. Super elastic bubble plastic. That's the crap that was toxic that we would put on the end of a straw and we'd blow pff, these big plastic bubbles that were probably terrible for us to breathe that crap in. But hell, we all did it. It was all those weird, crazy, psychedelic colors. Do you guys remember all that? You remember, Claire? And we're fine. My husband said the same thing my husband did. Ah, uh, that's funny, Lori. Nothing wrong with us. He says there's nothing wrong with them. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you can still get it, Carrie? They still sell that crap? Really? Uh, we'll do the corners next. Somebody said you could still get it. It's got to be illegal. Mm -hmm. I mean, that stuff is toxic. I'm sure it was. Hi, Julie. That's funny. Okay. I, I doubled up on the uh, elastic, okay? Just so it's a little bit more secure. Then we could tighten it up afterwards based on how much, how tight we really need it to be. Right now we're just going to tie it. Yeah, that looks, that's, that sounds good to me. Will that snap? When I saw jelly on, yeah, that is right. Babe is cleaning the kitchen, Dad's right now. He's doing the dishes. They hear you, clinking and clanging. Sorry. It's okay, honey. I have no problem. You clang away. I took my hammer back. It's where it's supposed to be. Oh, most definitely, baby. Most definitely. Okay, so uh, you want to do the corners? Let's do the corners. Uh, let me get a piece of fabric because I like to use some fabric when I squeeze it. I think I have some here. here I'll use the yellow so you guys can see better. Um, I like to use like a nice piece of fabric so that I don't, when I squeeze it with the pliers, it doesn't uh, mark it. Because these could, this could mark up and ruin the whole design on here, you know. Can you can you tell us what you are what you're making? I'm Paul Mark. I am making a journal. This will become a journal book. 
Um, here's one that's a little bit more ahead. This one's done. The book part is done. And then I have the signatures already done here. See the signatures? I already started decorating. This is the inside. So that'll go inside the book. It'll become a book when we're done. That's what we're making. We started from scratch. We started with, with just an old book. That's all we did. And we redid it. Yes, for this one, I used the front and back. I used a deconstructed book, but I also um, normally stock. Where's my chipboard? Here it is. This is chipboard. I stock chipboard, and this is what I use to make the books. It's about the thickness. It's 70 points, so it's the thickness of a quarter, um, and that's what I usually use to make the books, unless I thrift a children's book cover or another book. Let me have that book right there, my assistant. Thank you. For example, this is a baby book that has the card stock pages, the real thick pages. You cut a page out and here you go. Now you have the beginning of a book just by using baby books. Thank you. I'm very clever. Thank you, Vanna. Thank you. <laughs> Larry needs to, oh, thank you, yes. You're so good. Can you fill my dragon? Can you fill my dragon? Well, not in front of everybody, but yeah. <laughs> So yes, with the elastic, there's only a little bit here. You can dangle something from there. I've done that. Um, do you ever show others how to make them? Liz, I've been making them all day. This is what I do. My lives are to show you how I make my books. Um, and if you want on YouTube, there's a few uh, videos on YouTube already that you could probably watch. But yeah, I'm, I do lives two, three times a week and I show you exactly what I do. I don't gatekeep at all. We started at one o'clock this afternoon. So we've been live for um, three hours already. No, I also sell the books. Right now, all the books I'm making are already sold. They're commissioned work. Hi, Claire. Hi, Roseanne. Welcome. So, um, so yeah. So we just did the elastic. But this book, I don't know if we're going to do anything as far as the dangling on the spine because I have this beautiful mermaid that we're going to put on the book now after we do the corners. Actually, you know what, guys? No, I want the mermaid to be the last thing. I was going to say I didn't want to do. No, we'll, we'll do the corners first. Let's get the corners done, and then we'll do the mermaid. Yeah, the elastic spine works really well because if you finish um, with one of the signatures, like you finish writing in it, it's completely filled. You can take it out, and you can put your own signature, make your own, and throw it in there. It's not hard to make. So the book will become very sustainable and you can use it over and over and over again. Whereas the books where you sew the, the signatures into the spine, once they're filled, they're done. Oh, well, um, TOE, is it TOE? I, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Um, it's 10, 10, 18 in the morning. So you must be like either Australia, New Zealand, you must be somewhere there. Um, but I do start books literally almost every week, if not, if definitely every other week, but almost every week. And um, I, you know, you can learn and you can always go on my tutorials, uh, not tutorials, on my YouTube and watch the replays and also Facebook. Um, so the elastic has to do, you are New Zealand, Tiawi. Oh, very nice. Thank you. It's 9, 19 p.m. in Scotland. Yes, Scotland is you is Europe, so you're five hours ahead of me. And welcome from Scotland. Um, so, yes, um, as far as the elastic, when the books are larger like this, I definitely would like to use two millimeter elastic. It's a little thicker. I'm actually going to see if there's any, if there's like three millimeter available. That way I don't have to double up. I feel that when the elastic is thicker, kind of like the hair elastic, you know, there's thinner ones and thicker ones. You use them for different things, right? Same thing with the book. When it's a smaller book, I'll use the one and a half, one to one and a half millimeter. But this is two millimeter and I did double up. Oh, you're very welcome. And if you have any questions, message me. I do respond to all questions. I mean, I don't have like five billion followers that I can't, I can't answer, you know, a message. I always answer questions or come on my lives and ask me. Let's finish. I didn't, I didn't do the one. I don't remember which one I did and which one I didn't do. So we'll just do them both. This is my little dragon lighter. I love him. This is just so that um, it doesn't fray. 
whenever you do like a satin or, or this uh, gross grain, you want to burn it a little bit and that way it won't fray. Okay. Your husband did the dishes too. Tell your husband he's a good man. He's a keeper. I know you guys don't see the questions coming up on, on the Facebook. I'm saying Facebook. If they shut me down, they shut me down. This book face thing is driving me nuts. Um, okay, let's do our corners. It's already nice and tight, to be honest with you. But um, we're going to add a little bit of glue. I'm going to put glue on the just on the corner. It just helps adhere it a little bit more. That's all. Push it in. I'm going to let that set a minute. Make sure it's got the, I'm going to show you. You want to make sure that it's got the everything tucked in there as good as well as you can. You want to tuck what you can in there. It's going to look really pretty. And then I take a piece of cloth. Just kind of. This one doesn't need too much squeezing because it really fit really well. Yep, that looks good. How do I secure the elastic? Uh, just with a knot. You see that? It's just with a plain old knot. Well, a double knot. I did a double knot. You flip it through so it goes... Start on the inside, you bring it out, put it in, bring it out here, throw it in here, and that's it. It's like a U. Start on the inside, scooch over, on the, go out, come up back on the inside, and then you just tie it into a knot. Yeah, this is I these corners are beautiful for this book because um, it actually brings out the little gold specks. You see the little gold specks? It's like it's like um, a vintage gold speck. So that corner really brings out the gold specks. I'm ready for a claim week. I've had enough. Please give me a Oh, you poor thing. Do, do you get the rivets kits on Amazon? I did get one of my, uh, my, I am Portuguese. How did you know that? Um, I did get one of the, uh, one of my kits. It's not that big box. That's my own box that I made. It's a smaller box. It is on my Amazon storefront if you're interested, but a lot of those eyelets I've thrifted. Oh, thank you, Lori. You were blacked out during soup making. Oh, sorry, Lydia. Yeah, I know. We had issues with the with the app the, the, that we were trying to stream on. It wasn't working. I apologize. But we did finish the soup. And I had a bowl of it, and it was delicious. So those of you that are new, um, I do make soup with everyone on the first Sunday of the month, unless I have an event. Otherwise, the first Sunday of the month, I make a soup. And I post the recipe and everyone makes soup with me. You got to call rude friends. I know. Tell your friends it's soupy Sunday to stop bothering you. Oh, wow. That's a lot of likes. So today we made beef barley. Uh, last month, what did we make last month? We made pasta fagiole, which is like an Italian-based soup. Today was beef barley, Paula. And the recipe is on my TikTok. And I think I posted it on Facebook too, actually. I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, thank you for all the roses. That looks lovely. That looks lovely. Two more to go. Did you have some soup, babe? Oh, yeah. What are you waiting for? I'm hungry right now. How can you not be hungry? It's like almost five o'clock. All this wine I've been drinking. Oh, God. Oh, God. It does finish it off. I, I particularly like to use corners on what I consider like a vintage book. 
um, to give it that vintage because that's what it reminds me of, like a vintage vibe. So I don't put corners on all the books. It really depends on the vibe of the book. Unless I need it. Anything barley. Yes, barley is great in soups. It was very hearty. Okay. That looks good. That looks good. One to go. Yes, this cover is fabric. This is the fabric that I used. It's almost all gone. Almost. But I also do paper. It depends on the theme, what we're doing. A lot of fabric, though, for, for real. I, I do a lot of fabric. When I do paper, it's usually more mini journals or um, I did a Christmas book box last week. Um, on my live, which was all paper. That was a good one. Good afternoon, Naomi. Thank you, Tiwa, Tiwa, uh, Tiawi, Tiawi. That's it. Uh, thanks, thanks, Terry. Is that a dinosaur? Oh, hey, AJ, how you doing, mama? You filling up, you just bought a new rig? Oh my goodness. Hey guys, AJ, she's um, the Western girl from last year. Remember the leather book with the saloon? Where are you? What part of the country are you in? It's nice to hear from you. I was thinking about you yesterday, which is really weird because I ordered leather yesterday. Uh, no, I did not make this stand. This was a gift from my friend Lori. Um, she sent this to me, and it holds all kinds of little things. I liked it because I had I had it in here, and it kept getting stuck. And this is nice and concise, and I can kind of put all my stuff on here. So I just started using it. It's for, you know, you put whatever you want in there like this. Isn't this so cool? Everything that I use, that way I'm not like, where is it? I just need, this is my first time using it. So... Until I get used to having it here, I'm still going to be scouring. But you put stuff down and then it gets lost. I thought this was pretty cool. and It's working out okay. It does. It does. It does look really nice. Oh, thank you, Roseanne. So this is um, a vintage Art Nouveau kind of feel mermaid book. So we did teal. This is fabric. And on the inside, the spine is fabric, and this is textured paper. So we just finished the corners. They look amazing. They look really good. I just want to make sure they're nice and tight. Yeah, they're tight. It looks really, really pretty. And now for the piece de resistance, we're going to add the mermaid to it. So the owner of the book happened to be on the live today. And she picked my white mermaid. So we're going to add this beautiful mermaid to the cover. Oh, that looks beautiful. She's going to look amazeballs. I'm so excited. Oh, you're still here, Alex. Excellent. So I just need to trim this up a little. Obviously, we're going to trim it up before we glue it. Let me get a good pair of scissors. And let me get my glasses. I don't have them on my head. Usually, they're on my head. Are my glasses there, babe? Yes. Okay. Oh, so you're in Florida, and then you're going to Nor uh, New Orleans, Nashville, Memphis, and more, leaving in two weeks. Wow. I'm going to be in Florida next month. So in two weeks, I'm going to go to Arlington, Virginia for two days. And then in April, I'll be in Orlando uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I don't, remember, I don't know if I come back Tuesday night or Wednesday. I forget, but definitely two days. It's for work, Terry. You've been waiting for me to pop her on, Paula? Okay, let's do this. Um, so I'm pretty sure I got this on Timu. 
pretty short. So I'm going to cut this as close as I can. And I have to be very, very careful so I don't cut any stitching. So you guys are going to have to bear with me. I'm going to do the outline. What is the point of the 70 points, Joanne, is the one that I like to use. You're welcome. Bonjour. Comment ça va? Je suis Connie. Bienvenue. Yes, I did get it from Timmy. Okay, I wanted to make sure. Oh, thank you, Paula. Yes, I'm very lucky that my entire family puts up with my nonsense. <laughs> and they help. Very supportive. I'm just cutting all these little intricate parts out. I'm a righty. I got to go right. Otherwise, I feel like I'm going to do something wrong. Drives Larry crazy. Those ASMR people. You just got to be real careful with cutting this because it's going to be so easy to to cut a piece of string and then it's all going. So you got to be really, really careful with this part. Now you're watching on Facebook. You guys keep going back and forth, right? Between the Facebook and the. Uh, And it's the TikTok. And then I don't have anybody watching me on, on I don't think anyone's watching me on the, on YouTube. This is my first time. So I don't have the, all my followers on YouTube are you guys. So, right? Oh, uh, to buy from Team U, I use PayPal, by the way. Yes, please tap likes and hearts. I appreciate it. Yeah, when I purchase from um, from Timu, I definitely use PayPal. I feel that it's it's just more secure. But I've been ordering for them for over a year. I haven't had any trouble. I know everyone says, oh, they've had access to your information this whole time. And you know what I say to that? Well, I don't have anything to hide. I'm not a spy. Um, if they want to go and pay my bills and see how much I owe my credit cards, please feel free, China. Feel free. Do me the favor. But I'm not going to not buy good, cheap products inexpensive, I should say, because they're not cheap. They're actually, some of them are really, really decent, right? Um, for a hobby, not doing it. Thank you for sprinkling the love. You're watching me, Nicole. Yeah, definitely. That's my tip. I use PayPal for everything. Listen, lady, cooperate with me here. Hey, lady. Anybody remember that? The less we have to work with, the better. Oh, you were Z? How was it? I never did it. Like, was was the, the image good? The sound on all that? I'm just curious. It's the first time I'm using the website to, to stream. 
it worked on streaming for Facebook and it streamed on YouTube, but um, it didn't work for TikTok. So I'm going to have to go to my agency and say, hey, what up? It didn't work. The Mermaid is from Timu. Exactly, Paula. We could go bankrupt buying supplies. Seriously. That's why we thrift and buy from Timu. I'm not going to lie. I've, I've bought die cuts on Timu that I've seen them on Amazon for $9 and I bought them for three. I don't mind paying an extra dollar, maybe two. But triple the amount when I and then when you multiply that times how many I buy, I, I gotta go where it's cheaper. Sorry. But that's the reality of it. Oh yeah, I definitely have put in tons of orders. I should count them one day, because it would be maybe I shouldn't. That's not a good idea. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Lori. I could be silenced. You don't have to listen to me. Just watch, right? As long as you're entertained. Today feels like it's going to be, you know, spring soon because yesterday was such a crappy day. I went to the post office. P.S. Everyone's stuff is mailed out except for the lady who bought the jewelry bag. Um, because um, we didn't get that out because it was a little late when the payment was received and I, and I had already gone to the post office. I'll mail that out this week. But everyone else, everything's been mailed. Okay, I think we're done here. Wait, one more spot. Let me put this... Now I got to look to get the little spots. Okay. I think she's good. Oh, one more. I got to get this one fin. Ginger ale. I'm just kidding. Ginger ale? Um, I could go for a, a Diet Coke real quick. Diet Coke? Cause, yeah, because the water is just. <sighs> Cigars, cigarettes. Okay. Hey, Bobby. Welcome. Wait, you should see my crap from goodness much stuff. I'm moving soon. That my biggest challenge. Yes, I know. I, I'm constantly reorganizing, sweetie. Constantly. What did you say? Go. Gotta gotta go, but I put the material on the book and the glue soaked through. It won't matter. It'll dry. Just don't touch it because it'll make it dirty. Are you getting double sound, Giselle? I don't know why you're getting double sound. Can you lower that just in case? That's that it shouldn't have anything to do with it. Yeah, but just it has in nothing case. To do with it. Just in case. Hi, Bobby Whelan. Okay. I think she's cut as as good as she's going to get. And I think it's going to look beautiful. And she's going to require a ton of glue. Is it a catfish? Mermaid. It's a mermaid. I know. Dork. I'm just kidding. Why? Why? Can somebody tell me why? Because we have to. No. Yes, no, we, we don't. We can't let you get all crazy about it. Everybody out there knows. Oh, they know. They know. <laughs> <laughs> Gigi, it's my husband. He's <laughs> just trying to be funny. I am. He thinks he's funny. I'm the funniest guy I know. Funny looking. Oh, hey, man. I do dishes. Uh, yes. Get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> Mum's the word, Paula. No encouraging. No encouraging. That's right. I should I should be for sale or rent. However, I'm like Magilla Gorilla. If you guys want to be entertained next Friday That's night, right. this Friday night, the eighth. 
That's it. He's going to be with me on my live. We are going live. We got a gorilla for sale. Oh my God! Look at look at real love. We're gonna do uh, we're Don't gonna do the honeymoon, uh, uh, the newlywed game. Take them home and try them. I can't. <laughs> Gorilla for sale. Desiree wants you to go to Vegas and do her her dishes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, I'm good with that. You are. I'm on the plane going to Vegas. What okay. happens? The dishes that get done in Vegas stay in Vegas. <laughs> I can't with this guy sometimes. Okay, so. The challenging part will be we're going to have to glue the crap out of this thing to make sure it stays here. And then I think I'm going to put strategic little bits of um, hot glue here and there just for a little extra support. Uh, thank you, Patty. Okay. So I flipped her and now uh, we're going to do this. I might want to do because you got to think this through. If you do this whole thing and then you go here, you can't position it because you're going to put glue all over it and you're going to ruin this beautiful, I'm going to ruin this beautiful cover. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the head and I'm going to position the head first and then we'll lift this up and we'll do a little bit at a time. Okay, we're going to strategically do this. As a matter of fact, we'll start here like that. And what we'll do We'll do this so we don't get the glue all over. And we're going to get the glue where we need it to be. Hold on. I think I think the tip is a little bit clogged. Okay, Gigi, thank you so much. Or is that Claire? That's Claire, right? Oh, really? Babe, go on YouTube. Okay. And then see how I am because Z from the UK says I look good on YouTube. Right, she said the angle is bigger. I think Facebook is bigger too. The angle is wider. However, it feel I feel like all you see is a lot of my boobs, but I can't do nothing about that. And what are you? Uh... Connie's cool as crafts. Don't even. <laughs> Don't even. And you should be following me anyway. You should subscribe. <laughs> okay. I put a little dab. Around the, I'm going to do like the extremities with a, a dab of hot glue. Okay. bit of a dab on the hand. Oh, all I did was just literally clean the tip because it had all dried glue on there. That's all I did, sweetie. I just cleaned the tip so it's nice and clean because it tends to dry. Okay. So far, so good. She is a pretty, pretty mermaid.
Is that wind? Okay, we have enough for it to fold. Being a little strategic on where we're putting it so it has a little bit of give. Oh, you're welcome, Paula. I try to respond to everyone when I can. It's just like when, when I'm doing something like this and I have to kind of keep my eye on the prize here, um, it's hard to answer people. And some people are rude. I had I had one lady call me rude because I didn't answer her because I didn't see her question. It was so funny. We were like, what? Rude. exactly what I didn't want to happen. she's good I think she looks good She looks beautiful. Uh, one of the prettiest ones I've done, I think. Simple, but really pretty. Like this is literally very, very simple. Nothing complicated, but sometimes you just need that one piece, right? To make it pop. Obrigada, Sofia. Gracias, la Lela. Thank you, Paula. I appreciate those. Those of you that do understand, I know this applique is gorgeous and I have it in pink. I have it in pink too. So I'll probably make another book to sell eventually, eventually when I have time, but, um, it's gorgeous. I love it. Feels nice too. Feels secure. That's important to me. Doesn't feel like it's moving, you know? Thank you, Janie. Oh, I understand. <laughs> Thank you, Lori. Yeah, some people prefer the view on Facebook because you do get a little bit more of an angle. Thanks, guys. 
it is it, it really is coming out beautifully it really is so i just have to decide do i want to put anything down here like she's swimming in the ocean maybe we could i don't know i might want to make it look like a wreath like a reef not wreath wreath with an f but she looks beautiful those are arms yeah those are arms I'll do a close up. Let's see. Yeah, we could do a couple of seashells, maybe. Yeah, and a tr well, that I wanted to do on the inside. I was thinking about doing like an underwater with a treasure chest kind of thing under underwater. Don't ruin it for me, Alex. <laughs> um, the hair is the pieces floating down. I think those are her hands and she has like two pearls kind of sort of. If you look, let me try and give you a nice little close up. See that? That's you guys. Let me do TikTok. See the hand it has like a little pearl or something in it. Yeah, totally arms. Thank you, La Lela. Grazie. We are on the same frequency, Alex. Naomi, these were from uh, Temu. So let me think about my flowers and my what I could use to look like a wreath, a reef, and corals. Hold on. What color we got going? Oh, some gold. see what we got let's see what we could come up with thank you that's funny paula oh thank you ellie um a, a coral reef yes uh, paula suggested we should put a merman on the inside so she has some company <laughs> so let me let me see the kind of um because i'm gonna stick with the gold bronze color See if I have something that we can make it look like it's core. I actually do have some. Um, hold on. Let me get my supplies out. Okay. Want it to be too thick because it's the cover. Just to see how it's going to look. Let me just play around with this a little bit. flowers and my seashells. Less is more. But let's just see. Um, oh, thank you, Lori. I'd like to just see if I feel that like it's going to be too much or she feels like it's going to be too much, then we take it down. We're not married to anything until it's glued. And even then it's questionable. I just like to try it. See where it goes from there. 
Sometimes it is too much. Sometimes too much looks great. Um, but we're not going to know until we lay it out. And we'll see. Again, we're not, nothing is set in stone. Where are my seashells? These are beautiful. Haven't even haven't even opened these yet. Let me open this in here because this looks like it's going to make a mess when we open it. I need a bigger one. Because once you open one of these, they're all over the place. I just heard one fall. Okay. Got it. I think that might be all we need. Just a little something. Nothing too crazy. And to keep with the white and the gold, I think that's all we need. Just a little something to give you. Let me show you guys. See, just a little, little something. Oh, that's okay, Paula. We'll be here for a little while. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll see you Wednesday. I'm back on Wednesday night. Isn't that pretty? Just a little something. Nothing crazy. Yeah, I agree. I think it's I think it's beautiful. Um, maybe I'll see if I have a, 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 a... I have that teal. So hold on. Let me get a little baggie to put this stuff in because I like all my stuff organized. As you know, everything has to be organized. Otherwise, I'll never find it when I need it. Um, but I have, I think, a couple little small shells, which I have right here. Just need to get all the little... Get the side. Anything sticking out? No. Okay. And then I'm thinking little teeny tiny shells... And I need a baggie for this. I just dropped the, oh, there it is. The cat's gone. I feel, I feel crowded now that the cat's gone. Uh, thank you, Paula. It'll be about two weeks before this book is finished. Okay. Let 
just want to put like a strategic little one. Nothing crazy. Uh-oh. And I know I had teal moss, right? Another idea. Instead of just doing the gold, let's put, let's switch that one out. Switch this one out and put pearls to tie in the pearls. Because I have them in pearls. That'll look fabulous. That way we have gold and pearls. Just the little one. That's all we need. Yes, that's better. Okay. I think we're good. I think once we glue it all and everything is in its place, I think that's good. Hi, Kathleen. Yes, just a little bit of an underwater scene right here in the corner. So it looks like she's swimming up. I like that. A little bit goes the long way. Uh, you couldn't see the detail on Facebook. Oh, really? Oh, we're getting there. 80,000 likes. Thank you, guys. Keep liking and sharing because that helps get, get the word out and what the word is going to be. I don't know. Um, now i got to retrain my brain. Um, okay, these could go back. Put the house back together, and this can go back to it. like singing clean up clean up everybody everywhere just want to put everything back okay so that we can work and glue that there and we're not crowded oh thank you from Naples from Italy. Ciao. Grazie. Um, Miss Crash, um, my pieces are actually already sold. They're all commissioned ordered work. I just, at, right now, I'm not accepting any more orders. Probably not until the end of summer. I'll start accepting some more orders. And then hopefully it won't go crazy. <laughs> and I'm not going to have a wait list. I'll be accepting limited orders. Let's put it that way. I might take like five or six orders, work on those books, and then take another five or six orders. Because last year I made the mistake of taking orders, open orders, and I wound up 
with 65 people on a wait list that I've been working on since last April of last year. It'll be a year next month that some people have been waiting for their books. We're close to finishing, close to finishing. Um, the only difference is I will make a cover and blank, uh, blank signatures, meaning I don't decorate the inside of the book. That I will take an order here in between the books because I could just take a day, put one of those together and be done with it. This book will take me like a week and a half to finish with all the decorations, you know. So that's why I have to like pick and choose. Hi, Becca. How are you? I haven't seen you in a while. Okay, let's get this, this little girl done here. And we will call it a day on this book, so to speak. Okay. You've been busy. That's good. Being busy is good, right? <clears throat> Not to use some hot glue for this one because it's thick. Okay, Alex, if any of this stuff ever comes out, it's glue. Add a little bit of glue and you're good to go. It is paper. It is glue. Stuff happens. It falls out. Gets loose, you know. It can happen. Hopefully it doesn't, but it can happen. Gonna let that sit, marinate for a minute. What would we do without tweezers? No idea. Oh, thank you, Becca. It wouldn't. It wouldn't come through, An Angie. Hold on. I just followed you. Let's see if that helps. Try, try now because I just followed you. So maybe it had something weird to do with that. Okay, I think that looks really cute. I feel like it needs a little flower like over here. I feel like it needs a little flower just to kind of finish that corner. You know what I mean? Something, something cool there. I know there's no flat. Well, there are flowers in the ocean. But hold on. I'm going to find the perfect one. Hopefully I still have some. I have it in my head. I had these flowers that were very vintagey looking, but now I need to find it. A 
course, now I'm not going to find them. Where are you? I knew I had a package of these. What do you guys think? I think that kind of might finish the look. It ties it all together, right? See that? Well, we'll let Alex decide. It's hers. Alex, do you want the flowers or no flowers? You love it? Okay, great. I'll add it. I think that does just tie it in. Because it had to be the right color. She's a mermaid. She could have flowers. Okay, now I like it. No, Becca. It, well, you are, but you, you can't post them. I'm downloading and then uh, uploading to YouTube. And to tick to, and to a Facebook, and they ban it if there's music because of the copyrights. Okay, now I like it. I think it's. I think it looks pretty. I think it looks finished. Like it was like an unfinished little corner, you know. Leah, come take a peek. Right, isn't it pretty? Looks good, guys. Grass would look, look neat. Uh, maybe. Too greeny, maybe. But I love it. I think it looks beautiful. So I think she's done. She came out really nice. Really pretty. Yeah, Becca, I just started. I just started. Okay, let's tie her up. Aw, look how sweet. Doesn't she look sweet? And I'll hang a little mermaid, maybe. I don't know, now mermaid tail over, we'll see. Cause I, oh, I do have a vintage mermaid, hold on. Pretty sure. Let me show you guys. pretty is that? So that's an option because it's gold. 
or we can do, I have some beautiful, beautiful, so hold on, let me get my ocean. Not that one. I do have a huge, Alex loved it. I do have a huge starfish too. So hold on to, to take it away from the mermaid. I, that was my concern. Um, I do have this beautiful, beautiful, huge, huge starfish. That's the other, which is really pretty too. And maybe I could put something else. Let me put the mermaid back. Uh, let's see. Because we could do that. I do have an anchor. Oh, wait, this would be cute too. Hold on. Because it's kind of teal. It smells really good though. I think you Hold on, I got stuff. There's a lot of options, guys. I do have a little dangle already made here. This one's cute, too. Hold on, let me untie it. Just look at all our options first and then we'll decide. Come on, get back up in there. It's there's one piece that's needs to go through this little hole through the squirrely forest. Come on. All right, I'll fix it later, but that's kind of cute too. Look how cute that one is. Let's look at all our options. It's a cute little fish with all the dangles. That, that looks like a... Um, so is a seahorse. The seahorse is adorable. Hold on. I got a seahorse too. We'll let Alex decide but I want you to have all your options. Sometimes there's too many options, right? We got a seahorse. I have gone and gone. <laughs> a beautiful seahorse. Do I have a sea turtle? Uh, too small. I don't think I have a sea, a big sea turtle. I have little ones. Starfish is definitely your favorite. Okay, honey. Starfish it is. It is pretty. I could put um I could put something in the center of the starfish. Like a little uh teal little pearl, not pearl or something in the center. I think that would look nice. I have a lot of seashells, right? Just a little, a little teal to tie it all in. 
or it could be a pearl to tie with the pearls. Pearls will be pretty too. Maybe a pearl will be better. Let me get a pearl out. I like the way it's coming together for sure. Let me put these flowers away. I have teal pearls as well, but I think because the mermaid is the white pearl, it'll tie it in nicer to have a little, a little white pearl on the starfish just to tie it all in together. Cute, she's to find the right size. Oh, this one has a lot of sizes. Oh, that's perfect. You don't need anything bigger than that. I mean, I could try a little bit bigger than that just to see. Uh, that's the same size. Yeah, I think white is the way to go, for sure. See if I have a bigger one. Oh, wait. I just got some. Yeah, I thrifted the other day. Remember? Here they are. Oh, these will be perfect. These actually look like mother of pearl. Hold on. Oh, yeah. These are cute. Oh, I kind of like the little one now. All right, we're not going to overdo it. We're going to go with the little one. Only because I feel like it, it just it fits better. Okay, let that dry. How old am I, Susan? 56. Why? Do I look young? <laughs> Yes. Well, thank you. Hey, Adam. What's up? I've been missing you. 47. I'll take that. Yay. <laughs> That's 10 years younger. I'm older than you, Deb. Relax. <laughs> That's my sister-in-law. I look 30-ish? Stop. Must be all the anesthesia I've had. Oh, oh, you were helping him move out? Were you throwing things out the door? 
I would have been like, go, fine. Oh, sorry, Susan. Such a youngster. Thank you, Ellie. You guys are funny. Yeah, I like the little the little pearls gonna look so cute. Oh, you asked her to move out. Susan, I've had tons. I've had 21 surgeries so far in the past um, 10 years. It looks beautiful. I love it. The little pearl looks so good. Where am I? Where, where's the camera? There's that camera. Why does it say live has ended? What the heck? Did we miss the puzzle? The, the yep. What time is it? 527. Well, they did it three minutes early. We started at 530. No, we didn't. We started at one. And it wasn't on the on my thing, so here we. I lost. Was that like three hundred people? Here we go again. This thing sucks. Sorry, guys. I had to start all over. <sighs> Am I on on Facebook? I'm not on TikTok. I had to start over. Oh, because you guys aren't through TikTok. You're through the, the stream. So I'm good. But uh, I got the puzzle on TikTok. So now, give me one second. Hopefully, everybody will come back. Yeah, sorry, guys. We missed the puzzle because it's on my phone, which is the other way. Yes, on Friday, it came at one hour, the puzzle. Today, it came now. I'm echoing. Why would I be echoing? That doesn't make any sense. I know, Kim. I lost all my likes. It stinks. I don't know why I'm echoing. Oh, baby T, it's this whole thing that TikTok does to make sure that you're actually live and it's not you're not just sleeping. They send you a puzzle that you have to slide a puzzle piece into a puzzle. But they I'm keep echoing online. No? No. Okay, so it's the echoing is just that one person. Go out and come back in or refresh. I've been on since one o'clock and it came on at, um, yeah, at four, four hours and 28 minutes. Yeah, Ellie, thank you for coming over there. Yeah. If you, if that ever, well, we'll figure it out. Hopefully that won't be a problem because I'm going to be going through the, that website. I just wasn't able to do it today. So, but we're good. I was showing you guys the close up of the, uh, just, why is it not, I feel like I'm right in front of the camera there and it's just not showing it correctly. And here's you guys. That's my Facebook. And then that's TikTok. Looks cute, right? 69 in July. Well, yeah, I know. Uh, thank you. Well, we figured out we have to darken the background and we, we had a few things that we learned how to figure out. You subscribe. Well, thank you, Diana. Yeah. So, you know, as long as I'm able to download the videos, I will always post them up to YouTube and to Facebook now. So we'll, we should be good. Terry, it is a shock, right? I know. It's like it, time goes by so fast. The older you get, the faster time goes by, I swear. When you're young and you have the kids and they're young, it seems like it takes forever to get to their first birthday, their second birthday. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, it's already my birthday? I have come a long way, Lori. In one year, I sure have. I've got a computer set up. I'm streaming on different platforms at the same time. Yeah, it's crazy. No, I'm on TikTok again, Pat. I am. It came back up. I just started a new live. That's all. It stinks because I lost a lot of the viewers. I lost all my likes, but I, it's not like I make a ton of money. Guys, I'm telling you, I appreciate what you do. But when I tell you I get like a dollar or 87 cents for doing an eight hour, 
eight or nine hour live. Like you, you don't get any money. That's not how you get money. I did make my beef barley soup, but I had a bowl of it. Yeah, we started this morning. Yeah, Adam, my my my. Uh, we missed the um the puzzle. We missed it. This TikTok thing is no. It's not being friendly. I know on, on Saturday I had a few people reach out to me because Jennifer had it shut her down too. And so did 10 cat at the one hour mark. They got a puzzle. We're like, wait, what's going on? When did we get a puzzle at one hour? Thank you for the roses. Uh, thank you, Lori. Okay. So what are we going to do next? Are we going to, uh, do you guys want to work on, try to pick out paper for the signature? Should we try to do that? It looks so pretty in person. Like, I know you guys say it's pretty, like in person. I got to tell you, it looks really pretty. I think it's, it might be one of my favorite covers. Cause like I said, it's, it's really simple, but so pretty. Um, can I show you more of a bit more of the box, which box? Which box, Mom's Tammy? Which box? Um, sorry, honey. Adam. You missed it. It's it's wrapped in fabric. Oh, the book. Okay. Here you go. That looks pretty cool when you open it, don't it, though? So, Adam, the mermaid, I had to cut her out. Oh, she, I bought her. She's an applique like this. I have her in pink. I'm going to make another one in pink. And I just trimmed it out really carefully to not accidentally cut any of the stitches. And then I glued her. And then I also did hot glue on the extremities just to keep it in place. Almost pink and glitter. Oh, hi, Liz. You did find me. Make sure you follow me so you don't have any trouble fi uh, finding me. Oh, thank you, Roseanne. It's really pretty, right? When you open it, it's like, wow. It looks beautiful opened. Yeah, it really is beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. I got I, I love it. I hope you really like it, Alex. I'm going to have a hard time packing this one up. <sighs> now TikTok is buffering. Oh, no. Oh, thank you, Carol. When I do your book, you want pink and glitter. Okay, Adam. He's so funny. Alex, you went to the other page. What are you doing? <laughs> You're on YouTube? Oh, cool. How do I look on YouTube? The same as TikTok or the same? Well, it would be the same as Facebook, right? Because it's through the through the, uh, through the the website. Thank you. Alex is over on um, YouTube now. I think that's so funny. You guys are like testing me. But the cool thing is through the website, I'm able to see all the comments at once. I don't have to like do two different things. So, yeah. Hot men of Hollywood. Adam, you're killing me. Oh, thank you so much. It is a, it is like a stunning piece. And the inside looks super... It really came out really good. Love the color scheme. Love it. Um, It's called Restream. You subscribe to it and then you're able to stream on different platforms, but it's always difficult with TikTok because you have to get like a pin number and we had to apply for the pin number. I had to get involved with an agency. I, so now like I'm associated with an agency and um, I have to go back to the agency tonight and message them and say, hey, the pin didn't work. It kept saying can't connect, can't connect. Um, this entire video will be posted on YouTube after we download it. It will. No. Oh, um, I think Marion got the box. I don't think they gave it to honor yet. Oh, you got YouTube on big TV. Okay.
I know, me too. I love when the owner of the book is on the live with me and interacting and kind of being a part of decision making because it just makes it a little bit easier for me personally because I know there's something that they like and we could continue with the flow instead of me second guessing myself. So I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, definitely. Oh, you haven't gotten the box yet? Oh, that's right. Because we shipped it. Adam, I told you it cost freaking um $54, right? So anyhow, so we did regular uh, five to seven days. So it'll probably be there tomorrow is what I'm thinking. And if not, let me know and I will trace it. I have the, the number here to trace it. I thought it, it may have arrived yesterday, but I guess not. Wait, what did I get yesterday? I got something. Oh, I got a shadow box for, um, for, for honor yesterday from Martha. It did arrive. It's, it, it's wrapped. I didn't open it. I mean, do you guys want me to open it? I can, I can open it. It's, it's wrapped in, in, um, in tissue paper. Do you want to see it? Okay. Let me get it. Hold on. My slipper just fell off my, my shoe. My Hold shoe. On. Here it is. This is for honor. And those of you who don't know who honor is, she's a little five-year-old that is battling cancer. And I am making her a journal um, to as a, an activity journal to kind of keep her mind off of things because she has to do chemo for two years. Oh, I do look good on YouTube. Hey, go go look at me on YouTube and show me. I want to see what I look like. Everyone's telling me I look good on YouTube. It can't be the same if they tell me I look good on YouTube. It must be taking years off my life. Oh, uh, you're taking years off my life. <laughs> he says I'm taking years off his life. I it could end it too. It has nothing to do with YouTube. I could end it too. Yeah, I'm sure. Yes. Oh, it's so pretty. It's wrapped in green. And it's got her little name on it. It's got Martha's name. It's so cute. YouTube filtered. Ooh, I gotta go take a, I gotta go take a look now. I wanna see. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Look. And she's got lights. How cute is that? Aw, oh, thank you, Diana. Isn't that adorable? Martha made this for her. There's different kinds of lights. How adorable is this? It's beautiful. Cuteness overload, that's for sure. Aw. Look at all the little princesses. Look on the inside. Do you see that? All the little princesses? Hold on. I don't want to have anybody have a shock. Let me turn the light off. Okay, that, that way it stays on. How cute they are. Oh, my God. So stinking cute. I love it. Martha, thank you. She's going to love this. I'm going to wrap it the same way so she doesn't know I opened it first. I'm going to try and wrap it the same way. Aha. That'll work. She'll never know. We had to see. I know. Okay. Shh. She'll never know. It's our secret. I got this. She's not going to say that, Adam. Stop it.
Wow, this was this was a beautiful, beautiful thing that um, Martha sent for Honor. Honor is going to be. I know she was having a rough week, and I think when we when I ship some, uh, the next package out to her, she's just going to have such a huge smile on her face. We're doing a good thing. It's terrible when children have to deal with such such disease. And she's so strong. We've got this. Wow, 500 people. Okay, guys, well, let me show you what we did today. If you're all new to my channel, we just made this book, this book cover. It's a mermaid book. It's going to be like um, vintage Art Nouveau kind of a thing. Um, and that's our little mermaid there. So she's the. this is the front of the book. And then this is the inside. And now we're going to work on the papers to put on the inside. We're going to do what's called the signatures, um, which is what you would write in or decorate. It's a junk journal, in case you've never seen one. These are called junk journals. Um, I'm also in the middle of, uh, actually, I'm finishing up our cat junk journal for somebody. I have three going on right now. The cat one, which is almost done. And then we have this little thing that I opened for um, our little girl with cancer. This is her book. She's getting a Disney book, a Disney princess. And guys, do you see the difference? Hers, I sewed in her signature. If you look, the signatures are sewed in because I felt that at five years old that um, the she would have difficulty dealing with the elastic band and removing the signatures. So hers are sewn in. And like this is for her book. We did a beautiful waterfall. I usually do a waterfall for all the books that I decorate. And then we also do these cute little shakers for her. This is the magic mirror, mirror, mirror on the wall. We have um, the dark one for the evil queen. And then we have the pretty one for um, Snow White. So these are all going to go in her book. Um, and then inside the book is going to be all kinds of activities, pop-ups, um, you know, like word finds, things like that. Like here's the, the one pop-up I did when she opens the book. It's a princess castle like that. Really cute. So um, with this book, hopefully I'll get, get this one done in the next couple of weeks. We have a lot of stuff to send her because we have such a generous community that everyone sent me gifts to send to her. I have a dress for her and shoes, princess dress and princess shoes. I've sent her teddy bears. I've got stockings. I've got books. I've got, um, my gosh, what else do I have? Crowns. I've got dolls. Um, now this. Everyone's come together. It's crazy. Carol, I do make books and put them up for sale. But right now, because I've, I've been working on commission work for about a year now, I'm almost finished. Uh, you know, I need a few more months, like another three or four months to finish all the commission work that I took on last year, believe it or not. Then I'm going to take a few months and I'm just going to do books to sell. Just books that I feel inspired to do, that I want to do. Um, and some of them are off the beaten path. Like I want to do a pirate book. Um, because I feel like I don't do a lot of books for men uh, or m masculine type books. So I wanted to do a pirate book. I want to do a ballerina book. I want to do, um, there's just a, a couple of different books that I had, a, a, an Asian book, um, just a few things that I wanted to kind of explore. Your birthday's in September, Adam. Adam's just, just no. But I'll probably start taking a few uh, more commission work probably towards the end of the summer if you're interested in something like that. A motorcycle book. Oh, a Harley Davidson. That would be fun. Yeah, that would be a fun book for sure. Yeah, I'll put a big R on the cover, Adam. We're getting there, guys. I know uh, TikTok shut me down. I missed the darn puzzle. So we had to start the TikTok all over again. We were at like 50, 60,000 likes. We had like like 500 people in there. And oh, well, this is, this is what happens with TikTok. Okay, so let me put this safe, in a safe place with the other stuff. I have a huge box over here with all of her things. 
and I guess, you know what we could do? We could just um, grab the paper for this, for this here, or, um, all right, I'm going to let you guys decide. Do you want to work on the signature? Because quite frankly, I'm not going to be working on this book just yet. So, um, but we can work on the new grabby box, maybe do a specimen card. Uh, some people have asked me, what is a specimen card? Maybe we could come up with something like that. You can see all the way over to my kitchen. Oh, really? Oh, you mean my dining room? That's my dining room. My kitchen is behind this wall. You can't see it unless it sees through walls. Yes, I unveiled the new box, Kim. You didn't see my unveiling? Sally wants to do the signatures. I know it does not sound like like journaling, but it is. It is journaling. It's okay, Tip. Is it a mess? You missed mine? Well, just go look at it. Signatures? Okay. People want, we might have time to do both. It's 547. Hopefully the signatures will take us maybe an hour if we pick our colors quickly and our paper quickly, and then we can do a signature, uh, a specimen card as well. Hey, Brona, how's Ireland? We'll do both, Rhonda. If you guys just hang tight, let's do both. Some people want to see like, they feel like if the signature is in, then the book is complete. Look, Brona, we just did this beautiful mermaid book. Isn't it gorgeous? Did you have some soup now? Mm -hmm. Did you like it? Good. Yeah. I will be on for five more hours. Adam, I'm not going to be on for five more hours. No, yeah, you will. No, I won't. You Don't. Will. Stop encouraging him. The two of you. Um, what is a specimen card? A card with specimens on it. Aw, oh, thank you, Brona. Um, you can watch all three platforms on your phone. Wow. Okay, I used the Beacon 3-in-1. Again, this is what I use 90% of the time. And I also used a little bit of hot glue on, like, on her the tip of her head, on the extremities, like her hands. I put a little bit here to kind of keep her in place. And then I put a little bit on this side of the spine and then on the ends. So I used a little bit of hot glue along with the Beacon 3-in-1 and just really use a lot and push it down and let it sit. Just let it dry. Okay. We can pick the papers and we'll do uh, at least one signature. That that I think that's a good compromise. We'll do one signature and then we'll do um, we'll do a specimen card. And a specimen card is basically um, a window where you put um, a, usually like a butterfly or I'm, I'm going to do dragonflies because that's what's in the grabby box. And you de you just decorate the outside as if it's like from a a lab somewhere with like numbers, some words that say specimen. You make it look like it's an actual specimen card. You know, like you go to um, some kind of scientist laboratory and they have these little cards with the uh, the insects and whatnot. It's one of those things. Oh, you have the same applique. It's beautiful, right? I have it in uh, in pink as well. I bought it in pink. So at some point, I am going to make another mermaid book similar to this yeah so and the specimen card you could do the ones it could be see-through or you could do it flat where it's just like a window on the one side and the other side could be for for uh note taking like a journal you know what i'm saying so there's a lot to do you have blue and white i've never seen the blue and white that must be really pretty where did you get yours I got the pink and the white one from Timu. All right, I have to go get my um, my boxes of paper now. So let me make some room. You all know how that's gonna go. By the way, Lori, I love my little holder. It's working out great. Just sitting here, I seem to be getting into the habit of putting my stuff in it and finding it right away. Look, it's even holding my glue now, which works out really well. I just have to keep the cap. I just put the cap in there, but it's doing it. It's working. Thank you so much. 
Oh, two different ones. You have a blue one and a white one. The Like a baby blue. I think I've seen that. I love these. I had to like stop myself from buying them because I'm like, I'm only going to buy two colors and then we'll go from there. I know, right, Brona? It's a, it's the coolest thing to, to hold my tools so that I don't have them just strewn about. It's more aqua, then that would probably look pretty on this book. Did you get it from Timu too? I keep looking for the garbage can behind me now. Okay, Terry, we'll be right here. I'm going to go grab black, uh, teal. Well, I think we have teal paper in the blue and in the green. So I'm going to have to pull the blue and the green. I'm pretty sure I have teal in both of those for some reason. Of course. <laughs> you have two from DT. What's DT? Oh, thank you for subscribing, Helena. What is DT? Oh, Dollar Tree. Thank you. Wait, what did you get at, at Dollar Tree? You have two what? Of these things? These things? Oh, cool. Hey, if this is at the Dollar Tree, guys, this is a good find. Look at this. This holds everything pretty well. I, I like it. I wasn't sure, but... It keeps everything compact on the side, so it's pretty cool. Thank you. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta keep up with the acronyms. Thanks, everyone. It's Dollar Tree, you moron. Okay, so I'm gonna go grab black, blue, green, um, and I'll probably grab some beige. Let me grab. Also, I'm gonna show you the paper that I have. Um, the fabric I ordered, I ordered from Etsy that I just Google it scales, mermaid scales, and there's a ton of options. That's where I got it from Etsy. You picked up some jazz for me. Awesome. Thanks, Deb. <laughs> um, let me go grab. I want to show you the, the art novel. I may have put it in, in the, hold on a second. I may have put it in the mermaid thingy here. Because I do have paper that I had bought specifically for this journal. I don't remember if I threw it in here or not. I may have. No, it's not in here. Okay, that means it's in my other book. Okay, hold on. I'm going to show you the paper, but but it won't work. Like You can't use this paper and fold it in half. Um, it's that printed pre-printed that you buy from like either Timu or you buy it from like one of the wet uh, Eps, uh, the Etsy shops. So I'm going to go grab it. Yeah. What is that lawsuit? I'm, I'm curious to find out about that too. Let me grab the, the mermaid paper to show you guys the one that she, um, that she liked. Okay, it's not in that one. All right, so I think it was this one. 
I think it was this one. Yeah, I think it was this one. It was this one, right? Alex, I think it was this one that you liked. But you see, it's it's small, so you can't. I can't use it as pages. I could use these for like little um, booklets, but a lot of these images, I'm gonna have to like cut and use them. Yeah, I think this was the one. So, let me go ahead, because this color scheme is going to look, you can see the color scheme is going to look beautiful with the book. It'll look lovely with the book. Oh, about privacy. That's been an ongoing issue. And I think there's two of every page. So, let me just pull out one. Yeah. I could drop it on top. I just, I hate to cover. You know how I am about covering things. It's a problem. I'm just making two sets because there's two of everything in here. Unless there's not. And then I'm going to set it. Set, set, it could just be out of order. That way I don't duplicate the image. So this is going to be the first set of paper that we're going to use. I may not have to use all of it, but I will use some of this in different ways. I can use them um, on a decoration on a page. I can use these as pockets. I can use these as little mini booklets. No cards. Oh, a prepaid card is a way is a good way to go too. Oh, did I miss that one? It should be right before this one. Oh, I got three of that one. Okay, that's an extra. Okay, so now I have two sets. So this one could go back in for the next book. Mermaid. Oh, uh, well, yeah. I mean, if you want to be surprised, then no, you can't watch. That's for sure. I did have um, somebody that watched every once in a while. She didn't watch the whole, whole thing. Um, but she did watch like every, she'd pop on and then leave. Wait. You were in there before, so you need to get in there now. There you go. I got witchy. Travel, fairy. Okay. And there's more that doesn't fit in that book that I have. So we got that. This is an extra. Oh, thanks. Only certain sizes fit in here. Um, I did this because I always forget about this paper, but I actually have an entire um, storage box filled with different types of paper like that, that are bigger, that won't fit like this. Like this is a little bit bigger. I pulled it out because it had this really cute vintage looking, um, see that? It's really cute. So I grabbed it, but it looks like these are all more, 
I'll keep that one, but the rest of these are more garden, not so much mermaidish. I'll go put these back. Yeah, like an island, right? It's cute. I thought it was really cute. So, okay. So, hi, Chess. How are you? We just finished putting together our mermaid book. We just put it all together. Look how beautiful. She looks gorgeous. So pretty. And then that's the inside. And now we're going to do one of the signatures. So I'm going to go grab paper. Thank you. It is really pretty. I must say, I'm really, really pleased with it. So give me a sec. I got to go in the office and get the boxes of paper. And then we'll pick our, our signatures. Okay, let's see. Uh, black, blue, green. Maybe vintage. I might have to get the brown. I don't know. I might have to get the brown and the beige separately. Ugh. I also grabbed the vintage. I thought maybe there might be something in the vintage here that, um, oh, right off the bat. Look at that. This is really pretty, but, um, I just wanted to see if I had any card stock that might in this vintage pack here. Nothing crazy. It is vintage, but not screaming mermaid at me. Oh, one, I'm gonna have to look at the goth too, because I might have something there. All right, vintage, meh. Not so much. Let's start with this one. Oh, I'm always working on books, Deb. Yeah, I was organizing yesterday, uh, which really helped. I got through a lot of stuff. And I think I'm going to get the brown and the, and the beige because I think that um, this is a little bit of brownish and beige. I don't know what this is doing in here. Okay, I usually get home. I'm usually home by like um, six, six fifteen, somewhere around there. I'm usually home. Um, Alex, do you like flowers? I just need to know if you like flowers. Well, you must like flowers because we put flowers on the uh, on the cover just so that if I come across something that's floral, like this is a pretty floral, but this is paper, but it is double-sided. I like that. That'll match nice. This'll match nice too. That will look, will look pretty to put one of the images on top of. Those are pretty options. Ooh.
It's a little too blue. You can get away with it. Look how pretty that one is. Hi, Anna. Is it, you see that? Can you see how pretty that is? Is it focusing? Oh, it's not focusing. It's like such a light teal. But it's gorgeous. This would make a beautiful floral pop-up. That would be pretty for a floral pop-up. Did you ask for a floral pop-up? Now I don't remember. It is focusing on it. teal because this is actually blue and we're not doing blue in the book we're just doing teal so all right i need to go get now the beige brown and beige which will be like a goal but before i do that let's look at the goth because sometimes the goth has some really cool images in here yeah, that's pretty. Oh, I also have to look at my other paper packs over there. Uh, let's see what we have. Ooh. This is pretty. Vintagey. So is this one. Sticking with the teals. You have this paper. It's a pretty pack. That's steampunk. Steampunk. Uh, Stamperia Wonderland. Magic Forest. I gotta put. The, I have a box for Stamperia. From I gotta get these back in my other box. I love this paper. feeling that pretty but maybe that one because it's this is very vintagey to me I'll pull it in case we want to use it. Aha, here's the one I was looking for. Look at this. Isn't that great? I love this one. Here's the other one. I knew it was in here. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, that is a ship, Kim. That is a ship. Yep. I got to get all these out of here. This can work too. That's really cool. Uh, not, not a page design. It's more like, um, I have a, a color scheme in my mind. So I'm sticking with teal, black, and 
brown gold kind of a color, like the browns that look more like a light gold. Um, it's not all cardstock. It's a mixture of cardstock and paper. But there's, it's going to be heavy in cardstock because I need to decorate the cardstock. I do have a little bit of a mixture in there. Oh, here's another one with the ship, which is cool. That's a different one with the ship. That looks nice. Thank you for the follows. Because I have to pull enough paper to do two signatures. I could use the t even though there's like a gentleman at the bottom, I could cut him out. Uh, hold on, let me make sure it's the right eight inches. Oh, it'll just be the top of his head. Perfect. If not, we'll do it the other way. I just like that color scheme because it's like that. It has a little bit of the green in it and the beige, and it's a vintage feel. Oh, we already pulled one of those. <laughs> Adam is being silly. Are you drinking, Adam? Um, so I usually do about anywhere between 12, like around 12 pages is good because then it becomes too thick. So like 12 pages, when you double it, is 24. And when you do two signatures, it's like 48. Okay, so we have plenty of pattern. Now we need to get some, um, see we have a lot of pattern and these are all cardstock. So now we need some plain teal and plain um, beige and a little bit of black to go in there. So I need to find some more teal. You don't drink? Oh, thank you so much, Camille. I, I know I have a little bit more. It's probably in the green box. I got to go look in the green box. Because um, I just looked in the blue and there was some in here. But let me see if there's actual socks. This is too light. I wanted something like, this is teal, but it's it's too babyish. I want it to be a little bit darker than that. This one might work. Oh no, what's that? I don't know what that is on the other side. So we can't use it. It's got a print on two sides. Okay, let me get the green and the and the brown beige and take these back. Because these are heavy after a while. Be right back. BRB. going to need one of those library cards. I feel like I need a library card to just wheel shit back and forth. This is for the birds. Plus, I took back the goth like an idiot. I'm like, the goth belongs here. And I grabbed the travel. I have a travel box too. Let's see if there's some teal in the green. This is pretty, but that doesn't match. Nope. 
Nope. Wait, we're looking for solids now. Trying to find a solid here. This is the right color right here. That one. four of those. We'll pull them all out because that's all I have of that color. This is my travel, right? Oh no, brown beige. Brown beige. Oh yeah. I'd rather eat my calories too, to be honest. stock but it's it's pretty 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 we can use that Ooh. different texture I know we're supposed to be looking for solid colors right and I'm over here ooing and gogging Solid colors is towards the back, I believe. Oh, look at this vintage paper. This is gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? Wow. That's beautiful. Pasta sounds good right about now. Uh, this will be a good color. This is like a gold. That matches the box nice. I know it, it is. It's like Christmas when you go through your stuff and you're like, oh, I forgot I, I, I got that. I forgot I had that. 100%. Yep. Especially when like I thrift and I, and I grab stuff and then I'm like, oh, that'll look good, blah, 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 blah. And then I forget. All right. Well, we definitely have plenty of beige and browns. Oh, that's a pretty gold. All right, I think I have enough paper for now. Let's let's count it. And I still have to go. Well, let me look at the vintage. I mean, the travel, just in case there's something cool. There might be a map. I have to do my permanent labels. I didn't do those yet. passports that I copied and created. Okay, let's see. What do we have here? We're looking for something. China! Australia. Trains. Trains. Maps. Oh, this is acetate and vellum maps. That's nice. Maps in all different colors. That's kind of cute. Might be a little too blue. Thank you. Um, so these, I actually, it's a set from Amazon. It's in a cart and the cart, um, the cart has slot and it comes with these in it. So you get the cart and the boxes. It's like $63 and it's, there's six boxes and the cart has wheels. That's what, but I can't wheel them in here because they're too heavy. To wheel through the house because um all these paper packs are, are so heavy i 
I don't know why I keep freezing. That's a map of New York. Not I like if it's a map of the world in teal, we're good. Ah, this might work. This looks like it's the right color scheme. See, that's cute. Even this is cute. Vintagey. But this is paper. That's not cardstock. But I'll glue two pieces of paper back to back. So it's a little bit thicker. That's cool. A little bit of gold. Isn't that cool? You got two of them too, Leah? Yeah, I got two of them. All right, I'll grab one of these because it's pretty. All right, let's see. Let's see how we made out. Okay, it's quite a stash here. Now's the part that's a little bit annoying. It's figuring out how you want to do this, the order it's going to go in, doing not doing too many solids in a row. Make sure you don't have the white facing the white because you need to make a pocket because otherwise that's the annoying part, but we're going to get through it because we have to, we have no choice. Oh yes. Maps will make, well, we're going to have, cause we're going to cut um, eight inches in the height. We're going to have a four inch strip of every single page. So those four inch strips is what we're going to make tags and pockets and things. All the ephemera is with all those strips. Oh my goodness, Leah, two more. I, well, I could use two more, but I, there's nowhere to put them. So I actually have these containers just over there standing up in a, in a, I have a metal, a wrought iron shelf, like three shelves. And it's on the, on the bottom shelf, just straight up and down. They fit there perfectly on the wrought iron shelves. Oh, hi, Judy. Um, thank you. My collection, I've been buying things since, um, basically, I guess you would say November of 2022. So a year and three months now that I've been collecting my supplies, but I let everyone know, you know, I got a lot of gifts from my family because I started around Thanksgiving. Well, right after Halloween is when I started junk journaling and then I Christmas hit. So I had a lot of Christmas gifts and then my birthday hit. So I had a lot of birthday gifts. Um, I'm going to separate this into paper versus cardstock. Just so you know, that's, that's kind of like my, how I do it. Um, and so I've gone through two Christmases, two birthdays, two mother's day. So I've collected a lot because of that. And I also thrift a lot and I've been very, very lucky with my thrifting. I'll get like a big pack of paper for like two ninety nine. you know, very, very lucky with my thrifting. I need a studio. Well, yeah, that would be nice, but I don't have a studio. That's why I have to watch and I have to de-stash sometimes and get rid of stuff um, because I need to get rid of the things that I, I'm not using that I've collected or sometimes I've thrifted and there's just stuff in there that you I wouldn't use. Like I thrifted um, a whole bunch of stuff a couple of weeks ago. I got a brand new, not a brand new, but a bigger die cut machine and it came with all kinds of stickers and die cut. And I don't use a lot of those stickers. So I'm making sticker packs and then everyone else will have an opportunity to get them like friends. And um, like I mentioned before, a lot of those show TV shows that I really don't need stickers for. I just don't see the need for me personally, the need for them. Okay. This is all cardstock, which is great. Cardstock. Cardstock. Okay. 
and you haven't even seen the paper that I have over there. I've got 12 of those in my office, well, mine and Larry's office. And then over there, I have my paper pads. They're all just stacked up. There's over 30 of them. There's probably about 40 or 45 pads of paper. So I haven't even touched that yet. If we need more, that's the next step that we'll go to. But it is a great way to do it. You know, I wound up getting gifts for my family and then I, th I thrift most of it. And I wound up, oh my gosh, look at these beautiful books that I got uh, that I wasn't, I didn't even know were in the, in the, like a lot, like I bought a marketplace lot and there was so much stuff there. Oh my gosh. There was like four bags filled with things. And I couldn't believe how much was in there for 80 bucks. I got a die cut machine, all kinds of die cuts, stamps, uh, pads of three, three of those boxes filled with paper, pads of paper, ephemera, all kinds of stuff. It was crazy, but that was a great deal. I couldn't pass it up. I did thrift the die. Listen, Jennifer thrifted a die cut machine for 10 bucks. I saw her a couple of weeks ago. I saw her, she thrifted it for 10 bucks. I got this. It's the big one with the elongated, um, uh, pads, you know? Yeah, it was pretty cool. Hi, Judy. You thrifted three. Look at that. That's amazing. Sometimes you get lucky. You'll go there and it's like they hit a crafter or unfortunately somebody passed away and the kids don't want anything to do and they just donate everything and you wind up getting it on Marketplace. I found mine on Marketplace. Okay, next step is to separate the cardstock that is double-sided or white. So then I know that I need to put something on the other side of the ones that have the white. But if it's double-sided, I could use it as just a, a page in the book. Do you really, Adam? Adam? That's a great way to get your, Adam says he gets a lot of his fabrics from people that pass away. I mean, nothing wrong with that. Better that and you be able to make something beautiful out of it than it's sitting in somebody's garage, you know. Well, now that you mention that, Angela, I'm going to go look, grab my Stamperia because I may have gotten it and forgotten about it because I knew I was doing a mermaid book at some point in time because Poor Alex has been waiting since last year for this book. And I may have bought the Stamperia. I don't know. Let me go grab, because I have to get it anyway, my Stamperia paper pad. That's the next, the, the last thing I look at, actually. But we've got solids. We've got paper, and it's all uh, patterned. We've got cardstock with the white bag, and we got cardstock that's double-sided. So we have a pretty good mix going on right now. Let's see what we got. Let's see my Stamperia packs. Well, it's Stamperia, just all packs, not just Stamperia. I'm going to add these. Add these to them. Old lace. Precious. Lilacs. You guys want to know what kind of books I want to do. I got to use all this stuff. Threads, romantic threads. The wedding one, which I'm going to use for the wedding book. Horses, which I've already used. This is just pretty that I thrifted. And this is just pretty that I thrifted as well. Oh, it looks like I have a couple of fairies. Anything in here? Fairy forest. No, not really. Nothing oceany. Nope. I thought maybe I had it, but I don't. But I'm not going to order it now. I, I think I've got plenty of paper.
just looking to see if anything matches, but. This is more... Oh, this will be pretty to do the dragonfly. There's dragonflies in this one. I wonder if I can incorporate this with the stuff from the grabby box. That might be a good idea. I'm going to keep this one out. Keep that one out. I do have three of these. Cosmos. Let's see what's in here. No. This is good for when I do the cosmos. Okay, that's that. Oh, yeah, I can make beautiful. Oh, thank you, Camille. I, I, I really don't know. If you just want to send me a couple of pages, I appreciate that, of course. I'm sure you had mermaid paper. Well, the only mermaid paper I had was this one. I definitely had this little one. Uh, let me check up here. Sometimes I, if I know I'm going to work on a book soon... I'll throw it up here, but I don't think I do. Nope, nothing there. Just making sure that it would be no place else. I don't think so. It wouldn't be in the Halloween. And that's all I really got. Nope, that's all I got. All right, this one. All right, let's see what we can do here. Yes, Temperia is is nice. They have really pretty, oh, I forgot to put this away. They have really pretty, um, just beautiful paper, and the quality is great. I love it. Um, the, I, I feel, though, sometimes with the Stamperia, what winds up happening, though, is like, it's like, it's a book in a pad. You know, like what I'm doing, I'm grabbing different papers from different things. It's it's not like you grab one pad of Stamperia, you cut it up, you put it in a book and your book is done. You know, this requires a little bit more, a little bit more thought and like, I guess, mixing or what, however word you want to use. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it makes it like a little easy for some, for some people to just put a book together, which is fine if that's what you're doing. Oh, no. Did it do it again? I swear to God, this, this inactivity thing is the worst right now. This is the third time that we have to start the live. I'm going to have to switch this. Because at least on the computer, I see it. Sorry, guys. How annoying. Let's give it a minute. Here we go again. <sighs> Kick me out again, guys. Sorry. I, I don't know why it keeps doing it. Now it's one hour from when I restarted. The first time I, so now we don't know. We, we're never going to know because it shut me down at the four four and a half hour mark. And now it shut me down at like the one hour mark. Yes, Amy, I think they're randomizing it. On Friday, it was the one hour. And then it hit me again at the four and a half hour mark. Today, it did it the other way around. It hit me at the four and a half hour mark first. So it knocked me out because I don't have the phone turned towards me. Hey, sister, how are you, Chris? Yeah, if I don't, because I'm not, I'm doing it on my phone, not through the website, because we're having, I have a problem with my TikTok pin, Chris. Um, it's the no music. I think you're right. No, no lo compro en las cajas plásticas. Yo, yo compré las cajas plásticas para poner los papeles. Los papeles yo compro, uh, Por ejemplo, cuando yo voy a las tiendas de cosas usadas de segunda mano, a veces encuentro lo ahí. Y también de Marketplace en Facebook, yo lo compro ahí. Y también por, yo lo compro a Hobby Lobby y Michaels. Pero no, las cajas estaban vacías. Yeah. No, Chris, to be able to 
uh, use Restream, you know, the, the platform Restream, and then be able to do YouTube, Facebook, and TikTok all at the same time, you have to get a TikTok pin. But the TikTok pin, I got it from an agency, um, but today it wasn't connecting. It kept saying it can't connect to TikTok, so the pin wasn't working. Oh, de nada. Uh, the puzzle piece came up, Kim, Kim, and it kicked me out. It's been happening to everybody. Yeah, good grief, right, Amy? What a pain. You just, you don't know. Yeah, it happened to Jennifer. It happened to 10Cat. On Friday, we all had it happen to I, I managed to catch it, but it it, uh, it it caught me off guard because I'm doing it on my phone, so the phone is turned the other way. I don't see the puzzle piece pop up, whereas Facebook is through the webcam thing, and I don't have to worry about it. It's very puzzling. That's funny, Adam. You're a funny guy. Chris, look at what he made. We made the mermaid book. Look how beautiful. Es TikTok que está ahora, está um, haciendo ese test de puzzle muy raramente. Y entonces está cerrando los lives. Yeah, isn't it pretty? She's so sparkly and shimmery. Sí, no, la, yo compré la serena así, yo la compré. It was, it's okay, I just glued it and I used a little bit of hot glue on all of the extremities to try to keep it in place. Pero yo voy a poner el video, todos los videos de hoy, yo lo voy a um, poner en YouTube y también en Facebook. So puedes verlo ahí si quieres. Oh, thank you, Stacy. Oh, thank you, Roseanne. If you are on YouTube, please hit the thumbs up so my numbers go up. De nada. I'm just telling everybody. Everybody's worried because they missed the beginning. I'm gonna. We're gonna download it, and because there's no music, it should be no problem uploading it to YouTube and Facebook. So you'll have you'll be able to watch the video of us of making that book um, on those two platforms. Sure, Stacy. I like I like to show it open because it looks like she's in the ocean. Yes, Leslie, TikTok kicked me off. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? So I happen to have her in pink. So I, I plan on making another one at some point. But hey, Cindy. But um, yeah. And then we added like in the little corner, kind of did a little bit of that beautiful, see that mother of pearl? It's so pretty. That shell. Yeah. There are shells there, Adam. Don't you see them? There's the big mother of pearl shell and the two little conches. Yeah, it is. A, it is different. It's really pretty. I haven't seen one like that yet. So, and it's fabric. Um, the it's fabric on the outside, so it's really pretty. Ah, porque para mí cuando hacemos con um, concierto en la espina, lo que ocurre cuando ter terminas de Escribir y usando las páginas todas, ese libro está terminado y no lo puedes usar. Y entonces, usando el elástico, si tú tienes una asignatura y lo terminas, puedes quitar la asignatura y poner otra asignatura de nuevo y continuar a usar el libro. Porque están pagando mucho dinero para un libro, ¿verdad? Dos, tres, cuatrocientos pesos para cada libro. Y si terminas y tienes que ponerlo al lado y no usarlo siempre, para mí no vale la pena. Es por eso. How many languages do I speak? I speak Spanish, Portuguese, English, and some French. Oh, thank you, Yvette. Thank you, Susan and Lori. Well, 
I practiced Spanish for a long time, you know, because when we first came to America, there was no Portuguese on TV. So we watched all the telenovelas. So I had to learn Spanish. Like I, I needed to know what was going on. And I watched Chespirito as a child. That was like my, my cartoon was Chespirito. So I learned Spanish by doing all that. It was French in her last time. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Very good, Lala. Call me Ray Charles. I don't see the shells. I didn't miss your joke, Adam. I was ignoring you. <laughs> you funny guy. Okay, let's get to making a book. All right. So now we need to pick the cover of the first, which I'm kind of feeling this one because I think it's just so pretty. Oh my goodness. So Roseanne on, on, on Facebook just said she went on Team U and she ordered two mermaids, seahorses, coral shells, fish, and crabs for her book. Oh, thank you, Leslie. That's really sweet of you. I know, Chespirito. Professor Girafales. <laughs> I loved watching that. Oh, I think this is going to be pretty for the cover, for the first cover. Don't you guys agree? Look how pretty that looks. I think that will be pretty for the cover of the first signature. It's a little gold. It's got the right color teal. You probably can't tell. It's just a lighter teal, almost like a beigey teal. And I think it'll look really pretty with the gold. Yep. I think that'll be pretty for the cover. So that will be the first page. Um, it's actually, it, it does look like sand dollars, but it's really a, um, the compass thing. I think that's what it is. And it's got the white background, the white on the back. So, you know, the first thing we're going to have to do is hit it with a solid. So I think I'm going to make it a, a, the gold solid. So it's not so dark right up front like that. Okay. So that's the first two pages and that's cardstock. And then we could do like a pretty transition like that. That's pretty to green. And then do okay, I like those back to back. And then do a green. Oh my God, Adam, those damn jokes. You're killing me. You're killing me. Are you sure you're not drinking? I'm just concerned. All right. So the way I look at it, we have a pocket and we have a page. And then we're going to have a pocket. And we may put another page in there, but we'll see. And then we got to put... I think the stripe one looks nice. And let's do this one. That's pretty. Uh, no, Evelyn. I've, I've watched the golden books. I'm really not into it as much. I have picked them up though for um for some of my followers that that needed them and couldn't find them. I did pick up some golden books at my thrift store and ship them out for them. In the color schemes one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay Okay. 
Uh, Evelyn's, the books all range in, in prices. They all start around 200 and they go up from there. It depends on, you know, what, how much the person wants, how big it is, etc. There's 11. I think having the boat in the middle will be kind of cool. I think having the boat as the center will be kind of cool. So let me see. So that would be the cover. And then you got a pocket and then you have a plain page, not a plain page, a page. And then this is another pocket and then another page and then another pocket and then a plain page and then another pocket. That's one, two, four. That's four pockets. That's eight pockets. That's a lot of pockets. Eight pockets in one signature. That's okay. Let's see if we could do the second one. I'm good, Leslie. How are you? Welcome. Welcome. I know that old ship is so cool and it'll look pretty as the center of the page of the book. That'll look really nice. So let's leave that one aside. Let's see what we could do with the rest of this. I might have to get some more cardstock though. Because now I got plenty of the, well, I could do the white backs. I need to pick a nice cardstock for the cover of the, well, the second one, what am I doing? The second one is actually the writing signature. So hold on. Uh, so I'll add, because it's a writing signature, that's different. I'm not doing too decorated. That's a lot. That's, that's different. Like the cat one, because it's all mixed, it's taken me a while because there's a lot of pages to decorate. Yes, welcome, Leslie. <laughs> Hi, Lauren. Good, my day was good. We made soup, and now we're working on this mermaid book. Um, I'm wondering if we should use this for the for the sick for the writing part, or maybe the the ship. That would be cool, right? Wouldn't that be cool for the journaling, like an old journaling? I think that's kind of cool for the journaling part. So that the second one is all, I like that. Hold on. What if we did this with the map on the inside? That would look cute for the journaling, right? Very vintagey. Let me set that one aside, which means we can add a little bit more here now. Okay, so wait a minute. I don't like the the back to back teal. Teal, yellow. Swap it out. I could still do a ship in the middle of the book. Okay. So hold on a minute. Let me get all of my paper out of the way so I can do my thing. Which is this. All right. So we got a pocket, then a plain page, then a pocket. Plain page, pocket, I did two pages, 
and then aha it should be green then okay that makes more sense now pocket four that's eight and these two and then we have these where's the other double-sided one this one We don't know what goes where this is this is the part that just takes a few minutes because you have to visualize what's a pocket you know do i need extra pages there this is the part that sometimes it gets to be frustrating but then once you get it you're like oh my god it looks so great together so it's just it just takes a minute just takes a minute it always works out though I think I'm going to throw this one over here. Because that'll look good back to back. So throw that one there. And then. Maybe I'll throw these. Yeah. Put these in between them. we got it Hi. he's been up here don't let him jump on the table now oh. yeah, nice. hi book looks nice well don't be so overly excited about it but well, you're ignoring the cat oh <laughs> he's going oh when i do it He like he's so it. funny. He's going, uh, 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 uh. Uh, did I say I was going to use pink? So she actually says she didn't mind a hint of pink. So because of that, we have the floral. Where is she? She's in here. That's a hint of pink. And what I might do is I might use a hint of pink decorative wise, like a vintage pink here and there. Make the tags pink. I'm not going to put pink paper. I don't think I'm going to do pink paper, though. Um, I just wanted to do, like you said, like a hint of pink. So then with all the greens, I can actually put a tag with pink in it, and it'll pop a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm definitely going to put pink in here, but I'm going to use it more of like a little accent piece here and there as opposed to the teal, the gold, and I didn't even use black, to be honest with you, because I think that the book is dark enough, and I think that I think that looks nice. Well, let's flip it around. I think all those colors look good together. Yeah. Do you see them all? What's my cat's name? Uh, Bugsy. Yeah, I like I like the aesthetic for it to always blend and just be very pleasing to the eye. Mm -hmm. So sticking with the teals and the golds i think was the way to go he is cute he was sitting up here before but do you want you want to sit in your box okay so now we need to cut these all he was sitting in the box over here if you want to pick them up and but now go? i need to move the garbage again he went over there hold on she's gonna i'm gonna set these aside now 
this is going to be the signature. Maybe I'll do something, um, a solid, so it's thicker on the inside. Because this is a little thin. I like the cover to be a little, oh, that's perfect. Oh, yeah, I like that. That looks good. And that's a nice thick cardstock. So now we have a nice thick um, to make her, her signature. So let me put that aside. But you have to slide it down a little bit because you like, well, leave them there. Leave them there. Yes, that's your Bella. Aunt Dee wants to say hi. Hi. That's all you get. Okay, so I'm going to put these on top of the 15 boxes that we pulled. And now we're going to cut these. And the important thing is to make sure. Oh, thank you, Roseanne. Um, is that we, we cut them the right way. If you want to use the top part of the page, make sure you flip it so that when you cut it, you don't cut it because we're cutting eight inches. So if you cut it wrong, that sheet's done. The only time you it's forgiving is for the solids. But for these image, the imaged ones, you've got to make sure you got it facing the right way. So this is facing the right way. This is upside down. So now it's facing the right way. Okay. So for this one, I'm going to use just the top part. I'm going to, I'm going to cut out the bottom because it says Terrier de Yorkshire avec. It says some French stuff. Um, and the top, I think the top is a little bit better for what we're doing. So I'm going to flip it upside down. So when I cut eight inches from the bottom up, I'm, I'm going to cut out the strip that I don't want to use. Same thing with this one. I don't need the word beautiful. I need the top part. So I'm going to flip it upside down. This one doesn't matter. And this one doesn't matter. Okay. So now we know top side up, we're going to cut it at eight inches. Oh, thank you, Zazie. I'm so glad. We just, um, if we get done with this, well, we're going to get done with this soon enough. We're going to do... Um, we might work with the new grabby. I got the new grabby box. I could show you guys what's in it. So we're going at eight inches. I'm doing four sheets at a time. I'd rather take an extra few swipes than try to do too many and then not cut them right. No, I made it upside down because we're cutting. It's sideways. Uh, we're, we're cutting the word beautiful out. So that's why I flipped it upside down. So it would be cut out. Yeah, it was in the wrong direction on purpose. We're not, we're not putting that word in the book. Is it, uh, yeah, the top was like, I was cutting him sideways. So that's how it went. So here like that. That one's good. Let's 
See, I cut the word beautiful out. And I cut the words out on this one too. Yep, all good. Okay, they're pretty good. So now we're gonna fold them. I like to use the top of my cutter as a little backboard. It helps with the um, with keeping the folding straight. Um, you could use this. I'm gonna go grab my, you see that? And you do that, having an edge makes it so much easier. However, I like a little bit more space. So I'm just gonna use my scoreboard. So I just use my scoreboard and I kind of put this in the corner and it just makes it a lot easier. To score it. It just makes sure that the ends always meet. Hey, Pastor Sue, how are you? Yes, so the word beautiful was to my right because that's the piece I was cutting off. Correct. And we'll do one more check. We always have to check and make sure that everything is facing the right way. Because with these dark, vintage looking books, um, sometimes you have it upside down. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that. We've been working. We made some beef barley soup this morning. I know it's Monday for you. Oh, you're welcome, Leslie. I always find it struggling when you're trying to match the ends. So getting having that little backboard really makes really makes a difference. And it makes it just makes it easier. You're not struggling. You should be working. That's okay. We won't tell anybody, right, guys? Pastor Susan is hanging out with us right now. Shh. Don't tell anybody. So we're working on a mermaid. This is a mermaid book that we are uh, just doing a quick signature. We just finished it. I will show the cover in just a moment as soon as I finish um, folding all these pages. Oh, you're welcome, Grace. Grace said, thank you for staying on and explaining everything. Absolutely. And then we could decide if you want to put the swirly part on top or on the bottom, whatever. We could flip it at that point. Really pretty colors. our signature okay this one does have words I'm gonna flip it because I saw the word China and it would be upside down let me make sure okay or Chila or something but okay so this is gonna be our pocket our first pocket then a page I folded this one the wrong way. Just like that, and then a pocket. And then a, wait, was that the pocket? I think I got them a little bit out of order. Hold on a second. A little bit out of order because it goes pocket page 
pocket. Supposed to be a page next, which I think is this one. Page. Drawing a blank. Pocket page. Oh, because that's not a that's not a pocket. That's why. Hold on. I had the two pages side by side and it threw me off. It threw me off. Okay, so hold on. I think this is correct. That's a pocket. Then the page. And this was just an extra page that I was going to do the two pages together. That's what happened. Yeah. These two are going to go together. They're not a pocket. Then it was pocket. This was the page and then the last pocket. One, two, three, four. Okay, four pockets. We got it. It's hard to remember. Okay, those aren't in each other. Oh, for the love of Jesus. Sue, pray for me. One, two, I'm certainly overthinking this down there. Three. one. Ah. Thank you. These are eight inches. Cut down at eight inches. Two. Solid pocket. Those two are going to be the solid pocket. Those two are the solid and the pocket. So where did you come from? Aha. Here. No? Hold on a minute. I think I wanted this one as a pocket with the green. I'm still missing. I got the four pockets. Make sure this is the end here. I had it all in order and now it's all out of order. I got two pieces left here that we need to, it goes in here somewhere. I'm going to face it me because I think that's what messing me up. I need to see, like, for some reason, upside down, it's not making sense to me.
I remember not, I don't want a pattern next to a stripe. I'd rather it be like this. I think that's, that's it. Okay. I think that's it. All right. We figured it out. Yes, exactly. Okay. We figured it out. I figured it out rather. So we just need to sew them and cut them and, and just start gluing or we're going to forget. But right now, all we're going to do is um, maybe we'll sew it. Let's see. This is the book, everyone. If those are just joining us. This is where it's going to go in. Only need to cut a little bit. See that? It's like literally to the edge, which is good. So we don't have to cut too, too much. That's good. That looks pretty. Yes, the ship is in the middle, still is. Still have the ship in the middle. Okay. So now we got that settled. All we need to do is trim it a little bit. Sew it and trim it. What I should do is take a minute and judge these because it's so much easier to do them now than when they're in the book. So you guys are going to have to bear with me. And I'm going to judge them. The book is, everything's in black. But I think, uh, no, I think the black will look good. Instead of, well, maybe sepia. I think, I think the sepia would look good. Throw a little bit of sepia in there. Yes, we're going to trim the, well, I'll judge the tops and the bottoms. We'll trim it and then we'll judge the ends. That part is easy to do in the book. It's the tops that are hard to do in the books. So we'll just start with, we'll do the top and the, and the bottom. That's all. So it'll, should go relatively quickly. And some of these we don't have to judge, like that dark green. I mean, I may, just to be consistent. Let me see, does it do anything? Well, it does do a little bit. You know what I did the one day? I'm gonna try it. Oh, not on paper. I did it off the side of the, of the, of the table. Hold on. This is thin paper. So it's going to require a little more finessing. This is the two that I'm going to glue together. Or I might use some of the other paper. sure it's in the right water. So what I did was um, I took the paper. I'm going to show you something. When I had to do a lot of them and I held it off the edge, I'm going to see if this works. And I kind of just did this. And you, you get the effect. It's very light, but it does work.
a little bit faster. You don't get that fading. Don't if you're looking for fading, that's not what you're gonna get. But you will get the the zhuzh look. Unless you probably have like an old one of these. And then it'll probably work a little bit better because you could like put a, put a little bit more surface area. This is giving you a little bit more of that streak look. Make sure there's no right or wrong. But we're certainly going to get through it a lot faster this way. Yes, you can buff it. Your laces. I think putting laces is a lot harder than judging. You don't think so? A pocket, so I only have to do the outside. And the thicker the paper, the easier it is because you get that nice friction and it just, it works so much easier when the paper's thick. It's the thin paper that's a little bit harder. Make sure the words are going the right, oh, let's do the back side. What is the crease tool call? Oh, you're talking about the 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 bone? This is called a bone folder. Don't have to do the inside because that's going to be a pocket. Okay, this one I'm going to do with the zhuzhure. that one. Okay. All right. Now we can sew it and then we can trim it and then it's done. Okay. Double, triple check right now. Make sure everything's facing the right way. Okay, we're good. Awesome. So for this one, we're going to do, because it's it's eight inches. If it's over like six inches, um, I'll do five holes as opposed to just three. Okay, so this is a book binding tool. It's in my Amazon storefront. And you could put your, you don't need to, you don't need this. You could use 
an old phone book or any book that's soft that you open to the middle and it gives you that center crease. But this is for binding books and you put your signature in here and then you would put this piece right there and it's numbered and you would punch your holes so that you make sure you punch your holes the same in every single signature. But I just eyeball it. Elena, distressing is the, a, a, a snack and water and a rest. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me take a sip. I might just have some more soup. I don't know. Um, what you call it? What was I saying? Oh, it distresses it and gives it an aged look and finished. It doesn't look like it was harshly cut. I'll show you because once I cut the edges, you'll see the difference between what the edge looks like and what the top and the bottom looks like. It just kind of finishes the page really nicely. One, two, three. Three times the length is usually what you do for sewing. And then I take the tail and I kind of tuck it on one of the clips so that hopefully I don't pull it all the way. And I'm going to punch the holes with the awl, the little awl. And I just eyeball it. I go like, I look at it and I go, okay, where's the middle? This is the middle. So I put my hole, make sure you go all the way through. And then I'll go like about maybe three quarters of an inch, almost an inch, almost like three quarters of an inch from the top. And then I do the same thing on the other side. And then I just do the middle again, just eyeballing it. It doesn't have to be rocket science. You know, you don't have to take the tape measure out for this part. Just Okay, so I'm going to put um, the bow, per se, on the outside in case we want to do something. I don't, I don't think we're going to do anything in here, actually. I'll start on the inside. I think it'll look cute to have, the, have it tie in the middle. So wherever you start is where you finish. Well, this is the only uh, signature that's for going to be decorated. And then the second signature is for writing. It'll actually be all lined paper. Um, with this cover stock. This will be the cover for the book. So there will be two signatures, but one's going to be decorative and one's going to be for writing. Okay, so you start in the middle, and then it doesn't matter if you go up or down. You just go to the next hole. Just, just remember, go to the next hole, okay? And I just pulled it out with my, my big hands. <sighs> My eyes are going to, okay. Okay. And you pull it through and then go to the next hole. Okay. Now you're going to go back and you're going to close the loops. But basically you just keep going to the very next hole and be careful that you do not feed it through the other ribbon that's there. When you go to the hole that already has some thread in it, you don't want to feed it through that thread again because then it'll be difficult to tighten. And that's what I'm checking right now just to make sure I didn't get it through. I don't think I did. No, good. Okay. And you don't go to the middle. The middle is the last hole you go to. Skip the middle and then start on the next one. And then the next hole again. And then you close the loop. And then the last loop you close is the middle. And that's it. And now we pull it tight. Make a knot. Make a double knot. I put a little bow. I'm 
going to double the bow so it doesn't slip. There you go. You got your sew signatures. It's just a basic stitch. Very simple. It's five holes and you just go. And I, I think I have this up on my Etsy shop now. Uh, I don't remember if it's still there with the instructions on how to do this. It's draw and how to sew it to the signature, to the to actual spine if you want to. Because this is how I'm doing it for the elastic. But you can actually do that process and you sew it right to the spine. You see that? You sew it. It's the same thing, but you're doing the, the pages right into the spine. That's how you do that. I like the ship too, Adam. Okay, so now we're going to trim it. I'll do the other signature at another time. Let me just put my needle stuff away so I don't lose anything. Okay, so we're just going to basically even this out. There wasn't too much to cut. It's $51. It can't be. No, look, go in my Amazon storefront. Go on my profile, click in my link tree and my Amazon storefront, and it's there. I thought it was like $35. These are called, these are junk journals. All right, now I'm going to show you how, because you see the pages are uneven. We're going to cut them so that they wind up being nice and even and they fit in the book nice and tight and snug. So I have my ruler. I'm holding this down as flat as I can. You get a straight edge and you're just going to slice it and take your time. Let the blade do the work for you. Don't force it. Just make sure you put enough pressure. that nice and even now when we put it in our book it's nice and smooth you can see when you squeeze it And don't cut your hand exactly. And there it is. See, it's nice and straight and it's inside. So then when you open the book, there it is. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, beautiful colors. This is going to be a really pretty vintage book. Vintage Mermaid. Now, it's important that you remember, you can only do this part after you sew it together for two reasons. Number one, all the pages aren't going to move. They're going to stay still. Number two, if you try to cut them all the same before you put them all together, they will cascade because that's what happens. If you notice, when you fold a bunch of pages together, the middle one sticks out further than the first one because it starts cascading. So it's important to have all your pages together first. Then you trim them. Yes, it is a Timu applique. Thank you. 
Thank you, Sheedy. Yes, the, the, the cover came out really, really pretty. I'm very pleased with it. So there it is. So another book started. Yeah, because I had a few people have, have trouble doing that. Um, and then when they told me that what they were doing, I'm like, aha, you have to sew the pages because it keeps them nice and tight so that when you cut them, they'll always stay even. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Rose. <laughs> thank you so much, Roseanne. Okay, you guys have any pages? The page with the ship. What do you what are you doing on that page? I don't know yet. I might do um a treasure chest. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where my creativity takes me. So um you only see a little bit on the outside, which is up here, okay, and down here. And usually I color coordinate it. What I could do here is I have these pieces of jewelry that um, you can wrap around there. You could also put, you know, what you put at the ends of ribbons. Um, that They clamp them at the end of a ribbon and it ha you can use those because I sometimes use those as well. So I'll probably use one of those um, on the top one. On the bottom one, I don't do anything. You could also do beads. You could feed beads through there and just have some beads in there. There's a lot that you can do. Oh, hi, Ginger. Thank you for asking me. Um, no, this is my first mermaid book, Stacey. Um, so my test, it, it confirmed that there's a nodule on my left lung. So um, we're just, I'm going to go see the doctor on the 19th of this month to discuss, but I'm pretty sure all we're going to do is monitor it and repeat the scan in August in six months and see if there's any growth and see what's going on with it. Wait, didn't I just answer that? How do you keep the elastic? Yes, Deb. Yes, well, I do the dangle. Okay, thank you, Grace. Um, I do the dangles and all that. That's the very last thing I do is put all the charms on it at the end. You just watch them. The problem with me... Um, Montgomery Racing is that um, I've had cancer twice already. And all of a sudden I have cysts on my ovaries and my ovaries on my kidneys because I don't have ovaries. I have two cysts, one on each kidney. I have a cyst in my pancreas and now I have this. So it wasn't there, you know, in August when I did a PET scan this past August and it's there now. That's the only concerning thing. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know, Stacey. Um, I mean, nodules happen to everyone. They have them and they, they go all their lives with nodules and they die with them. It, nothing. It's just like polyps in your colon. Uh, you just get them as you get older. But for me, because of my history, I have to watch every single thing and make sure I stay on top of it. And because, you know, I've been very fortunate to catch the cancer twice before it spread. So. Oh, that's OK, Don. Thank you, Naomi. And thank you so much for all your prayers. I try, Leslie. That's right, Deb. We got this. Ain't nobody got time for that, right? Aw, thank you, Gracie. I love you guys, too. And thank you for keeping me in your prayers, all of you. It ended again? Oh, for the love of Jesus. I can't stand TikTok right now. Larry. Shut me down three times today. I can't even believe this is happening. You would think that I'd learned my damn lesson and I'd flip the phone around so that I could watch it. It did it again. Oh my gosh. It is so frustrating. But if I flip the phone around, then everything looks weird. Well, maybe we'll end. Maybe it's a sign. Here we go again. Yes. I didn't put a timer on. I'm going to have to put a timer on because I have the phone facing the right way. So you guys see everything the right way. And um, the darn thing shut me down again. This is so frustrating. 
So now it did at the one hour mark. Again. Ugh. Oh, it's it's TikTok with, with that damn puzzle. So fr- it shut me down. This is that was the third time it shut me down today. My my YouTube is Connie's Coolest Crafts. Go into the link tree and it should be in there. If you click up on my name and then you click on um uh, click on my picture. I'm doing it while I'm telling you so that I'm sure. And then underneath my underneath my picture is a link tree. You click on that and it should take you right to uh, the options. And I think YouTube is there. Yeah, my YouTube channel is there. It'll take you right to it. Thank you, Roseanne. Yeah, TikTok shut me down, Cheryl. What am I going to make now? Oh, goodness. I don't know. Um, We were talking about making a specimen card. Ah, thank you. It is Lillian. Every it happened on Friday. Friday it got me. Um, it got me once on Friday. Yeah. So here's the thing. Because it's on my phone and I have the phone facing me the right way, I don't see the screen. So when that puzzle comes up, if I don't see it, I can't move the puzzle piece and confirm that I'm live. Because it says there's no activity, but I don't understand that because you guys are talking the whole time. Uh, thank you for the gifts, Deb. I seen that. Thank you. Water. You guys are so funny. So I don't know what they mean by activity. I don't know if they mean that I am not touching and scrolling and messaging on the phone, responding. That has to be what they mean by the activity because... Um, obviously we're interacting. I know that's not water, but I, I have to finish it. I don't like throwing stuff away. So I need to finish that. My water's right next to it. We'll hit that next. Yes, Kim puzzle again. Exactly. Well, okay. Somebody wanted to know what a specimen card is. Okay. Let's do one of those. How about that? And bread. <laughs> The only way I can see your live is by clicking on showcase. Really? Huh. And people do sleep. Go eat my dinner. Well, I'll eat, I usually eat dinner whenever. But, um, okay, you want to know what it is? I don't have one to show you because I haven't made any. But let me get the, I'll give you an idea of what a specimen card is. This is the new grabby box, guys. And it's got so much cool stuff in here. Just go look at my TikToks because I get credit if you guys buy through my my link in my link tree for this, which would be nice because I am promoting their stuff. Um, let me find them. Here they are. I thought it would be cool to do a specimen card with the dragon, uh, the dragonflies, because they're so pretty. Let me flip this so that you get a lighter color to see this now. I actually am not that hungry just yet. Am I blurry on on Facebook now? Really? That's strange. Oh, I got some glue over here. Hold on. As soon as I feel it, I got to peel it. Oh my God, I found that. I did a rhyme. As soon as I feel it, I got to peel it. Oh, excellent. Okay, I flipped it to the pink because um, you could see these a little bit better. Let me get like something with a white background so you guys could see them. Like, look how pretty. There's a purple and there's, oh, red is pretty and green. Oh, that's blue. That's a pretty one. Maybe we'll do that one because it's green and that'll, um, and blue and it might work. 
well, it doesn't matter what it works with because we're just making a specimen card. All right. So what you do, there's a couple different ways. I have a die cut for a specimen card, but they're too small. The window's too small for these dragonflies because these dragonflies are huge. So you all know I thrifted, I thrifted these. Um, this is like a picture book. So I'm just going to cut one of these out. I thought these would make great specimen cards because they're so big. Usually specimen cards aren't this big. Um, but because these are so big, you could see that you kind of like need the space. And we could put two in here then if we wanted to. Like, for example, let's just do a back on this. Like we could do one here and maybe do another one here. But essentially, you try to do just one so it looks like a specimen. And it's going to be with plastic. Now, you could do just one side like that with the white and you put plastic over it so it looks like a window. And then the back side could all be for writing. It could be like a card. Um, but maybe I'm thinking maybe we'll make this um, so it's two-sided. And what we could do is we'll take... Oh, we don't have to waste two because it looks the same on both sides. That's the cool thing with um, PET stickers. It looks the same on both sides. Otherwise, if it was like one of those white stickers, you'd need two of the same. So you have an image on both sides, you know, but did I buy it like that? Yes. I bought the, the album came like this. Yes, definitely. These are albums that I buy. What is that box? Oh, Lori, this is called a grabby box and they have monthly subscriptions or you could buy these boxes individually and they're all themed. So, um, like three weeks ago, I got their Easter box, which was this one. And this came filled with paper and jute and stickers and envelopes and postcards and all kinds of stuff. And I made literally, you got to go see my post. I made like, um, six mini journals, seven mini folios, um, one medium notebook, one large journal. I made a lot of stuff with what's in there. So. I need to make stuff with what's in here. Um, there's a lot of stickers, PET stickers. The dragonflies are one of them. This box has over 200 pieces of paper. It's all vintage type ephemera. Um, you get, I already, this is some of the stickers that was in that box that I already separated because I need to separate so I know what I have. Um, this is the pad of paper that is in this box. You can see it's all vintage-y looking, really pretty. Did you guys see that or am I, am I, I'm, I'm showing it in the wrong spot. This is just showing it. Oh, so this is paper. Okay. There's like 40 sheets in there. Then you get this amazing book. These are all stickers. Hold on. I'm going to try and, and flip it down. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this without making a hot mess, but just giving you an example of, oh, for the love of Jesus, I can't do this. I'm not good at this. Some girls are good at doing this. I'm not. This is just giving you an example of like some of the pages of the stick. There's like, I don't know, 30, 40 pages in here. Um, and these are washi tape stickers. So there's all kinds of flowers. I'm just skipping a bunch of pages at a time. And then there's smaller flowers. And then there's like wintry, not wintry, but like, like that, like leaves. And then there's individual flowers hold on but if you guys go and see like those are cool those are the cotton then there's uh, some uh, cute wreaths some cute wreaths there and then um there's a uh, individual little flowers like that and towards the back the last two pages are little stamps and these are all stickers i get it becca I, and then there's more stuff in here here is um, doilies, little pre-cut doilies. And then you get five sheets. These are stickers, guys. These stickers are huge. Look at this. These are big. There's five of these, but these are all stickers and they feel like vellum. And then you get 10 sheets of vellum and 10 sheets of paper. I'm sorry. These are the stickers. That was vellum. These are the stickers. Everything's just jumping out of my hands today. 
these are full sheets of five sheets of full size stickers. I, I, I suck at this. And then you have, this is paper and then you get the exact same image and look at all the, the foil, the gold leaf foil. You get the same image in vellum. I don't think that's the right one. Let me find the right one. So you can see the two images alike. There it is. So you have paper and you have vellum of the exact same image. And there's 10 image. What's vellum? No, this is from Grabby. Vellum is, did you ever get a wedding invitation? And there's like the card and on top of it is this very soft paper that feels like a little bit thicker than tissue paper. That's vellum. It's usually used on like wedding invitations and stuff like that. We use them to make pockets and things of that nature. This one says uh, July is stamped on the um, on the tissue paper, but this one is called a bite. Take a bite of, out of nature. And if I would appreciate it, if you guys are going to buy it, if you would go to my link tree and buy it through my link so that I get credit because I get credit for selling this as an affiliate for them. Vellum, vellum is something you can make a window. You also use acetate, which is plastic, to make a window, a window most of the time. But the vellum is good for windows. It's good for um, making envelopes. Um, it's good to make like a little texture on a tag. Um, I actually, I think I did one. Yeah, if you go through my link tree, then at least I'll get some credit. I would love to be like the one that sells the most, but I know I'm not. There's there's um, creators out there that are like more much more popular than I am, and they do this as well. So I'm sure they get a lot of sales. Oh, thank you, Michelle. You ordered it for my video. Yeah, and the cool thing, so they challenge us. Like they, they give me this box, and then I'm supposed to make stuff with it and then post a video about it. So this is like the third time I'm showing it. I showed it on one of my lives. I did a video and now I'm showing it to you guys. Um, it's the one that says, hold on, let me go to it. Because there's two. There's the Easter one. And this is the one that should say, take a bite. Oh, it's not there. Well, damn it. Hold on one second. Uh... Hey, Leah, Leah, I thought it was there. If you go to my TikTok where I actually show it, you could, you could get it from there. It's not, I thought it was in my link tree. It's not. Um, if you go on my TikToks and you scroll down, it's like one, two, three, four. It's the fifth one. It says grabby box reveal. If you click on that on the bottom where I, um, where's my comments, is the is the link you could buy it from there it's like the fourth one. Oh, is it under showcase oh thank you many moons under showcase okay it's on my showcase see i don't even know oh thank you michelle i can't wait to see what you make with it the easter one was really cool those postcards like were really beautiful but for right now, I just, when I saw that book at the thrift store, I, I said to myself, oh, those would be cool for specimen cards. And then immediately I thought, oh, um, the uh, dragonflies from, from the box I just got, they're huge. I, what was I going to do with these? I think they're going to make a great, excellent specimen card. So what I do, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to take this apart because it comes apart from the top because this is where you would put your picture, right? You put your picture in here. So I'm just gonna use this to take the two pages apart. Okay, so now technically you have two. So if you wanted to do just one solid one and put like a, a big piece of paper on this side and then have like your, your dragonfly there in the middle, that's fine too. I'm going to do it where it's an actual window. So I'll wind up using both of these cards back to back like that. I'm just going to cover them in my own paper. And then I put my own words. I'm going to probably round out the edges a little bit. I might put a little thing here for notes, like one side will be for notes, you know, something like that, but it'll be fun. We can also make a specimen um, folio, which would mean we would put these together like this, 
right, with some tape to reinforce it. And then we could do one of these on each side and we can actually put some paper in the middle. We could do something like, there's so much that we could do. Um, Cause now my mind is racing. Cause now you guys got me thinking, oh, what can we do? We do have clear paper. It's called acetate. It's the, it's the plastic. You use the sleeves that you buy stuff in, the stickers you buy the Dollar Tree, those plastic sleeves, you can reuse those if they're nice and clean. Um, I also buy acetate too. But we're definitely going to, you put a piece of the plastic here and a piece of the plastic here, and then you put these two together. Um, it's the same thing with flowers. We could do it with flowers too, not just insects. So there's so much, so much to do. You couldn't find the box, Lori? Oh, so if you go on my Facebook and you go under about, under under my name on Facebook, go to my profile and on Facebook under about, click on about, and then my link tree comes up. Click on the link tree and then click on, click on showcase. Try that. I would, babe, are you here? I don't know if they leave for a fire call. Yes, we can add flowers, cello. There's so much you can use. Anything that's plastic and see-through, you can use. Yeah, Lori, try it. Let me know if it works. Under my profile is the word about. So you want to click on about, and then you want to click on the link tree, and then you want to click on showcase. There's a lot of clicking. So it's about, link tree, showcase, and then the grabby should be there. There was a call. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad you guys pay attention for me. Hey, Debbie, did you see my soup? I made, I made, um, oh, we made beef barley this morning. Terry saw it. I'm going to take one scoop out just so I can have a little scoop while I'm talking to you guys because it's like 8 o'clock now and I, I can feel my sugar dropping a little bit. Hold on one second. I'm going to get just a little scoop. Okay. I actually made two big pots. Look at this. Look at that. It's delicious. Came out so good. Yes, I will eat something and talk to you guys for a little while. It came out really good, Deb, and I made two pots of it because I have to take some to work. Yeah, I, I really want to do one of these, but guys, I'm not going to do it tonight because I'm not in the frame of mind for it. And I, and once I start going, I won't stop until I actually finish it. And it's already 8 o'clock, so I need to break. And I'm going to eat this and then have dinner with whoever family's left, check my messages, do all that good stuff. What's the matter? What are you crying for? That's the outdoor cat. Lori, did you find it? It came out really good. Gracias, Millie. Lo hicimos esta mañana antes de empezar haciendo los libros. Hacemos, yo hice dos, dos tazas grandes de sopa. Dad left and they want dinner again. Okay, which storefront did you, it's on, no, not Amazon. Oh, you're in Canada. It might ship to Canada though, but it's not on Amazon. You got to go to showcase and then hold on. Hey, Pam. Oh, you're welcome. Let me just, let me click. Oh, she's on Facebook, but 
you still have the same link tree. Let me try clicking myself so I could talk you through it. You click on it, you click on the link tree, you click on, not, not Amazon, eBay, TikTok, YouTube, Pacific Crafters, Live Purchases. Wait, it's not there. Misfit Crafters. Why is it not there? Hold on. Is the showcase under my name? I don't see it either. Hold on. Leah! All right. Then, oh, you're not on TikTok, right? I thought my daughter put it on there. But now I can't, I don't remember. Oh, the recipe's on my, it's on my TikTok. I put the recipe up. It's there. It's one of my TikToks. I didn't see it, but she's not on TikTok. Maybe that's why. It's a separate link. Let me try again. Why am I having such a hard time with this? Click on my name. See, I only see Linktree. I don't see the showcase. Let me see. Huh. I wonder why some of us see it and some of us don't. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, when I look at it, it doesn't it doesn't say that beneath it. Let me right click. No, it doesn't say that when I look at it. I wonder why that is. Profile. Maybe I have to click it twice. No, that's not it. It doesn't come up for me either, which is really weird. You had to use the I. Oh, do not click. No, it's it's. But there's nothing there. Many moons. I'm looking. We're looking for showcase so people could buy the grabby box. That sounds really good, Sue. Do you want to go out? Hold on. I think he wants to. No, he's going in his bed. It doesn't. Are you on your phone? That sounds good, Jesse. Clip the bag, she says. What bag? Let me look again. I'm an idiot. I don't see a bag. What, what am I, dumb? I don't see a bag on the computer. Let me look on, on the, is the iPad. Let me see if the iPad's still hooked up. Hold on. Let me try here. Um, I'm going to try on the iPad. Click up there. Click there. Okay. On the iPad, it's there. But it's not on the computer. See, guys? It's there on the iPad. You see the showcase underneath the link tree? But on the iPad, it's there. But on the computer, it is not there, which is really weird. That's really weird. Yeah, but it, it doesn't come up. It doesn't come up on the, like I'm on the computer doing it and it didn't pop up.
Oh, I see, Sue. Well, thank you for watching. Lori, um, it could be because you're not seeing it on your phone or in your computer because I on the on the iPad, it's there. But on the computer, I don't see it either, which is really strange. It doesn't matter, Patty, because on I have the link tree on both. So it should still come up. Hi, Amelia. Oh, thank you, Technicolor. Bienvenido, como estas? Oh, that's why. Oh, my God. Okay. Lori, I'm going to have to figure out how to link it to the... I don't think I can. I think we did try that already, to link it to Facebook, and I don't think we can. You know why? It's TikTok shop. That's why. Yep. So if you really want to buy it and you're not on TikTok... Go to grabbyart.com and just buy it from there. It's okay. If you want it, just go on grabbyart.com and buy it from there. Because I know TikTok will not ship internationally, so I don't know if they ship to Canada, if they consider that international or not. Um, and grabbyart.com, you can buy it directly from them there. Okay, Laurie, then that's why. So go go to their website directly and just make your purchase. No, they won't ship to Canada, Lisa. We just figured out why. Uh, you can't buy through TikTok internationally. Thank you, Patty. I know. Who doesn't ship internationally? Even I ship internationally. <laughs> The soup is so good. It's very tasteful. Debbie, if you come tomorrow, I'll give you some soup. I should have some left over because I, I made two big pots. A little food break, yeah. Oh, thank you so much, Jim. <laughs> My sister, well, hell yeah. Air mail you some. Yeah, I have to eat every once in a while. Because I, I could tell when my sugar drops. Like, you kind of feel like you're going to start shaking a little bit. And that's never good. But a little bowl like this, and I'm good to go. It is expensive, Lori. It sucks. I was just shipping stuff out and I shipped the box to honor in California with just two things in it. It wasn't very heavy and it was $54 because of the size of the box. It's ridiculous. I shipped to Ireland one book. It was $90 to ship to Ireland. I que bueno. Tu tienes un big shot ahora. Ahora puedes ir a Timu y comprarte los, los die cuts y hacer todo lindo, ¿verdad? That's crazy, Lori, right? Our friend Technicolor in Spain, uh, somebody um, gifted her a big shot, so she's all excited because she got her first die cut machine. Yeah, the UK... Um, to ship to the UK, a standard small package is like 20 bucks, but a, a package is like $40. It's ridiculous. I'm like, how's anybody supposed to, to like make any, buy anything or sell anything? It's, I, I don't get it. They, they're making it difficult for these small, luckily that's, this is not my source of income, you know, otherwise I don't know how I would do it. Ah, sí, AliExpress también. Yo sé, yo también lo hice la primera vez, pero cuidado, tienes muchas cosas que, que, que tomar atención. Si es un die cut que tienes mucho, mucho buraquitos, esos son necios para usar, porque tienes que siempre empujar 
uh, porque no sale todo muy bien, ¿entiendes? Entonces, ahora yo cuando compro los die cuts, yo no, se si tiene mucho, mucho buraquitos hacia vuelta, yo no lo compro, porque yo sé que va a ser mucho trabajo para usarlo. Y así se, se me va a quedar en el libro y no lo voy a usar. I know, come and meet me. Hold on, let me put this in the sink. It's cheaper to deliver in person, right? That's crazy. Well, yes, uh, in Ireland, I felt terrible because there was like something that had to be paid and they held it. It's terrible. There really should be a better way of doing this. They got planes going back and forth. No, no tienes máquina para hacer de stress. Uh, eso se, hacemos por, con las manos. Hacemos con, con los inks. Y también puedes hacerlo con un... Um, yo lo uso... Déjame enseñarte. Hold on. Somebody's asking me about the stressing. Esta cosita así. ¿Tú ves? Tiene aquí láminas aquí dentro. Y si tú tienes un poquito de papel, déjame coger un poquito de papel para enseñarte cómo lo hicimos. Mira aquí. Oh, lo hago aquí. So this is a distressor, guys. If you want to distress the paper, um, you just take this and you go. And it distresses the edges of the paper. You see that? See how it's distressed? And you could do that with the back of a scissor, too. Okay, so if you can see that. Guys, I want it on, on Facebook. If I do this over here, you see it, right? I just, because I just want to make sure that you guys are seeing the right thing. I feel like it's a different camera. What else could you use? You could use a scissor. Just take a scissor. Okay. I'll do the other side. And you just literally just scrape it gives you the same effect sometimes it is oh hey how are you monique okay so you can use scissors you don't need con la tijera exacto puedes hacer con la tijera no es necesario tener esto me regala, regalaron entonces yo lo tengo pero So those are two ways to do it. All right, let's do a couple of questions. De nada, Elena. Y también con fuego. Puedes poner un poquito de fuego y lo haces distressed un poquito, pero tienes que tener bastante cuidado. Yes, Lori, I'm still I just finished eating a little bit of soup. Um... I know it is cute. It is cute that the Tim Holtz the stressing tool, but the scissors does just as good a job too. Um, I like using both. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Sue. So you can see it if you show it on the Facebook camera. Got you. Which is which is actually the camera because I do see the two different images, so I see how they look different. And when I go to TikTok, you don't see it on the Facebook, so I, I get it. What's your favorite double-sided tape? My shakers are too flat. Terry, I sometimes double up. So, uh, because they do make book face, you're right. Other than my live, we made this book today. <laughs> um, What was I saying? Hold on. Oh, so my double-sided tape. That's what we were talking about. Yes, Grace, I will make some. Es muy lindo, ¿verdad? Se quedó hermoso. The mermaid is an applique. It's, it's completely made out of um, beads like this. That's, that's how you buy it. Um, 
So I use I the one that I use and on Amazon you could get different thicknesses, but I just use the one and I double up on it. So I don't really have a favorite because I don't use them that often to really have a favorite. It's whatever I have on hand. And if I need it thicker, I just double up on it. See, yo le hice con, uh, the pink one is beautiful. Yeah. Do you, did you, do you dull the magazine pages such as that middle cap pages? Oh, that one I didn't. Did I? I think I did actually. I usually do do that on all the pages just to be consistent, um, especially if the edges are white. Let's look at it. Let's look at it together because I'm not going to remember. Your questions are coming in so quickly. También comenzaste como evitar las páginas encascadas, pero no entendí. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Te, te voy a explicar un momento, Elena. Déjenme. O la tela es así. No, la tela es así. Yo lo compré así. Esto es de Timu. Lo compré así. Ok, lo compré así. Yo lo corté bien, con mucho cuidado para que no cortas, porque si cortas una cosita te va a caer todo. Y lo corté con mucho cuidado y con goma lo puso en, en, uh, en el libro. Aquí así. Y con poquito también de hot glue. Hice un poquito de hot glue en las manos y en la cabeza. Y aquí para que se quede un poquito más uh, fuerte. Y también aquí atrás. Y esto lo puse también. OK, what size of eyelid did you use? For which part? I used two different sizes. This was a um, one eighth, and this one was actually a quarter inch. It was a little bit bigger. Double foam the layers. Yes, Terry. What dollar store? The mermaid was from Timu, not from the dollar store. The mermaid was from Timu. Hola, Grease Grease. Yeah, team you, not the dollar store. So we were going to look about the stress thing, because I think I did distress that one page in here. Let me look at it. Oh, I didn't have to, because look, there was a lot of dark color. See, I didn't have to distress. You can, when you put images, when you put images in the book, you can certainly distress them. But I didn't do this one. It didn't need it. It didn't need it. And here's our little, our finished little basket. If you guys didn't see this one yet, this is a cute little basket. And in this book, we have our little fish, our little fish bowl, our 3D fish bowl that we did a week ago. And then this Friday, we did this one, um, which is the cat scratch post. And it opens up like that. And then there's a little, the, the window is a pocket. Cute, right? Yeah, the basket came out really cute. Thank you, Carol. Thank you, Dawn. Thanks, everyone. Anna, Elena, thank you so much. It did turn out fantastic, Leslie. I'm really happy with it. It's the little pieces that make it special. Yeah. And the little, the little booklets came out really cute, too, because I redid them. So the little yarn, they're like little notepads. Each one of them is a little notepad. Isn't that cute? So there's three little notepads. Just like that. <laughs> Gracias. I did put a cat in the window. Oh, thank you, Dawn. Thanks, Angela. Yeah, I, I always like to make it like it needs to look finished and then I'm good. If it doesn't look finished, oh, thank you, Roseanne. El libro de gatito ya está vendido. Es, fue ordenado. Todos mis libros que yo estoy haciendo ahora uh, fueron ordenados el año pasado. Las personas están esperando a casi a un año para los libros. Y después de terminar mi lista, yo voy 
quitar dos mesitos para que yo haga otras cosas, para tomar un break. Y en el final del, del verano, tal vez voy a aceptar órdenes nuevas. Exactly. It's not done until it's finished. Oh, uh, no, the, the basket is actually, it's a wallpaper sample that somebody sent me. It looks like tweed. Do you see that? It's wallpaper. So it actually is, it feels like a basket. If you look at it, it feels like a basket. So I suggest that if you don't have access to like wallpaper, if you go to a Home Depot or any store like that, or even placemats, you could use a placemat that is like this kind of fabric and use an old placemat to do stuff like this. You just have to think outside of the box and where you could get your, you know, your supplies. So, you know, you could go to like a, I don't know, um, a big lots or something like that and get these mats that go on sale for like a dollar after season, especially after Easter and use those. Oh, thank you, Gracie. I know Friday slumber party. And blinds too, that's exactly what I said. So they make blinds shades out of this as well. So if they go on clearance, you could grab one of those. Popcorn and Pepsi Zero. Oh, I can't wait, we're gonna have a blast. No se olviden que el viernes que viene, este viernes del día 8, voy a hacer el, mi live, pero voy a empezarlo muy tarde porque yo y Chris Hunter vamos a hacer un sleepover. Vamos a empezar a las 9 de la noche y vamos a trabajar toda la noche hasta la mañana. Oh, that's so sweet, Roseanne. This is one of your best days ever. That touches my heart. Thank you so much. That is super sweet of you. I appreciate that. Uh, the newlywed game will be Friday night. Scroll back. Oh, did I miss something? Hold on. <laughs> Naomi, if you all come over here, he's leaving. <laughs> Oh, definitely join us. There's no, there's, it's just going to be a live. There's no like a uh, group or anything to join just on Friday. Look for us. We're going to be live. Both me and Chris Hunter. It doesn't matter. We're going to be doing our lives together. Um, and it'll be super fun for sure. You got kicked out again. This live will be updated. I'm going to have my daughter downloaded tonight and then probably tomorrow I'll be uploading it for an airplane ticket. Yeah, he's like, peace out, I'm out. Ah, thanks, Roseanne. That makes me feel good because I was going to tell you, whatever she told you is a big fat lie about me. <laughs> ah, gracias, Gris Gris. Muchísimas gracias. Yeah, everything you missed. Oh, excellent, Amy. Well, what we do is kind of sort of like scrapbooking. The only difference is I don't really use personal pictures in this. I just make the book and then the people can continue and putting their own personal stuff in it. You know, you know, I'm going to do some, I'm going to flip the phone because I have a funny feeling TikTok's going to shut me down again. Oh, you're welcome, Jesse. Let me flip my phone. So it's going to be weird. You're going to see me a little bit weird, but I'm worried. Um, Oh my God, Tiffany took a vacation day, which I think is so funny. But let me figure out how to do the flip, flip the camera. Hi, this is a close up. All right, I'm going to flip the camera just in case TikTok decides to do it again. And we're still talking. I just need to figure out how to. Oh, that's not so bad. That's not so bad. This way I could see if the puzzle comes up. Because I think that's what they're going to do. Oh, my God. Could you imagine a herd of us going into the thrift store together? First of all, let me just tell you guys, I always kind of feel a little bit bad when I go thrifting because I'm pulling up an Alexis, right? I drive a Lexus. I, I splurge on my car because I deserve it. I work hard. I make decent money and I deserve a good, a nice luxury car. 
and I've never had one before. So I actually had an Infiniti before this one, and then I got the Lexus. So I've only had two luxury cars. So I feel weird pulling up an Lexus and going into the thrift store and coming out with like loads of stuff, you know? But I don't touch like the clothing. I go and I get paper, stuff that nobody really will buy. We take everything crafty. Oh, yeah. Claire, it dropped me three times. This is the fourth time I had to start my TikTok because it's doing the puzzle randomly. It'll be at the one hour mark. It'll be at the four hour mark. Each time I started, it was random. Really frustrating. Oh, gracias. What, when I go thrifty, what do I pick up? You parked towards the back. Um, so I look for paper, which is one of my, I, I'm like a paper whore. Yeah. So I'm not going to lie. I am. And all this stuff is backwards. It is. All this stuff is going to be backwards now. Sorry, guys. Um, so I look for paper. I look for paper pads. I look for stamps. I look for scissors. Um, I look at books, see what books are for. for they, and I look at, like, I look at packs. You never know what you're going to find. Like, let me show you. Oh, I already took it apart. I found the book. It was like $3.99. And when I looked inside, it was filled with pages that are for watercolor, which is that really thick, like thicker than cardstock. And it's like a little bit textured because it's like for watercoloring. And it was like a scrapbook. And I bought that because it had at least 30 pages in there. And I'm like, for $3.99, it was totally worth it. I brought that home. I get I got packages of stickers. Oh, Jolie stickers. Ask everybody. I literally came home on Friday with about 30 packs of stickers, of ephemera stickers, different kinds of stickers. It was baby, it was wedding, it was school, it was travel, but I bought four bags. Each bag was $2.99 and inside each bag was about 10 to 12 sticker packs. So yes, Claire, I got baby stuff now. I just picked it up. On Friday, that was a good find. Um, what else did I find? Um, oh, the Raggedy Ann. I found Raggedy Ann lined paper from 1969. Like what? I actually saved the box. I took the paper. I have like a, let me go get it. I have like a special little um, chest that has all the specialty. That was the best find of Friday. I think that was the super find. Let me go grab it so you guys can see it. So this is my little trunk with my special, my special line paper. I know this is super cute. I have three of these. This is the smallest and then they go, they get bigger and bigger in size. And I have different things inside each one of them. So I do not have a goodwill or salvation. I only have unique which is pretty around the country um and that's the only really good one around me so let me show you the raggedy ann paper which i think was towards the back okay because i put all my paper in here lined up look how cute that is and it comes with the little envelopes right and there was there wasn't a lot there was let's see one two, three, four, five. There were seven, seven pieces of paper and seven envelopes. But when you look at the box, it actually says Hallmark. And then it says 1969 on it. Isn't that crazy? Look, I know it's probably backwards now. Can you see that? It says 1969. Isn't that so cute? How much? I don't know if I'm selling it yet, Claire. I'm still collecting more. When I have a nice collection, then I'll do packs like I did last time. I'll do one page of each thing because I have that one. I have I have a whole bunch of different ones in here. Uh, beautiful pinks. Uh, just beautiful like like this is all uh, pears and whatnot. These are all Hallmark, Hallmark stuff. Um, this one is seashell one. See, that one has a seashell on it. So whenever I go thrifting and I see these little boxes, I take a peek at them. I'm like, oh, what's in there? And if it's like these kind of letters, I'll buy them. 
and then I'll collect them. And then I keep one, at least one or two of everything. And then I'll do a little packs to sell to you guys. Do you ever do military journals? I haven't done a military journal, but um, I've done journals with military stuff in it. I've done that. Yeah. You were born in 64. No, I'm a Capricorn. I was born in 68. So this was super cute. And I'm using the box. Did I put anything in here yet? Not yet. I just, I'm keeping the box because 1969, I got to keep the box. So eventually I'll put stickers or something in there. I'm sure I'll put some kind of stickers in there. But that's what I do with these. Oh, be quiet. Stop your whining. I know. I remember having um, uh, stationery and doing pen pals too. Years. Oh, yeah. When I was like 10. Come here. Sonny, do you want to go out? All right. Come on. I'll take you out. Come on. Where are you? Sonny. Come on. Let's go. Let me see if he wants to go out. Okay. So what did I miss? Itchy nose. Um, so yeah, so that's what I look for. And sometimes I do find, uh, I find, uh, paper punches. That's rare, but I do the stamps. I find stamps, um, the clear acrylic stamps, regular, the wooden ones, but I'm very particular. So Liz, we, d I decided that, um, when I'm done, organizing because I'm almost there. Um, I will take one Sunday and I will do, okay, guys, we're going to take our first hour of the live and we're going to go over how I organize everything in the house because I don't have a craft room. I'm literally in the middle of my house um, and I'm literally surrounded um, and I need to organize it a little bit better because I don't like messes and I don't like things to look messy. I, I want stuff to have a place and everything be in its place, which is usually how it is. But I've been, every time I go shopping, I come home and I got more crap to put away. So um, I'm doing the de-stashing. I have to de-stash my ribbons. I still have more stickers to de-stash for you guys. Do I need a craft room? I absolutely would need a craft room. But we have a four-bedroom house. Three bedrooms are taken, the girls and us. And then the fourth bedroom on, on the first floor here is the office. It's Larry's office. So, and I kind of like being here because I see everyone coming and going in my house, my kids, their friends that when they walk in, they come and say, hi, Larry's right in front of me, usually on the couch. Um, I'll show you guys, I'll flip it so you guys could see, hold on. I mean, the house is a little bit messy, but I'll show you like my workspace. Okay. So hold on. I'm going to flip you. Let me flip you. Okay. So here, so now you guys see how I am. This is the table that you see, and this is how I sit, right? I sit there, and then I have, this was all new. I got all that for um, for uh, my birthday, and I have it completely filled. You can see those are all my ribbons, all my ribbons. That's ribbon, that's ribbon. That just has some supplies. I'm still organizing this paper. I um, haven't decided how I'm going to do that. Now you know why you hear babe, because he lays right there. See, we have the three couches. Look, this is, this is the book. I'm working on the cat book. So he lays here and that's why you hear him. But sometimes when I'm sitting here, the TV is on and that's where we're hearing music. Here's the other, the tower that I told you guys about. This is the rest of my paper. These are all my paper packs right here. Down here is all the specialty stuff. And then this is where I have all my die cuts uh, and my stamps um, and my stencils. And then on this side, there's another one. So this one has specialty paper. This is all, all that specialty paper that I use somewhat, not a lot of. And then this has all the extra that I told you guys about that I have in like these packs. Like when you buy these little packs like this, look, there's some vellum. I got to go through this in here. There's like just pretty little packs that I have. All right, hold on. Let me let this cut. You going out? Come on, let's go out. 
This is our outdoor cat. That's where he sleeps. That's why it's dirty. He's, all right, come on. Go. You want to go out? Oh, no. Oh, you want to sit. Now you want to sit. Now he wants to sit. This is my backyard. The lights are on. That's our little cabana. This is his house. This is the outdoor cat house. And then we have my pool closed. And back there is where all the animals are. No snow. Oh, no, no, no. It snowed and it, it went away within a day. All right, you shut up then. I don't want to hear nothing out of you. Do you hear me? Yes, I'm looking at the phone right now, honey. Thank you, Eliza. So, yeah, so you see how I'm in the center of the house, but I, I don't like it messy. And then this is like my charm wall, which right now this is a mess. Like, this is sold. I have to pack it. I also have one bag available, guys. The other bag is sold. Hi, Adam. Um, and I'm still organizing all this a little bit. I'm organizing this. This right now is just a mess because this is for, for um, he's around here somewhere. And I just organized all these. These are empty. Um, I just have that on here for now. I just have that on. That's going downstairs. But this is the house. And then you can see you come in the front door and everyone sees me. Like they walk in the front door and I'm right there. So I like to see everybody. I'm like there's a kitchen. This is our front living room that we don't really use. And then we have the office. So that's the bathroom. That's our finished basement. And then here's the office that we're still organizing. This is our sign. This is now my sign. That's all my folders. My books are organized. This one's organized in the middle there. So we're still organizing this. This is the sign called the paper. I'm trying to figure out what you guys are trying to say. Because I don't want to be in the basement. Oh, it was the computer. Yeah, I don't have fish. We have all kinds of animals, but not fish. All right, let me switch. Let me switch back. So that I could see. Oh, that's okay. Hold on, guys. Let me. Um, I got to catch. What the, I just touched something. Okay, there it goes. Hold on. Because this way I could see the. I could see the. In case the puzzle comes up. Oh, thank you, thank you. So that's that's my tour. Oh, well, yeah, you have, um, you have a lot of stuff to do, uh, Monique. Monique does the, the, um, so Monique that you hear, you see here, Misfit Crafters, she's the one that does this tool that you guys see me use all the time. She's the one that does this tool. So she actually makes this with her brother. So I'm sure they need a lot of space. It is a quaint little house. Oh, they're not, they're not, they're not. It's that big. It's like 2,500 square feet. Upstairs, there's three big bedrooms. Like my bedroom is the size of the family room. It's like 15 by 24. So it's a nice big bedroom. This cat, honest to God, he won't shut up. What's the matter? No, we can, Jesse, but because I'm recording, I'm recording to upload it to YouTube. I can't. He just won't shut up. This cat eats all the time. All right, let me give him a treat. Oh, wait. Come here. Come here. Come here, Sonny. Come here, Sonny. Come here, Sonny. Come here to mama. Come here. Come here. 
I'm going to try and pick him up. Come here. Oh, that's a good boy. Okay, I think he wants to go out now. Give me a second, guys. All right, let's go out. Come on. Oh, you went back in your bed? Come here. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'll hold you for a little bit. He let me pick him up. Usually, Larry's the only one that picks him up. Let's see. You want a little love? Okay. You stay right here. We're just going to keep him right here for a minute. I don't usually pick him up. But is it okay? You okay? Yeah. This is our outdoor cat. He's pretty. I get nervous because he's, he has all his claws. And Bugsy is declawed. I know my camera's backwards because I have to watch. I'm going to get that puzzle again. Oh, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. We'll see if he stays here. Normally, he lays with Larry. All right, so what was I saying? Um, so, yeah, so, yeah, I have the option of going down into the basement if I wanted to, but I don't want to be in the basement. I'll, like you said, I, I craft for five, six hours every night. I would miss my family. At least here, I've got Larry. We'll watch forensic files because I swear he's he's trying to learn how to kill me and get away with it because we watch that every night. I watch the same episode three and four times over because I'm listening to it. And then I'm like, you know, it was the, I don't know, it was the cook, the chef in the kitchen with a knife, like kind of a thing. It's ridiculous. But I'm telling you, if I see a notebook over there, it's done. It's a done deal if I see a notebook. <laughs> We watch it religiously because there's only a few shows that we watch now. So um, the shows that we watch are all like NCIS and uh, I don't know, um, all those cop FBI's, all those shows. And I make soup and I craft and it is close to me. Exactly. Isn't he so cute? He's being really good. You know what to do, guys. If I go missing forensic files. Oh, did you? Wait, you saw me on Totally Dazzled. What's that, Catherine? Exactly. The puzzle. Hold on. The puzzle came up. Hold on. Aha. I got you, face TikTok. I got it. I'll flip the camera in the middle. I'm kind of enjoying holding him. I don't get to hold him very often. You want my paper collection? No, Adam. I'm very attached to my paper. I have a hard time putting paper in the books because I'm like, that's really pretty. I don't want to waste it. You're not wasting it. You bought it to use it. Why is it going to sit on the damn shelf, right? That I have to keep reminding myself of that. But how many times today? Three times, Kim. Shut me down three times. But wait, so who said that they saw me on something... They saw me on Totally Dazzled. What was what's Totally Dazzled? Are are you are you talking about the Sparkle Room two weeks ago? Yes, my newsreel on yes, my newsreel probably on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, I was in the, I was in the Sparkle Room when we did the uh, that big Saturday. Um, I was at like three o'clock, two o'clock, something like that, and I did the fence with the garden. That was me, the sparkle room. Yes, that's where you probably saw me. And then it's posted up on, on Facebook. My Facebook family is very quiet. There's only only 10 people, 12 people now. But um, I just took a break and ate something, guys. We finished crafting. We made this beautiful book. Let me show you. We did this beautiful book. It's okay. It's okay. Nope, he went down. Okay. It, it was book face, but I gave up on saying that. Don't you start with me, sir. The gray cat is on the couch right now, right in front of me. He's on the couch. You have a lot to catch up on, Leslie. Yeah. So this is the book that we made today. It's a mermaid book. It's really pretty. Do you want to go out now? Now he's by the door. All right, let me try this one more time and then I'll flip the phone so I look normal. Oh no, he switched. 
This cat's going to be the death of me. All right, I could switch the phone now. Let me switch you guys back. We'll probably need to wrap it up too. Because it's been a minute since we've been on. Let me, oh, let me get the charger so I don't lose the charge. Okay, do I look normal now? Okay. He might be looking for Larry. Who knows? Who knows? Is that better? Okay. I had to come out and go back in. I had to refresh, actually. Oh, who knows? When the first time it shut me down, I, we were almost at like 55, 60,000. I always looked normal. So it screws up your numbers a little bit, but it is what it is. Nothing I can do about it. Thank God it's not just me. It happened to everybody. Because I know yesterday Jennifer and I were texting back and forth, and she said it happened to her too. That's crazy. I got to tell you. You think it was at 90? Oh, my God. Really? That's crazy. Um, Connie's Coolest Crafts, Diana. So uh, Facebook and YouTube are both Connie's Coolest Crafts. I didn't realize we were almost at 100,000, but thank you. Thank you all. I appreciate that. So what kind of questions do you have got? have you got for me? Anything that you want to see, that you want explained? Oh, he lives in Belleville? That's close. Well, I go to Newark all the time. My mom still lives in Newark. So he's like literally 10 minutes from my mom's house. I will, many moons. I will. I'll probably, I usually take a break. How much does your car weigh? About 2,000 pounds, Adam. As much as my fat ass. I'm only kidding. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I do have a sense of humor. I'm not an old spuddy duddy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like Terry. <laughs> Sorry, I thought that was hysterical. <laughs> oh. Someone asked you to share ultimate, the book, the book, ultimate cover guide. Do you want to share it? Oh, I have it. You can make waterfalls with anything. Yes, you can. It was a funny joke. <laughs> oh, thank you, Val. Yes, I'll see you on Wednesday. That was funny. The cat, Bugsy weighs, I think it's 18 pounds, actually. I think he weighs 18 pounds. Uh, Sonny. He's thin. He doesn't weigh too much. Yeah. My cat, my, uh, yeah, the gray one. Can you explain what is, wait. Oh, you want the tool? Sure. I'll show you what the tool is. Yeah. This is our tool. This is the tool. It's, it helps you bind your books. So I didn't use it today because I used fabric. So, um, I don't, I don't really use it for the fabric as much because I, I eyeball my fabric, but this is excellent for when you're wrapping a paper. I mean, a book with paper. Tiff, um, uh, I do not have any more packs, but I can make more. I can, I can make more because I have extra beads. I do, but everything's sold out. Yeah. Oh, love watching my lives and so special. Any way you can follow, I can ask you a few questions. Yeah, if you have any questions, Jessica, just send me a message. I always accept the questions. And even if I don't follow you, because there's a lot of people that want me to follow them and then it's, it gets crazy, I still were able to message each other. So yeah, make sure. I'll message you now. Hold on. I'll, I'll follow you now so that you can message me without a problem. Okay, I'm following you, sweetie. You would love to see me make a waterfall. Okay. I do make waterfalls all the time. We are going to make a waterfall for the mermaid book. I'll let you know when it is so you guys can watch it. What are the best tools to get for the first time when you're starting? Well, Lori, um, yeah, I sold them out. Do I have a beginner's book? I do not have a beginner's book. Thank you, Pam. Have a great night. Um, so this is a nice little tool to have to help you cover your book. So let's let's let me get some... Uh, 
Let me get something to cover. Hold on. I have I have a couple of pre-cut things over here. And I will show you. That one's too small. Let me get something that's not too, too big that we can potentially wrap. Okay, that's good. Oh, here's one. Here's a cute little... We can use that. Okay. So let's say you're going to cover a book. I sell my stuff usually on my lives or through my Etsy shop. Okay. So this is your basic book. And you're going to tape this, right? You're going to tape the three pieces together. And let me get a piece of paper. I'm just going to get like regular eight and a half by 11, which should be enough. Is that enough for this? No, it's not. Well, you need to do each piece individually anyway. Let me get some paper. Well, what can we cover this in? Let me think. I want to do something floral to go in that book because I don't want to waste it. Um, I have the browns here, right? And oh, I got the vintage. We got vintage. Let's do something vintage. We'll do a quick wrap. Quick wrap, guys. Here, let's use this one because I've got a lot of this one. So that makes it nice and easy. One. Two. There's two sheets there. That should be enough. We'll do a quick wrap. Okay. So let's say when it's with paper, you do the three pieces separately. So the difference between this and this is that you will tape these three pieces, tape them together, and then you wrap it in the fabric all at once. But when you do paper, you do each piece individually, and then you put the pieces together, okay? So we're going to take this, and we're going to take our tool. Let me clean this up a little bit so you guys can focus on what I'm working on. And this will be the last lesson of the day, okay, because it was by special request. So we're going to do a quick lesson on how to wrap a book with paper. Let me just take everything. Look, all the stuff fell out of my, let me put my, my grabby stuff away. You just have to be patient with me because since I'm doing an extra book, let me just clean up. Cause you guys know how I am. I need to have everything put away. Now, this is for the mermaid book that goes there. This is all, there goes my glasses. This is all for the mermaid book. Thank God these are on prescription. I know your husband wraps. No, I did not know that. And uh, Roseanne, uh, definitely we're going to be making a waterfall. So make sure you check my schedule and just pop in during the lives. Okay, everything's kind of put away, put away now. All right, I don't want to hear you whining. So I'm going to use this tool. This is one inch this way, and it's one inch this way, which is exactly what you need when you're wrapping paper. So you put this up at your corner. This cat. Okay, and that gives you your one inch around the top. Now you're going to do the same thing on this side. And you're going to mark it one inch and one inch. Okay, and now we're going to cut it. He's very needy tonight. He's actually really ticking me off. But Okay, so we have our first sheet. Now we're going to do the same thing with the second sheet. 
I'm just going to use same guy is the same size. So I'm just going to mark it. I'm just going to cut it. Okay. Now we got our second one. And then we'll decide on the spine. I haven't decided if I'm going to make it the same or not the same. Okay. So. Now we have our tool and it will give you that one inch straight around. Just to double check. Perfect. Okay. Um, I like to use glue. I've used tape. I know some people like to use tape. I feel that the tape sometimes comes undone for me. So I wound up just using the glue. Um, so I'm going to flip it. I really didn't have to flip it. This is just little chipboard. I'm just going to put glue on the outer perimeter again for the same reason as I did the fabric. And I am going to spread it. Okay, put it on here, just perfect, okay, okay, your paper's on here. This is like wrapping a gift, okay, oh, Brian Beto's on here, what's up, Brian, I didn't see him, did I miss him, are you still here? Hey, how you doing? You want to see our, our latest book we did today? We did a beautiful mermaid book. Look at that. Isn't she gorge? How you doing, bud? So we did this beautiful, beautiful mermaid book today. Beautiful, right? I'm really annoyed with TikTok. It's been kicking me off all weekend. Today kicked me off three times. So somebody wanted to know how to wrap a quick book. Now with this tool, you're going to use the, to cut the corners. Okay. So you put it right there and you just cut the corner out just like that. It's going to give you the exact amount that you need to wrap the book. No fighting, no guessing, just use the tool, let it do its thing. And this tool is available on my link tree from misfit crafters. It's on my link tree. Go to my link tree under Misfit Crafters. Okay. So now for paper, it's like a present. I'm just going to basically crease it just like that. I just creased it a little bit. And there's only two things you really need to do. First, you want to glue it. I'm going to let that sit for a minute so it becomes tacky. And I'm going to put glue on the other side. Okay. I'm going to bring it over and tuck it. And you can use the back of the tool to kind of almost like a bone folder. You can use it to do that. Make it nice and flat. Okay. Then go to this side. Do the same thing. Just like that. Okay. It's just like wrapping a book. I do one little thing. I, I'll take the corner and I'll just kind of push in the corner a little bit because if you just fold it, it'll make a real sharp edge. So by just pushing it in and crushing it, and I'll show you, you just crush it a teeny tiny bit. You're just crushing it. It makes a difference. This is so soothing. Well, I'm glad. Enjoy. Um, no, this one is not on Amazon. This is a small business owner. She's on here right now watching me actually. So I'm a little nervous, but, um, it's Monique and her brother. They make these and they make them at home themselves. And I like to support small businesses. Um, and now we do the top and the bottom just like that. Look how super easy it was. Okay. If you can wrap a gift, you could do this. If you can wrap a gift, you could do this. Look how lovely that is. Beautiful, tight corners, 
beautifully tight corners. It's gorgeous. See how easy that was? Yes, it's in my bio. Okay, so let's do the second one. Same principle. You guys already saw all this. You're just going to take your glue, bring it around a couple of times. Let's spread it out a little bit. If you think this is relaxing, Brian, we started with some soup this morning because we've been on since one o'clock and we made beef barley soup. And then we came in here and we started the mermaid book and we've had a blast except for this aggravating TikTok shutting me down every whenever it feels like sending the puzzle. It sent it at one hour. It sent it at four hours, four and a half hours, actually. Very random. Okay, see this? Just make it nice and flat. Let's cut our corners. Just take your blade, boop, very simple. Now, the cool thing about this also is if you happen to be making a book that's thicker than this traditional card stock, maybe it's like twice the, twice the thickness rather, she has um, three millimeters on the one side and it's five millimeters on the other. So it's it's adaptable to a thicker book if you happen to be using something thicker than the chipboard. So now let's do this. Okay. We're going to blow right through this really fast. And if I miss your question, please repost it when I'm looking up. Right now, I just want to get through this because we've been at this all day. They have thought of everything. I challenge them, though, to think of one more thing, which is to make that angle cut the other way so we can make tags with it. Because I'm I suck at making tags and cutting the tags. I always cut one side too short or too long or whatever. And here I am crushing the little side. That little corner, that's all I'm doing is crushing the little corner in. And some people asked if the glue is stringy. It absolutely is stringy. That's just the nature of the glue. This whiny cat. And there we go. See how quickly that was? Beautiful. We got the, the two covers. Now we need to do the spine. I'll do a small spine. And do I want to do the same cover, same color? Why not? We'll just use some of the, of the same paper. I usually like to make the spine a different color, like a solid color, but... It's not that imperative. So for this, again, I'm just going to use an inch off the top and an inch off the bottom. This is all I'm going to mark so that I could cut it. Okay. And how this is going to work is we're going to fold the, the top and the bottom down. And then we're going to put this in the middle, and this is how we wind up gluing it together. So it's a little bit of a different process. Let me throw that over here. Okay. So I'm going to fold it over, crease it, fold the bottom up, crease it. I'm going to fold. I'm creasing it because I'm making myself a, a scoreboard for me to cut. And then I'm going to score. Okay. So I basically just made like a little X, a little tic-tac-toe board. And you're going to cut on an angle in. Each corner.
okay? Basically just cut the corners out so that when we put this in the middle, the flaps will go over and the corners are cut on an angle, okay? This is how this is gonna work. See that? I'm actually gonna cut the angles a little bit better with a bigger piece, of, with a bigger scissor. And I'm just eyeballing it. I just want it on a little bit of an angle so that when we glue it to here, it's going down, not straight across, just like that. See that? That's how we glue it. So now we're gonna work on this. And I'm also gonna zhuzh it just a little bit now in case a little bit of that white does show, it's already zhuzhed, we don't have to fight it. So you only need to do like the little corner, that's it. Not the whole thing, just that little corner. You do it now and you're gonna thank me later. And you're gonna zhuzh it in the color of whatever the paper is. So this happens to be vintage. So this is gonna work really, really well. Okay, now we're gonna glue it. This one, I'll, I'll glue the whole thing. I, I'm ignoring you. You're you're like the, the boy that cried wolf. Yeah, I hear you. Let me go give him some food. You want some food? You want to go out? Okay, now you want to go out. All right. Go. All right, he went out this time. I was going to give him a snack, but he wound up going outside. Maybe he has a secret stash outside. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to glue... The two ends. Okay, and now I am going to use the tool to crease this really, really well. You wanna crease this really well because that's where the two are gonna meet up. Crease it really well. No live today, Brian? I feel like you're on live all the time. I don't know how you do it. Okay. So you could put the eyelets in now if you want to. I always do my eyelets after the fact because I do have the big crocodile. But if you want to cut your holes in here now, absolutely. You could do this at this point. So it's entirely up to you when do you want to put your eyelets in. Um, I don't know if I'm going to sew this one. I might do this as a, as a, cause it's just random as a mini journal with one signature, but I always feel bad sewing it because I feel like you can't use it over and over again. So I'll probably do the same thing. Just two, two eyelids, one on top and one on the bottom, and it'll be just one signature in the middle and that's it. Okay. So now we're going to put the pieces together. And how we do that is I'm going to put glue, a little bit of glue over here, right on the base so that where the two pieces kind of almost meet. So let me show you. I'm going to put glue like right here. Okay. And then I am going to use a little bit of tape because paper on paper adheres really well with tape. So I'm going to put tape over here. And we, we push it up against each other as tightly as you can. Make sure that they're nice and tight and you just push. And there it is. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing with this side. Luckily, there's no right or wrong, right? Yep, there's no up or down. And we're going to do the same thing. So this is going to be like a random journal.
little bit of glue came out the top there. Okay. You see that? Let me make sure that. You got your book. Nice and simple. Ah. Oh. Uh, what do you see on lives all the time? Sorry, I missed what you guys are explaining, talking about. So now it's just a matter of putting the ribbon and the cover on the inside and you're good to go. But that's how that's the difference between fabric and paper paper you do each piece individually because if you did it all at once it would be a lot of paper here in the crease and the folding would be very difficult oh thanks sandra i don't think i'm the best but i do like to explain and show you guys how i do it how do you get one you're so new to TikTok. how do you get a book crystal is that what you're asking me Right now, I mean, eventually this one will be available. I'm going to make a few small books uh, to sell, small journals like this. Oh, the tool. The tool right on my link tree. Just click on my name, click on my link tree, and Misfit Crafters is on there. Just click on that. That way I get credit for, for the sale. It is easy, Diana. It's not difficult. Yes, now we're going to cover the inside. I would cover the spine first, like you saw me do last time. I do the spine first, and then I put the two panels. I do three different pieces because if you try, some people do the one piece, but I find that what happens is when you go to fold it, it makes noise and the paper tends to separate because of the glue drying. So by doing a centerpiece first and then the two panels, it doesn't do that. It's sold out. Where you get tag board. Where, where do I get the chipboard from? You learn something new, Army Warrior? Excellent. I learn something new all the time, to be honest with you. But um, yeah, I buy my chipboard through Amazon. However, I use children's books all the time. That's a lot of my books are recycled children's, the thick cardboard books that they make for like one-year-olds. That's what I use. I did see your comment, Kimmy. Thank you so much. I'm the teacher that teaches you. You're, you're cute. And Connie Lobby. Thanks, Kimmy. <laughs> yeah, the children's books are an awesome idea because you're recycling something that's going to go to waste. And a lot of times they're a great size. You just have to cut the page and use it as is. And then you use another page for the spine. So if you get a book that has 10 pages in it, um, you might get four books out of there because 10 pages, two pages per book, and then one page for a spine for each book, you know? Right. Like any, any old book, like I have one right here that I bought. I'll show you. Um, this is actually a pretty big one because it's not usual to find them this big. See, this is a children's book. And if you look, the pages are the thickness of the cardstock. See that? See that? So I cut one page to show everybody. This was the first page. It was on here like that. And I cut the page out and I cut it in half. And now I've got my one book. I need to cut another page and I cut a strip to be the spine because it'll be the exact same thickness and the exact same. And out of this one book, look how many books I'll get. I'll get, let's see, this is probably enough for three spines. So that's three books. So that's one, two, three. So every four pages is one book. One, two, three. That's, um, I'm sorry. Every four pages is one, two, three. It's four books. Three books. One, two, three. Three books. So that's every four pages. That's three. That's six. Two, three. Um, that's nine and ten. I'm getting ten books 
out of this one book that I bought for a dollar. It was $1.99, but it was 50% off. So I'm getting actually 10 bucks out of this one book. Oh, Cheryl, I'm so glad you like the, you like the, uh, the soup. I just had a little bit again. So yeah, you guys have families and friends where they always look in the throwaway books. Grab the books. You don't even have to buy them. I just have to buy them because I don't have babies around anymore, you know? Jesse, you could do so much with those books. 100%. You can make you can make new books out of them. Give them new life. Oh, was it really? Ah. Your husband had seconds. Awesome, Cheryl. Cheryl made our beef barley soup. I'm so glad. Did you put frozen veggies in it too? I think it kicked it up a little bit by putting the frozen veggies in. I'm just not finishing this because I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it. So I don't know what color I'll do on the inside. I'm kind of liking this rosy color. So I have an idea making this like a little vintage book. Oh, yeah, Sandra, you could go crazy with the books. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, yeah, that's okay, Shala, right? But if you do next time, it does make it really hearty. And the, the, a little bit of the crunch of the, uh, of, the, of the green bean is really good in the soup. You want to see a finished book. Okay. No, I do three pieces as well, Tammy. I do the centerpiece. And then I do the two panels because then that way, when you open and close, it doesn't interfere with it opening and closing. Oh, I love biscuits. Um, you want to see a finished book. So I have a book that's almost, I don't have any finished books right now except for my daughter's books. But this is um, the cat book that I'm working on. Okay. And I do have the two signatures here. So um, this is the signature, one of the signatures that I worked on this week. Got a lot of stuff in it already. And then here's the second signature. So this one, um, the writing is throughout the book. So it's a little bit different. So these two are gonna go inside where the elastic goes. And so that's gonna be, that's gonna be one book. It'll be a little bit bigger than that. It never closes when I make these books. Um, I have this book here that's almost done. Uh, this is a Disney book, and this one has the signature sewn in. So this one's a little bit different. Sure, Sandra. Yes. So if you want to use a uh, ribbon, now is when you would put the ribbon on. You would put the ribbon in now because then when you put the paper on top, that helps secure it. Okay. Now is when you would put that. Oh, okay. Elena, just, just message me. I'm not taking any orders until the end of summer, probably. But um, if you're willing to wait, I could probably do that for you towards the end of the summer. I'll be taking some orders. And Sandra, I will, I will do um, the waterfall. Do you have my instructions, Sandra? Do you happen to have, did you happen to go on my Etsy shop and grab my instructions? Okay. If you're interested I have very good step-by-step -step instructions in my Etsy shop. There's a picture for every step and there's an explanation of what to do. I get a lot of compliments on those instructions for the Etsy, for the, uh, the waterfall and for the uh, pop-up flowers. There's a lot of comments. If you go look on my Etsy shop, they tell you in, in case you can't wait until I make one because I'm not going to make one now and, uh, we're going to make one for the mermaid book, but that probably won't be until next week. But my instructions, I'm telling you, they're very good. They're step-by-step -step with pictures. So if that's something that you want to, you want to work on, um, it might clarify something for you. I, I learned that way. I made my own instructions and I followed my steps until I got comfortable doing without, you know, doing it every week without having to look at the instructions. But um, every once in a while, you got to go back and look at the instructions, you know. Oh, you're in the UK. Okay, cool. Yes, Serena. We just made this today. This is our mermaid book. It's a vintage mermaid book. 
So when you open it up, she's swimming in the ocean. Isn't this so cool? So this is going to be the book I'm going to be working on the next week. Oh, thanks, Kim. Hubby just got home. Yes, man. Yes, many moons. He just got home. Oh, thank you, Leslie. The mermaid I bought, Caitlin. We were wondering where you were. Um, it's, it's like this one. I bought it from Timu. It comes like this. I just cut it real carefully, glued it real carefully. Yeah. The cat was crying up a storm while you were gone. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Monique. It is pretty. You've got them as well. Hi, New Zealand. Welcome. How are you? Oh, my gosh. Guys, this is where Larry was. There was a fire, a truck on fire. That's me in the picture. See the back of the jacket? And you're walking towards the fire. Absolutely. You have no business. That's him. Right over here on, on, on the right side, walking up to the fire. Yes, the puzzle piece came. Very clever, not vertical. Oh, thank you. Good. Well, thank you. Is this your first time watching my channel? Because I'm about to actually shut down. He's fine. He's here. It's his it's a volunteer job, though. That's the problem. And and being the, the deputy chief, he's got the other guys that can go and do what they need to be done. He doesn't need to do that anymore. He's put his time in. No. I must be exhausted. Just a little bit, babe. Oh, yes. Thank you for bringing him home. Thank you so much for that. Yes, he does do an amazing job. He's a very good support system. I love him. I'm going to keep him. I was thinking about giving him back. But my mother-in-law slipped me a five, so I'm going to keep them. I'm in New Jersey. Oh, Kaylin wants you to know that the cat's been calling you like crazy throughout the house. Mm -hmm. Yes, but he's a volunteer firefighter. He has a full-time job. He does volunteer. He does firefighting like I do crafting. It's volunteer work. So the books are for junk journaling and they're for journaling. People buy them so that they can write their memories and their experiences. The books are all customized to the person's likes. So that's a mermaid book. Um, I'm just finishing up this cat journal. Um, look how cute this cat journal came out. So I, I, this is what I'm going to do now with, with that book. I have to decorate the inside and I do all kinds of like little 3D things like this, um, like that. Um, let's see, where's our little, our fish bowl is so cute. Oh, thank you, Esther. This one has a cute little basket. Um, I don't know. What else do I have in here? Oh, this is a cute little pop out like that. This lady is a foster cat mom. So this book is all about cats for her. And this is her cover. Her cover is all about cats. I know the questions will keep me going. It did. It came out so cute, didn't it? Oh, uh, he said, uh, Stacy says, thank you. You and your men are home safe. You want to see the fishbowl? Sure. The fishbowl was popular. We did that the week before. Uh, which book is that one in? Is it this one? I always forget which book it's in. Nope, it's this one. Here's the fishbowl. It's actually a pocket. Oh, let me get closer. It's it's 3D. We did it with the plastic. You guys want to see? That's our 3D fishbowl. It's cute, right? And we put the little the little bubbles to look like the fish is breathing. Oh, the soup came out amazing. I had two bowls already. It came out really, really good. All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up. 
because we've been at this for a lot. This is like a full-time job on Sundays now. But if she sold out, give her a couple days or a week or so, and she'll she'll restock because she knows that when I use her tools, she has to have stock. Otherwise, then you can't buy it, right? So I'm sure she's going to have it soon enough. She's very good at restocking. Oh, whatever, Diane and Adam and you guys. <laughs> See you Wednesday. Um, I feel like I use fabric more right now. Definitely. Good night, Stacey. Oh, they have purple ones in stock. Okay, that's cool. Oh, you're welcome, Sandra. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, Lisa. Oh, the supplier for the pink is on back order, but there's other ones. So thank you, Amy. Have a great weekend, too. A, a great week. I will. You guys have a great week. I'll see you Wednesday night. Wednesday night. Buenas noches, Elena. Only the pink is out of stock, guys. So the other colors are in stock. Ozell, I will get some rest. Guy and I, Kimmy, and Adam, and Caitlin, and Angie, and Rebecca, and Ozell, and Heather, and Martha. Boy, you guys are coming in fast. I'll see you Wednesday. I'm not thin. I haven't lost any weight. I promise you. It's my hair uh, straight. I straightened it today, so it looks a little straighter. It makes me look uh, skinny, but I'm not. No, not this week. I'm gonna. Tr I'm gonna be traveling um, on the uh, 19th and 20th. Wednesday is at 7.30, Catherine, and my schedule is posted, and it's Eastern Standard Time. I, I know. I know, Kimmy. I do that all the time. Like, and, and goodbye and hello. I do feel like I'm in romper room. I'm going to make myself a round thing um, just for fun, for those of you that understand. Oh, thank you, Roseanne. My friends on Facebook, I hope you had some fun today. I don't know if anybody was watching on YouTube, but thank you. Okay, thank you for that. Monique says for the international, the system is charging more, but she'll refund the difference if she finds a, a less way of shipping it to you. Good night, Patricia. I know it's off air. I didn't have it on today. I forgot. Then now the Technicolor, gracias. You can't find me. It's Connie's Coolest Crafts. Go to my link tree and you'll be able to find the YouTube uh, through my link tree. And you found my Etsy. Yeah, everything's in my link tree, guys. Etsy, YouTube. My Amazon storefront, uh, the Misfit Crafters link, everything's in my link tree. So make sure you check out my link tree, okay? I had a great time. I hope you guys enjoyed the soup. And if not, make it this week and enjoy it. It's delicious. And um, I'll see you Wednesday. And hopefully I'll have the cat book pretty much done by then. Have a great, great evening, a great Monday and Tuesday. And we'll see how much we got done. Great. Thank you for following all three, Diane. I appreciate that. I love you guys so much. You guys are awesome. Um, once again, we did a beautiful job today. We really accomplished a beautiful book. I know that Alex is going to love it. It's gorgeous. And I can't wait to start filling the inside for her. Going to have a lot of fun creating some under the sea seascapes and whatnot in here. So I got a lot of plans for this book. Yes. And don't forget my grabby. But for Grabby, please make sure you go into um, my TikTok that has the Grabby. That's the only way I'll get credit on it, okay? But thank you so much, guys. Yes, it's in my showcase. The Grabby box is in my showcase under my profile under the link tree. All right, I'm going to shut down now. Kiss, kiss, a big hug from me to you. I'll see you guys Wednesday. Good night. It shut me down three times. The first time it was at the one hour mark. The second time it was at the four and a half hour mark. And the third time it was at that one hour mark again. Mm. So it's, it's totally random. But everyone's been having that problem. Chris came on and she said, yeah, she said, everyone's having that problem. Mm. Oh, I forgot. I have to shut Facebook down on its own. 
Oh, how do I do that? Oh, there it is. 